Joe on the road. We are on the road. <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Garrick. And today we are playing Pendragon, uh, the fall of Roman Britain. Uh, the, what is it, eighth game in the coin series? Is that right? Seventh? Uh, eighth? seventh, I think. Seven, I think. I yeah. am, I'm so Seven excited. or eight. Close enough. Anyway, it is by, uh, what is, what is her name? Morgan? Morgane or Morgan, uh, Morgane. I think What's... it's Morgane is pronounced. Yeah, I was trying to remember the other two words in her name. Guyan Riti, Morgan Guyan Riti, that there it is. Uh, and GMT Games. And we are going to fumble our way through a playthrough because they all know what they're doing and I have no clue. <laughs> I am playing as the Saxons. As the Scotty, we have Badger. Hello. As the Dukes, we have Drew. Hello. And as the Civitatis, we have Hector. Hello. <laughs> uh, Ragsnap, I do always forget I'm going to mention the designer's name, and it, it's terrible. I'm working on it. Uh, so, Drew, why don't you go ahead and give us that primer for people who have played coin before, and then we can see if we can get this going before midnight. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Um, yeah, so uh, everyone here has played coin games before, so I'm uh, just going to explain the differences uh, that are built into this game versus other coin games. I'm not going to do a full coin teach. Uh, however, there is a couple of coin teaches, I think, on Garrick's channel, if anyone is interested. Uh, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, OK, so the victory conditions in this game uh, are for the Scoti, um, they need to get four settlements onto the board, and then they need to have at least 46 renown. Uh, and renown is is essentially the resource uh, for the barbarians. So uh, every time they spend money, they're spending their victory points, just like a lot of the other green factions. Yes, Ragsnaf, there's a, there's a lot to talk about. Here we go, clears throat. Um, <laughs> so that's Scoti victory condition. Um, the Saxons have two different victory conditions. Uh, the based on the Imperium track, which I will talk about a little bit later. Um, but if we are anywhere above fragmentation, the Saxons can win a renowned victory, which is uh, at least four settlements on the map and at least thirty renown. Um, so that's your first victory condition, Garrick, once, as long as we're at Roman rule or at autonomy. OK. Uh, at any time during the game, uh, any of the three Imperium states, you can win a control victory, which is just uh, you control 10 population. Got it. So you'll see these little population numbers. Yep. Um, if you control you know, uh, 11 worth total, then that's a Saxon control victory. Uh, OK, and then the reason that this game is so dang interesting. Uh, so the two Britain factions, the Kiwitates and the Dukes, um, have some uh, basically mutually exclusive victory conditions. So they both are two-part victory conditions. Uh, so for the Kiwitates, they need to uh, have a certain amount of control over uh, the Britain population, depending on the Imperium state. So at Roman rule, uh, the Kiwitates need to have 37 or higher. So you'll see that up here on this little edge track. Uh, once the Imperium collapses down to autonomy, then they need to have at least 28 control. Uh, and if we get to fragmentation, they win by having at least 17 control. So that is the first half of their victory condition. The second half is uh, at any time prior to fragmentation, they have to have dominance over the Imperium. So there's Roman rule, autonomy, fragmentation. And both Roman rule and autonomy have two uh, government dominances. So this is the military dominance side, and this is the civilian dominance side. So that makes sense so far? I think so. 
Yep. So currently, the Kiwitates are well above their control condition, but the Dukes has military control over the Imperium. So the, the Kiwitates cannot win as long as this marker is on the military control side. They needed to get it over here. I'll talk about how that works a little bit later. Um, the Duke's victory condition is a function of the prosperity of the islands, which is these little yellow plunder cubes, uh, combined with their prestige, which they earn uh, mostly via winning battles and a couple of other places. Uh, so right now, the Dukes uh, have 80 prosperity plus prestige. This little red marker is their victory jit. Uh, because there's... Uh, when the board is full, there are 80 prestige or prosperity cubes uh, total, and then I have zero prestige at the moment, so 80 is the victory condition. Uh, just like the Kiwitates, this uh, threshold degrades as the Imperium goes down. So uh, with Roman rule, I need to have uh, prosperity plus prestige above 76, or at 76 or higher. If we get down to autonomy, then that victory threshold becomes 61. Uh, and then if we get down to fragmentation, then my uh, victory condition changes completely and it becomes control of population versus prestige. So so essentially, uh, and then, so that's the first half of my victory condition. And then the other half is that I have to have military control. So currently, technically, the Dukes are winning the game. If the game were to end right now, then I would just win uh, because I have prosperity plus prestige over 76 and I uh, control the government, you could say. Um, so uh, just like as a preliminary observation, the Dukes and the Kiwitates are literally allied. Uh, like we fight together, we share a same the a, a shared resource pool, um, which, as Hector mentioned earlier, uh, he will probably hate me for the course of the game because <laughs> uh, I'll be spending all of his money. Um, but we, we, we are fully allies. Like We are not allowed to fight each other. Um, we fight the barbarians together. We have a shared incentive to keep the island healthy. But uh, only one of us can win based on this, who controls the government. So there's like a little bit of a political fight between the two of us that's uh, very vicious at times as we try and fight the barbarians off. Um, so those are the victory conditions. Um, does all of that uh, sort of make sense, Garrick? Yeah. Cool. Um, so just for your uh, benefit, the um, there are there are certain thresholds that will force this Imperium to drop, and that Imperium drop happens actually before the victory check during the epoch rounds. Um. So there's, uh, you, you have to be very careful about uh, how hard you raid the island, because as you destroy uh, Britain's settlements and remove Britain control, then this marker is going to drop. Um, if it ever drops to 30 or lower, then that is the threshold for this Imperium dropping down to autonomy. Um, and you'll notice that 28 through 30 is a Kiwitates victory. So you can end up blundering into a situation where uh, the Kiwitates have control over the government, the, there's civilian dominance, and Britain pop control is at 30, uh, which means that the Imperium is going to drop down to autonomy, and then uh, they will be automatically at their victory condition, and they'll just win immediately. So there's a little bit of nuance there. So all that to say, that probably just washed right over you because uh, there's not enough context for it yet. But uh, just be careful about you got You have to pay attention to this Imperium track as much as we do. Yeah, I get that gist. You can you can push yeah. too hard the wrong way and hand the game to Civitates. Exactly, and and that to a lesser extent goes for the Scoti as well because um, they you know also are contributing to the mayhem and destruction. Um, but the Saxons are really the like very destructive faction, so you can get a lot of work they done keep there. snapping up <laughs> uh drew there's a I comment from from chat yeah drew. actually no you're right Trayman. uh i did forget that the dukes and the kiwitates can fight each other um in practice i don't think i've ever seen it happen before fragmentation but technically 
you are correct. So sorry about that. I thought that was weird because because the bit of the rule book that I'd skimmed was like they are friends except for when they're battling, and I was like, so why would they? <laughs> why would that rule exist if they never battle? <laughs> yep, yep. Look at me already making rules errors on my all-time favorite coin game. Tisk tisk. Um, tisk tisk indeed. Okay, uh, so I'm going to briefly cover the actions just so you kind of get an idea of the action economy. I will cover pivotal events. And I'll talk about the battle system, and then we will just dive in because uh, that's probably good enough to get you going. Oh, no, wait, I need to talk about the Imperium track, obviously. Uh, okay, so for both of the Barbarians, um, the sort of core loop of this game is raid and then return. Uh, and specifically return combined with settle. Gotcha. So both the Scoti and the Saxons have uh, raid, return, and settle, and also surprise. Um, so the way that raid works is you're going to select uh, some amount of spaces. Uh, the Saxons can do a little bit more raiding than the Scoti. Uh, you're going to pay for them. Uh, they have to be coastal to oceans that you can raid across. So for the uh, Saxons, you can raid across uh, Oceanus Germanicus and Britannicus. So basically, you can raid this southern coast and this eastern coast. Gotcha. Uh, the Scoti, sorry, this is, or yeah, it's eastern coast. The Scoti are raiding the western coast across Oceanus Hibernicus. Um, briefly, at the very beginning of the game, they'll be able to raid across Oceanus Septentrionalis. Uh, and then they also can always raid from Caledonia into these two regions up here. Um, so you're going to select spaces that you want to raid. Uh, you're going to pay some renown. And then you're going to roll uh, some number of D4s. Um, the number of D4s total, uh, or I'm sorry, the result of the D4 is the amount of raiders that are going to land on that space. Uh, and then you're going to subtract raiders if you're going across a patrolled ocean equal to the number of forts that are bordering on that ocean. So currently, for your purposes, Garrick, uh, there are three forts, which are the red uh, strongholds, gotcha. on both of these oceans. So at the beginning of the game, every single time you raid somewhere, you're going to lose three raiders on the way in because these oceans are patrols. Uh, the Scoti don't have to worry about this because their oceans are not patrolled, although that can change by event. Um, but anyway, so that that is uh, that's how roughly how raiding works. You're going to land raiders, uh, assuming any survive. You will steal some amount of prosperity and put them on top of your raiders as plunder. Um, and then you may uh, try and battle and destroy uh, settlements. And then once you're done with that, that is uh, that's roughly how raid works. Uh, and then the the goal of that long term is to later do a return action, which allows you to bring all of your raiders home, uh, any surviving raiders. Uh, all of the plunder that you bring home gets converted into renown, uh, which is your resource and also partly your victory condition. Uh, much more for the Scoti, but you can win a renown victory as well. Uh, and then you can. Um, Settle is the special action, or the feat is what they're called in this game. Uh, settle allows you to actually build your own permanent settlements uh, along uh, in in spaces where you have raiders. Gotcha. So that that's the core loop. You're in for the first like half of the game. Both the barbarians are doing pretty much a ton of raiding uh, in key places, and there's a lot of nuance to where you where and when you want to raid. Uh, and then you're returning and attempting to settle. Uh, does that make sense? Like as a yeah. gameplay loop? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward for the two barbarians. Um, you have a standard march command and a standard battle command, uh, just like you know. Well, you played Falling Sky, so it's it's pretty much the same as Falling Sky, uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, surprise! Both of the barbarians have um, surprise is going to. Uh, a, allow you to get past the coast and go into the soft internal regions. So with a surprise feat, you can do what's called a deep raid, which is one space adjacent to a coastal region. So like you can raid across Oceanus Germanicus into Icani, and then if you have a surprise, you can 
instead of targeting this region, you can go inland by one space, essentially. Gotcha. Um, the second thing that Surprise allows you to do is overcome, uh, or you have a chance, you roll a die, there's a chance to overcome some of the natural defenses of a fortification or a settlement, I should say. Uh, I'm really mixing up my terminology here. They're called strongholds. All, <laughs> all buildings are called strongholds. Got it. Uh, the red ones are forts, the light blue ones are towns, and the dark blue ones are hill forts. And they have slightly different defensive values, which we'll talk about later. Uh, but yeah, surprise allows you to potentially overcome uh, your uh, the, some of the defenses and lose less raiders while destroying things. Uh, Ravage for you, Garrick, is mostly a weapon to be used against the dukes. Uh, dukes. Um, it uh, allows you to plunder a lot more prosperity than you normally would, and prosperity directly impacts my victory condition. If you ever need to pull a dukes down that's uh, running away with the game, you can use Ravage uh, to do that pretty effectively. Um, the the Scoti have a similar set of, uh, or they have actually exactly the same uh, commands and feats, with the exception of uh, their Ransom and Entreat, which um, Ransom is a way for them to make more money, and Entreat allows them to convert Kibitate's units to theirs, but you don't really need to worry about those as much. Uh, what you do need to worry about is me. Um, so the Dukes are the uh, military power on the board. Um, and they're going to be the most incentivized to come and kill your raiders. Because my uh, victory condition is tied to the amount of prosperity that's on the islands uh, and prestige. And when I kill raiders, I get to put prosperity back on the island. Um, I get to take back some of the plunder and put it back onto spaces. Gotcha. And I get prestige for winning battles. Um, so in a way, Garrick, you and the Scoti are my economy. Um, so keep that in mind as you decide where and when to attack. Um, so the way that I'm going to be doing that is uh, primarily the intercept command. Um, so what intercept allows me to do is move and then battle within a single command, uh, which is very rare, if not uh, unheard of in coin games. Um, so the way that works is I select um, I select target locations that have Britain control. So they have to be controlled for me to intercept into them, which means that part of your strategy is deny, uh, destroying control, because then I can't intercept you. Um, but anyway, so I pick target regions that are Britain controlled, and I can move any cavalry from anywhere on the board as long as I use the road network. Um, so you'll notice these spaces have this little lattice of yeah. roadways. Um, so like if you raid in uh, Ikeni over here, I can intercept there and bring like these two cavalry all the way from over here, some cavalry from this city up here, and like I can pile them all in from all over the place. To Ikeni, you can. Yes. Even though. It's uh, not oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can I can travel along the road network, and then I can step off the road network by one space. Okay. Uh, which essentially at the beginning of the game gives me access to the entire board. As you can see, uh, yeah, pretty much. There are no spaces that are not at least one space away from a road. Um, so another big part of especially the Saxon strategy is breaking the road network uh, because I can only try as long as Britain control is there. So a very common opening move, if you get uh, the opening move, is to attack Parisi. This is very lightly defended. If you can destroy this settlement or strongholds, then there will no longer be Britain control here, and then I will not be able to use this little road segment through Parisi. So all of these cavalry will be stuck up here. Yeah. And then, you know, all of this is much less heavily defended. Uh, so that's intercept in the broad strokes. And you, you'll see it play out, and it'll become much more obvious how it works as the game goes on. But um, just know that I can basically hit you from anywhere. And so you're working to try and uh, prevent me from being able to do that by manipulating uh, Britain control on the board. Um, I also have like a basic train, which is build more cavalry or train more cavalry and militia. 
Uh, I have a basic march action, which also can use roads. Um, so I can pretty much march anywhere on the islands. And then I have a battle. Um, I Oh, invites. So this is a fun little bit of this game. Uh, so both of the Britain factions have the invite feat. Uh, the way the invite feat works is um, I can place one of your settlements anywhere where I have. So let's say the Kivitates are doing this. So if they want to invite here, they can place one of your settlements there along with some amount of your warbands. Uh, for you, it's three. For the Saxons, it's two. Uh, and then they mark those as Foderati which is essentially their mercenaries. So they can hire your pieces as mercenaries and control them. Interesting. Um, and then they get marked with these little counters that indicate that they are not yours, but they are the Britons. Uh, and they, we, they are either red or blue Fodorati. Make sense? Yeah. Um, so those, uh, so you, so not only do you have to worry about the cavalry, but you will potentially have to worry about your own pieces getting bled out from under you. However, that is a double-edged sword because the Britons have to pay the mercenaries, and when they pay the mercenaries, you end up with the money that we pay them. Uh, there's a an Anona phase, is what it's called at the beginning of every epoch. Uh, we have to pay our Fodorati. If uh, we do pay them, then you get the renown that we paid. Uh, if we do not pay them, then they revolt and they convert into your pieces. Uh, they lose the Fodorati markers and become yours. Cool. Um, so that is invite. Um, let's see. For me, uh, requisition is exclusively about economic warfare against the Kiwitates, so I won't explain a ton of it. But basically, I can steal money and put it into a special resource bin that's mine. Um, well, no, actually, I will talk about that a little bit, just so you're aware. Uh, so you'll notice this Britain resources a thing up here. That's how much money both of us have to spend, the Dukes and the Kiwitates. Um, uh, and both of us can spend from that pool freely. Uh, there's also a Dukes resources marker. There's currently zero. Uh, but I can accumulate my own bank of resources that only I can spend. So requisition steals blue resources and generates red resources. Uh, and then there's build, which allows me to create new strongholds and retaliate, which is like a, a beefy battle command. Uh, what do you need to know about the Kiwitates? Um, not much, other than they also can invite. Um, they're, in terms of military, they're mostly going to be defensive. Um, so really, as the Saxon player, you're generally paying attention to where the red pieces are. Makes sense. Uh, so everyone else is. I'm not gonna like go over everything else uh, in terms of commands because you'll just kind of see them play out. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, the others have played the game before, so I think that's good enough uh, there. <clears throat> uh, okay. So let's let's see. Let's do the Imperium track. Um, yeah, battle battle can wait. Uh, okay. So. Um, Oh, man. <laughs> Where to start? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, there's three Imperium states, as you uh, I've, I've said already. Um, Roman rule is essentially where uh, the Romans still have full control over the island. So uh, that generates a lot of taxes. Um, when the Britain resources come in during the epoch, they get taxed a lot back to Rome. Uh, but in return, there's a lot of uh, financial perks. Um, so, for example, the roads have to be maintained. They have to be paid for, I should say. Um, that happens automatically at Roman rule. Um, my casualties, uh, the, the cavalry that die if we're at Roman rule, go back into my pool, whereas as we degrade, some of them can be removed from play permanently. Um... What else? But actually, most of this you don't really do know, because it's mostly about the relationship between the Dukes and the Kiwitates. Um, but the main things, I guess, that is are worth knowing for you, just so you can uh, help nudge us in certain directions, is uh, at any, any part of Roman rule, 
And at autonomy with military dominance, I am allowed to spend Britain resources freely uh, without the permission of the Kibitates. If uh, I suffer some major disaster and we somehow end up at autonomy with civilian dominance, I have to ask permission to use Britain resources, <laughs> uh, which will essentially completely hamstring me uh, as the Duke's player. Yeah. Um, uh, Roman rule. Uh, actually, this is worth knowing for the bar uh, for you as a barbarian player. Uh, at Roman rule during epoch, all of the prosperity cubes are going to get refilled. Uh, that's not exactly true, but but the top row will be refilled gotcha. uh, of the prosperity track when we're at Roman rule. If we collapse to autonomy, there's a lot less infrastructure, and only the bottom row will get filled. So the island becomes much less rich as Roman rule degrades. Uh, rich in terms of like plunder for you. I got you. Um, what else is important to know with these two? I think that's kind of it. Um, and then fragmentation uh, is essentially turns into a, a free for all. Um, the Dukes and the Kibitates relationship is permanently severed, uh, and they become essentially local rival warlords trying to carve out little petty kingdoms, uh, which is why the uh, Duke's victory condition changes to uh, population control rather than worrying about prosperity and prestige. Um, OK, uh, the way that these, uh, the way that this state can change from military to civilian dominance is uh, there's an Imperium phase during every Epoch uh, round that happens before the victory check, where we measure Kiwitate's wealth and Duke's prestige. Uh, and you, I'm sorry, we subtract prestige from wealth. And if the result is equal to or less than five, then it either moves to or stays on the Roman rule side. Uh, if wealth minus prestige is equal to or greater than 10, then it moves over to civilian dominance. Um, I didn't really explain wealth that much, but um, effectively, one of the Kiwitate's feats is to spend two Britain resources for one wealth, and wealth is like their own little pool of money that only they can spend. Um, they're essentially trying to hoard uh, their wealth as the island collapses. So they're, uh, despite what Hector may tell you, they're uh, greedy little bastards. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to stop you from spending it is all I'm trying. <laughs> yes, and, and actually, the the other perk of wealth is that I can't spend wealth very easily. Uh, there are certain circumstances where I can, but it's usually a disaster when that happens. So, um, yeah. So uh, the Kiwitates are trying to accumulate wealth. The Dukes are trying to accumulate prestige, and we're in a little bit of an arms race uh, because if that delta ever is greater than five, then this can start to move around and switch sides. Uh, and again, these are mutually exclusive victory conditions. So while we are cooperating in every way, we are at uh, basically at war economically yeah. between the two of us. Uh, OK. Um, since we're talking about Imperium, let's just do the epoch round real quick. Um, so first, there is the Anona phase. Uh, which is where we pay our Fodorati, and if they don't get paid, they revolt. Uh, then we go to Imperium. Um, and uh, where is the the chart for Imperium? Oh, no. It's not here. Oh, no, there it is. What am I talking about? I was looking for the ballot thing. Uh, OK, so here's the, this is the Epoch round sheets. There's two of them. Uh, oh, that's right. This is the battle chart. Perfect. That's good. OK, um, yeah, so during Imperium, uh, the Kibitates can transfer resources to wealth one for one, uh, which is a much better conversion rate for them. And then there are three levels at which uh, the shifts down from Roman rule to autonomy or fragmentation can happen. Um, so really, uh, autonomy is the big one. If Britain control is 21 through 30, then it breaks down to autonomy. And notice that, again, there's this little sweet spot between 28 and 30 where yeah. Uh, if they collapse but are still above 28, they can auto win before anyone has a chance to do anything about it. Because right after the Imperium phase is the victory check. Um, 
then if no one has won, there's an epoch event. Uh, so there's a little, basically every like propaganda round card in this game has an event. Uh, those events are uniformly terrible for the Duke's player in the early game, and then they are kind of a mixed bag in the later game. But generally, epoch round hurts for me. Uh, then we do revenue, which is you know basically like every other coin game. Um, people get money for stuff on the board. Um, uh, for your purposes, you're going to get uh, renown equal to your control, uh, or I'm sorry, equal to prosperity under your control. So in the early game, you're probably not going to get any renown during the epoch because you probably are unlikely to have any control until probably the second epoch, roughly, on average. Uh, and then there's like an upkeep phase where things move around on the board. Uh, recovery, which is um, also just upkeep stuff, and then we move on. So that's kind of the epoch round. The important thing is you want to be kind of aware of how the Imperium phase works. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then finally... Oh, uh, let's, let's talk about pivotals real quick. Uh, these are also in Fire in the Lake, and I think maybe there's something similar in Liberty or Death, although that's one of the ones yep, I've played there is. Yep, cool. there is. Um, okay, so pivotals are uh, events that you can play at any time as long as you meet the condition, which is in red at the top. So for your purposes, Garrick, you can only play your pivotal event if you have at least 15 renown. Um, the way the pivotals work is... Uh, if we're on the current card and you meet two conditions, the first of which is you are eligible, and the second of which is no one has acted yet, uh, you can essentially bump the current card back to next, uh, play your pivotal card instead, and then execute the event on it. Gotcha. Um, they all do very unique things. Um, most of them are like little release valves. Uh, yours is this big threat. So if you look at yours, you yeah. can convert Fodorati in three spaces to yours uh, all at once, which is very scary. Um, so we have to manage where we put our Fodorati and how much renown you have and all that stuff. Um, the Kibutates one, uh, essentially, as things degrade, they can sort of retreat into the hills, into their ancestral homelands, and become more. Uh, Celtic rather than Romanized. Um, and then they also generate uh, actual warband pieces, which allows them to be more effective militarily. Their, their little militia pieces are uh, pretty terrible at fighting. They're mostly defensive. Um, my pivotal... Um, I'll, I'll probably talk about this if we get to it, but it, it's kind of my safety valve for if we get stuck at autonomy, I can just force the Imperium down to fragmentation and say, screw you to the Kibitates. I'm <laughs> going to go be a warlord. Um, and then, probably most importantly, is the Conspiratio Barbarica, which uh, almost always gets played immediately, uh, or probably 80% of the time it gets played immediately, like on round one. Uh, and sometimes it gets saved for like the you know, middle of the first epoch. But effectively what it does is it gives the Scoti the biggest raid of their life. Uh, they get to target five regions where normally they only get to target uh, four spaces. They roll way more dice than they normally do. Uh, and then the Saxons also get a free raid uh, with four targets, which is one more than normal. And they also roll a ton of dice. Um, so they basically they play that card and the island gets absolutely demolished uh, really quickly. So I, I usually see people play that like first or second card. Um, if not, occasionally there's reasons to hold off on it, but um, you're going to get a big, big, big free raid uh, fairly early. Uh, okay, so those are the pivotals. Does all that make sense? Yeah, roughly. Do you have any questions uh, before we do battle and dive in? Uh, I don't think so. Cool. Uh, OK, so battle is a lot more complicated than it looks. Um, what? Uh, be <laughs> <laughs> well, so I say that because, because most battles really only use like two of the steps, um, sometimes even less. <laughs> uh, so the steps are all there because there's a lot of uh, little like niche situations that the battle system can cover. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. 
So uh, there is a pre-battle step um, where you can uh, attempt to evade. As a defender, you can attempt to evade sometimes uh, or ambush sometimes. And I'll talk about those later. But basically, before a battle happens, you somebody usually can choose to roll dice that uh, does some effect to them. And I'll circle back around to that. Um, trap? Uh, well, OK. So that's pre-battle. Uh, once we get into the battle, there are four steps, or I guess three. I don't know why trap is called step zero. Actually, I do, so never mind. Um, so you just go through these steps in order, and basically pieces, different pieces attack during different steps. Um, so we're going to skip trap, because it only happens if one event comes out permanently, and then there's a couple things that, a couple events allow it to happen uh, temporarily. Oh, they're all listed on here. This is a great chart. I've never seen this chart before. Uh, but anyway, we're going to skip trap. Uh, so in a field battle, um, defenders with a stronghold can withdraw into the strongholds, and then a battle just doesn't happen um, in the fields. But if, if uh, the defenders stay in the field or they can't withdraw, then there are basically three parts to battle. So first is charge and ambush. Um, cavalry always strike during charge. So that basically, the, this is when they do their damage. Um, all the other cubes strike during melee. And then raiders strike last during harass. Um, cavalry do one hit. Uh, warbands and Fodorati and Komitates do one hit. Uh, militia do half a hit. And raiders also do half a hit. And Garrick, you'll remember this from Falling Sky. It's basically exactly the same as how legions and uh, auxilia work. Um, so, like, most cubes have one hit hit points, and they do one hit. Yeah. Uh, and the raiders and the militia have half a hit points each, and they do half a hit each. Um, so, for example, if there's, like, two cavalry and, like, six raiders uh, in a region, then the cavalry strike first. There's two of them, so they do two hits. That's going to kill four raiders, because raiders have half a hit point. Uh, and then the remaining two raiders would do one hit, which could then kill a cavalry back. Make sense? Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Really, all you need to know mostly are these three steps. Um, uh, when you attack the Britons, usually the militia are going to withdraw into their strongholds, so you're rarely going to do field battle. Um, but that's that's like kind of the gist of battle. Uh, actually, no. And now now is a good time to circle back to evade. Um, so there's two things that you can do in the pre-battle step. You can try to evade, or you can try to ambush. Um, ambush basically just upgrades your, uh, they upgrade barbarian warbands and barbarian fodorati from the melee step into the charge step. So, so if you successfully ambush uh, with barbarian cubes, then you get to strike at the same time as cavalry, which is um, pretty good, because that significantly uh, changes the calculus of battles oftentimes. Uh, and, and I guess I, I should have clarified. If it wasn't clear already, um, any hits done during a step are fully resolved. Those pieces die during that step. Yeah. Don't strike back if they're striking in later steps. No, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Cool. Um, so that's ambush. Uh, allows you to strike sooner. Um, evade is going to be super relevant for you, uh, Garrick, as a Barbarian player. Because uh, if my cavalry ever show up and try to engage your raiders in battle, you can attempt to evade. And if you successfully invade, then no battle happens. Um, so you deny me my prestige points. And of course, you keep all of the plunder that are sitting on your raiders' backs. Um, so the way evade works is uh, there's three types of terrain. So this is um, clear terrain, the little grassy areas. These four spaces are fens, like swamps, basically. Uh, and then, of course, there's a bunch of hills off to the side. Um, fens are considered rough terrain, and so are hills. Um, and then fens are also home terrain for the Saxons, and then hills are home terrain for the Scoti. Gotcha. Uh, so when you're trying to evade, if you're evading in clear terrain, then uh, you roll a d6, and you successfully evade on a 6. It's a very low odds. Uh, if you're in rough terrain, uh, that is not your home terrain, then you evade on a 5 or a 6. And if you're in home terrain, then you evade on a 4, 5, or 6. 
Okay. So as Saxons, you want to be targeting the Fens because you have a 50-50 chance to evade there. Yeah. Um, and then if you, if this is rare, but if the Saxons end up in like some hills region randomly, then you're going to evade on a five or a six. Uh, and then clear is always six. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. So that's field battles. Uh, now, th this is, I think, the thing that trips most people up because it is a little uh, crunchy, I guess. Uh, so assaults. Uh, if all the defenders withdrew into a um, strongholds, then the attacker may attempt to assault the strongholds. Um, there are two steps to assaults. Um, the first is called the Escalade, and that is where all of the defenders inside the strongholds attack uh, without being able to get retaliated against. So they're going to attack. The, the defenders are going to strike during Escalade. And then during Storm, both the defenders and the attackers will strike. So basically, if you're trying to assault a stronghold, you're going to get attacked twice going in. You're going to get attacked during Escalade, and then again during Storm, and then it's during the Storm step that you actually get to kill stuff yourself as the attacker. So it's very expensive to assault strongholds, effectively. Um, and the way that the math works for Escalades is um, every stronghold has an intrinsic garrison, uh, plus the pieces that get uh, withdrawn into it. So hill forts have one uh, P it's sort of like a passive uh, you know, defender piece that's always inside the stronghold. So hill forts have one. Forts also have one. Uh, towns have two. And then the big cities have three and four, respectively. Um, then you... Uh, so then you combine the garrison along with any withdrawn units. And then all of those units are going to strike uh, during Escalade. Now... Uh, this chart, one thing it does not have, unfortunately, is the uh, Escalade the values. values. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you, Hector. Um, okay, so uh, there's this little chart over here. Um, all of the strongholds have a particular uh, Escalade defense value. Uh, so that acts as a multiplier on the number of units that are inside the strongholds. Um, so let's say, as the Saxons, you attack over here in Ikeni. OK. Uh, so this is a hill fort, and these two militia would definitely withdraw into the hill fort. Yes. Um, because hill forts over here have a capacity of two. So both of those militia can fit inside the hill fort. Uh, and then the hill fort has a garrison of one. So that means there are three units inside the hill fort. Uh, then during Escalade, those three units get multiplied by the Escalade defense value, which is half. So those three units do one and a half hits during Escalade. Uh, which, of course, kills three raiders, because raiders uh, are... Have half a health. They have half a health, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so hill forts um, are the weakest strongholds. They're the easiest to uh, assault because they only have a garrison of one and they have escalade of a half. Uh, the duke's forts have a garrison of one, but their escalade defense is very good. It is one. So every piece in there is going to do a full hit, which means it's going to kill two raiders for every piece that's inside the fort when you try to assault forts. Um, and then towns are kind of in the middle. So they have a weaker Escalade defense, but they have a, a two garrison uh, units inside. So they, and they have a holding capacity of four. So they can stack quite a few pieces inside on defense. Um, uh, does that all kind of like, it'll make a lot more sense when you actually do an assault, but does that kind of roughly? Yeah, I mean, I think that, of... I think that all makes sense. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, it's like not very intuitive, but once you wrap your head around it, the math is very, very simple. Um, just a number of pieces divided by half, or divided by the, the Escalade value. Uh, so that's Escalade. And then we get to the Storm step. Um, and actually, this is, this is another area where there's some slight uh, unintuitive stuff going on. Um, so during the Storm step, every single piece attacks each other, simul any, every surviving piece. <laughs> attacks each other simultaneously 
uh, and they all do one hit no matter what kind of piece they are, and they all have one health no matter what kind of piece they are. So basically the upshot of that is if your raiders get to storm, uh, they do a full hit and they have a full HP only during storm. Because so that's kind of like a weird little exception uh, that people tend to forget. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's always the thing where people are like, uh, let's just see it play out later. <laughs> um, but just to go back to our Ikeni example, um, this hill fort has a garrison unit plus these two withdrawn. So because it has an Escalade value of half, it's going to do one and a half hits on the Escalade. Uh, and you're going to lose three raiders. Um, now, let's say you landed with like eight raiders. So three raiders die in Escalade, and you have five left. So those five raiders during Storm get upgraded to basically full pieces, and they do five hits. Uh, and then there are two militia in here and one garrison. So that's three hits. So you're going to lose three of your five raiders, and you're going to kill the three pieces inside, and then that will destroy the hillport. Does that make a little more sense now that? Yeah, that, that seems pretty clear. Just okay. slightly weird. Yeah, it is. It is slightly weird. Um, there, there is a reason for it. The math uh, makes for some very interesting strategic choices, but uh, it's a little weird at first. So I get it. Uh, but anyway, that is battle. Um, you can also siege, which uh, in practice very rarely happens until fragmentation. But uh, if you have cubes, not raiders, uh, raiders cannot siege. Uh, but if you have cubes equal to or higher than the holding capacity, uh, instead of assaulting, you can just siege it. And what a siege does is you get to kill off a cube inside uh, the settlement for free. Um, so basically, don't and worry about that. Would uh, that be just instead of doing like the, the combat it's at all? instead of assaulting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you either assault or you siege. You can't do both. Uh, okay. Uh, battle consequences we should go over real quick. Um, so a lot of stuff happens after battles. Um, specifically, if cavalry were in the battle and they lost fewer pieces than the enemy, they gain a prestige. So that's where a lot of my prestige comes from. Um, similarly, I can lose prestige from battles as well. OK. Uh, anytime a fort or a town gets destroyed, I lose two prestige. Um, so there's you're going to be hammering my prestige over the course of the game as you blow up towns, specifically. Uh, forts, uh, towns and forts, I should say. Uh, anytime you destroy a stronghold, you're going to get extra plunder uh, for it. So two plunder for any stronghold and three plunder for towns. Uh, and those come from just like the general supply, not off of the map. Um, it's probably worth noting there um, that a lot of times you n end up not getting that because you don't have enough guys to carry it. Correct, yeah. <laughs> so every every raider can only carry one plunder, and often if you destroy a stronghold, you end up doing it with like two survivors, and they already have two plunder because you raided there earlier. Um, but yeah, if you if you manage to like roll gigantic, then sometimes destroying settlements can be very lucrative. Strongholds, strongholds, strongholds. I don't know why I keep saying settlements. Tisk tisk. I know, I know. Um, Stream I've played this game like over 20 times, so you all should make fun of me viciously when I mess things up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and then for the Dukes, uh, if uh, this is mostly relevant to the Dukes, but also sometimes the Kibitates, um, if you kill uh, enemy pieces with plunder, you can either split half the plunder rounded down amongst your attacking units, uh, with the exception of cavalry. Cavalry never take plunder because they are uh, honorable Romans just trying to hold the silence together. Uh, <laughs> or they can return one prosperity to the space. So normally I'm going to be attacking you, uh, your raiders. I'm going to get a prestige, and I'm going to put a prosperity back that you stole uh, is generally what I'm trying to accomplish with uh, your pieces. Hmm. Uh, yes, Goat Manage, this was definitely my idea. I'm very happy that we're finally playing this. Um, <laughs> I don't know about the others that I have uh, roped into doing this with me, but... <laughs> I'm excited. 
I mean, I wanted to play, I but missing out the July 4th Liberty or Death Synergy, Drew, that's... <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. I, we said that I pre-stream. a little bit more bad. <laughs> uh, well, whatever. I, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'll get the modern ready <laughs> right after the teach. Yeah, we'll play that tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay, so that is, uh, I believe, everything that you need to know Garrick. Okay. Um, is there anything that I'm missing, uh, Hector Badger? That, 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 that was a great job. You did great with the pronunciations too. Is it <laughs> is it Scotty? I'm I'm being serious. Are, is it Scotty? I've I've been calling it, it is, Scotty, but I think it's Scotty. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I'm I not positive. It's a long o. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's a long o. But okay. okay. I'll I'll defer to you guys. Um, As what, a general I rule, you if you the, sorry, go ahead. Battle stuff because you said it is. Uh, more complicated than it looks is what I heard, and I was like, "Damn, it looks pretty complicated already." <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why I laughed. But yeah, this uh, this part's made by uh, Morgane herself. So gotcha. Oh, it, okay, it really cool. Helps, yeah, you know? it is a really, really good uh, charts. I like it a lot. Actually, it's a board. Like, I, it seems like it's made to if you want to to actually just put the pieces over here. Um, yeah, we could just like which uh, you know I like to step down. Takes a lot of time, but uh, if that helps you, Garrick, we're I'm happy to do that because the first couple times you might want the aid. So. Yeah, we can play it by ear. We'll see what ends up making sense. Cool. Uh, speaking of pronunciations, if anybody cares, uh, and I doubt that anyone cares, but uh, generally all of the C's in this game are going to be hard instead of soft. So like Cornovi instead of, uh, I don't know, Sorn, Sorno? <laughs> anyway. <So. laughs> uh, almost all the C's will be hard. Okay. Uh, all of the V's are Latin, and so they're pronounced like a W. Uh, which takes some getting used to, but this is Catuwelani and mm-hmm. Trino Wantes, for example. Man. All right. Yeah. Uh, but also, you know, <laughs> this is a period that was 1600 years ago, so we, we don't know exactly how everything is pronounced, but that's the, the language is dead. Let's exactly. move on. <laughs> yes. I can say with confidence. Y'all can pronounce it however you want. I can say with confidence yeah. that this is Ice Knee. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pronounce it ice teeny. Ice teeny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was going to say, you guys can pronounce it however the heck you want, but okay, uh, yeah. Hector mentioned pronunciation, so I thought I'd say something. Uh, anyway, so cool. I, I think, unless you have any questions, Garrick, uh, we can just dive in. I have no questions now, but my first turn, I'll ask for the whole teach again. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's push this button. Oh, we got to push it again. Oop. Nope. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I don't know why the different colors are different shadows. Oh well, whatever. Uh, okay, so that is really bad news for me. Um, Garrick is first up. Um, the barbarians are first up. Um, so, oh, uh, this isn't going to be relevant for a while, but I did forget to mention one thing about pivotals, Garrick. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll notice the bottom they say may trump pivotal. Yes. Uh, for other factions. What that means is if somebody else plays their faction and they're on your trump list, you as long as you're also eligible to play your pivotal, you can say, no, I cancel your pivotal and I'm going to play mine instead. And then theirs just goes back into their hand. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, all that to say, um, Badger, do you want to play the Barbarian Conspiracy or do you want to hold off on it? Because you are technically eligible. First player has not gone yet, so you could just throw it out right away. Um, or you could say, and then this one gets. This one just gets. This one still will. Be it the will next. still happen. Yeah. Yes. So if you decide to play yes. your pivotal, then this is just going to bump then, back right. to being yeah. on deck. Uh, and then when the pivotal is done, then it'll come back down just like anything else. Um, no, I, I want to see what Garrick does first. Cool. <laughs> so just, yeah, just, and and I would yeah. suggest actually doing that yeah, because I if think, you let I think Garrick that makes raid, sense. yes, yeah, yeah. That's... If you let Garrick raid. Yep. Then he will be he'll raid, uh, and then you can yeah. play your pivotal as the second card, which gives him a free raid even if he's not eligible. So he can raid yep. twice in a row, and you can really. Uh, we're yep. we're gonna have the Britons are gonna have a bad time this game. <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> um, well, it sounds like because I'm first eligible, I want to pull off that immediate raid on Paris yes, E that, is that you correct. mentioned is a good idea. Um, so I would just, uh, generally speaking, you want to raid and surprise 
uh, as the Saxons as often as you can. Um, so, so your raids can be combined with Surprise or Ravage. Uh, if you look at Ravage, it just allows you to take a lot more plunder, um, which is mostly useful if you're trying to hurt the Dukes uh, because they're like really close to a runaway victory. Um, but for the most part, Surprise is really good because, and I didn't explain this earlier, um, but Surprise gives you the opportunity to roll a die, and if you succeed, you get to skip Escalade on the Assault. Gotcha. Uh, which means you will al you're almost guaranteed to destroy whatever stronghold you're attacking, uh, because Escalade is when you lose most of your pieces. Storm is actually not very bad for you. Um, so anyway, I, all that to say, Raid plus Surprise is a, a solid first move right here. Although I guess you should look at the event. It, it, the event bad. wouldn't, I mean, the event wouldn't necessarily be bad, but because one uh, thing you didn't see. talk about is that <laughs> oh, that's true. If, yeah, you could you could play that event, Garrick, and there isn't a place to place your settlement because there's no openings. But because it's an event, you could kick one of these. Out. Oh, I did forget to explain that. Now, so yeah. technically, there is an open spot, yeah. so he would have to put it there. Um, so in that case, it's not as good. But uh, okay, so Garrick, Pendragon has a weird little. Uh, rule. That Isn't it in either though? Uh, if there's an open space, you oh, have to pick. You have to space. take it. Oh, okay. If there's no open oh, space. Oh, if there's yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Garrick, if um, if an event ever says place a stronghold somewhere, mm -hmm. oh, that's why I keep saying settlements. Um, the the barbarian strongholds are called settlements. Okay. Cool. I knew that was coming from somewhere. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if you ever, if an event ever tells you to place a stronghold in a particular spot, oh, good night. <laughs> I'm not sure he would do hired muscle. Right, uh, I was, I was reading sorry. it like it makes them photorati. photorati. That's yeah. why I was like, I don't know that I would actually want that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you had so, a chance to, yeah. It, generally speaking, okay. the unshaded upper half of the event is the event for the Britons, and the shaded one is for the Barbarians. Yep, yeah. Uh, but, but it is worth noting, if an event ever tells you to place a stronghold somewhere, and you can't because both the spaces are filled, uh, you can replace a settlement or strongholds uh, with the thing with with just with events. You can always do that with events. Uh, gotcha. Brutal. <laughs> so, for example, if there were two yeah uh, no, strongholds I gotcha. in Parisi, then you know you could just swap one of them out with a Foderati, which actually would be kind of good for you because that kind of sets you up for Adventus Sexonum later. Um, but in this case, you know you're just giving us free mu uh, muscle, right? Here, right. Which you don't want. So you said I really want to use surprise, which means I'm going to want the command and feet. Uh, correct. Yes. Um, oh, actually, maybe not, because if you let the Kibitates take the event, I really shouldn't be telling you this, but <laughs> <laughs> if you let the Kibitates take the event, then they could just take back Parisi. It would be Fodorati, but we would control it again, and then the road would be re rebuilt. So maybe you don't want a surprise. It's up to you. <laughs> that seems like maybe not the worst way to do that, though. I don't know how how pivotal is surprise. Like well, would so I... what you would use, yeah, what you would use surprise for is to try and destroy one of the duke's forts, and most often the one in Kantiaki. Um, specifically because the fort in Kantiaki is patrolling both of the oceans. Yeah. So if you destroy it, then you're down to two patrols in both of the oceans where you can raid through. Um, so this is like a, a critical fort uh, in terms of the Britain defense system. Um, wow. So if you can drop a big stack here and then successfully surprise with your little roll and destroy this fort, then you're in you're in a good spot. So that's why you would surprise. Uh, also, it's worth noting you uh, you do you fully resolve each raid in order. So if you raid in Kantiaki and destroy the fort, uh, and then your second raid is like you know in Trinuantes, 
uh, then uh, the basically this patrol only gets checked as I gotcha. the raid is happening. So yeah. You, if you can like chain your way up the coast and destroy a fort each way, each raid will get successfully successively a little bit more powerful as you go. Uh, and also because of that, uh, one other little mini rule that I forgot to mention: uh, in this game, unlike every other coin game, you must declare all of your commands and the corresponding feats and mark them with pieces before you do any rolling. So you don't get to like roll and see how this raid went and then decide where you're going to raid next. Gotcha. You have to say, I'm going to raid here, here, and here, uh, place the pieces, lock yourself in, and then you get to start rolling to see how many raiders you have. Gotcha. OK, now I think we got all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. So weird being on this side of the the table and not being the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like semi afraid now. E everything the Raider does, it's like always like positive feedback. Like you know, the their Raiders don't really they don't really care if it dies. So whatever. But now I'm looking how spread out I am and how weak I am at some points. It's kind of scary. Help me, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. Don't worry. I will help you. I'll be good to you, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think, I, I think I'm going to go for the command only. And... <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. I should well, have just let Garrick stumble and fall. No, I, I was, <laughs> was going to ask about that, if that makes you feel better. No, I, I know. You, you've played enough coins. You know what's up. Uh, so we're obviously doing, uh, Parigi, um, and I do like the sound of going after this. It seems worse without surprise though. Yes, it will be significantly worse without surprise. Yeah. Uh, and I, if you if you want me to just give you the number that you need to roll, then I can tell you. Um, so like, well, actually, let's math it out. So forts have a. Uh, ooh, if you hover over, uh, this is a great. This is actually a nice mod. Did you add this, Hector? If you hover over the strongholds, it tells you their capacity. Garrison yeah, I units, actually just added that, that while you were teaching. Oh, uh, this is amazing. <laughs> Good job. Um. Yeah, okay, so if you hover over this fort, um, it's got a garrison unit and an Escalade defense of one. Um, most likely, the Kivitates will uh, re they'll withdraw their militia into the fort with me. So it's going to have three pieces in there, probably, because mm -hmm. this fort's very important to both of us. Um, so it'll have three pieces with an Escalade defense of one. So that means it's going to do, it's going to kill six raiders yeah. during Escalade. Then during Storm, it has three pieces and it's going to kill another three raiders. So in order to remove this fort without surprise, you need to uh, roll 10 raiders at, at minimum. Uh, and you only have 3d4. So odds are low. Odds are very low. Um, also, you should... Now with surprise, there's, you know, it's a big difference, potentially, because yeah. you can uh, skip the kill six raiders during Escalade, potentially. So. Surprise is still a, a dice roll, though, right? It is still a dice roll. Yeah. Yes. Do you want me to explain how that works, Garrick, real quick? Just uh, an idea of that, or do you want to? Sure. Just... Go ahead and mention. Okay. Go ahead and explain it. Yeah. So coup de main is uh, the term for what happens when you try and surprise and skip the escalade step. Uh, what you do is you uh, uh, the the number that you have to beat is one plus the capacity minus units withdrawn inside. Um, so. So basically, fort has a capacity of two. If there are two units withdrawn inside, then you need to roll a one mm -hmm. uh, on your um, your coup de main. Um, it's much easier to coup de main against towns, for example, because they have a holding capacity of four, and usually they're only going to have one or two units withdrawn inside. So one plus four capacity minus two units, or one unit even, is like three or four. So you only need to roll. You have like a 50-50 or a 66% chance of successfully coup de main against a town. Um, yeah, that, that's how the math works. And that's listed right here for reference. Gotcha. Rule low is the, is the answer. 
<laughs> yes, roll low. <laughs> um, uh, and what I was going to say before is Treyman has a comment in chat that uh, you can choose the region that doesn't have a vacant spot, even if the other region choice does. Ooh, really? Are you sure? They, sure post, was, they uh, posted a BGG link. Oh, well, cool. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going after the, the Duke's Fort in uh, Kantiaki. You could go there. You don't have to. You don't have to try to kill the yeah yeah so you, kind so of you can too, so. yeah you can just raid and keep all, get a whole bunch of guys there and then he's got to bring exactly. in a bunch to kill you off and hopefully you can run away before he kills them all but yeah if you roll like four raiders you can just choose not to do any attacking yeah. um so it's not like you're forced yeah. into assaulting it's just you can't guarantee that you'll win an assault without 10 pieces so you yeah. always try and roll it and just see what you get sure i like gambling yeah. Um, I mean, it's a fence space, so you're going to be able to evade easily. So yeah. at worst, it's some free money that I will have a 50 50 and there and it's thing. and it's rich. There's four. Uh, yeah. That's yep. true. Yep. Um, how much renown do I have? Oof, only 10. Uh, when does it cost one versus two? Um, oh, that's it depends on how many dice you want to roll. And for the Saxons. Pretty much, you always want to roll max dice. Um, so it costs two renown to roll three d4 and one renown to roll one d4. So there's like a huge delta between. Oof. You you triple your dice by doubling your money. So, yeah, that seems like always worth. The only time you roll one d4 is if you're just trying to like snipe a little bit of renown and you're poor uh, and can't afford to like do a lot. But Saxons are all about destroying settlements. Or uh, strongholds. So, is it overextending myself to do three regions with this raid? Because it feels like that starts putting me tight on renown. No. no. Uh, it might put you tight on renown, but it's worth noting that during the epoch, if you're ever lower than ten, you're going to get reset to ten renown. Oop. So there's a little safety valve for you. And also, and yeah, also it, this, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, just going to play that, and you're going to free raid after this. So you'll you'll have plenty of money to return with. I'm probably not going to be able to put out all the fires. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, we'll do a third. I think I like the idea of keeping it on Germanicus. Uh, I don't know. I, I, Kenny has been popping out at me, but I don't know if that's sensible. Uh, it is generally the first region that falls because um, it doesn't have any cavalry see, it inherently. Have any, it doesn't have any roads. So if I put cavalry, I can intercept into Ikeni, but if uh, I put cavalry there, they're stuck there. I can't intercept out of it. Yeah, because I they have to start along a road to be able to use the road network. So yeah. it's it's not ideal for me to go in there at all. Okay. Yeah, I think I like these three as my targets then, and so that's going to cost me six because I want to roll dice. All right. Uh, I guess let's start with this one, because it has the potential, I guess, if I roll super well, of making the other ones better by exactly. removing the fort. Yep. Okay. And yep. then we're rolling 3d4, you said? 3d4, if you're, if you're paying two, yeah. Yeah, I'm paying two. Which it looks like yeah, you paid two for everything. Smart. Okay. Let's get all fours, baby. <laughs> all ones, baby. Uh, Drew? Uh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, close enough. Um, so that's seven raiders. Yep. Um, so grab seven raiders, pile them into Kantiaki. Um, you can just put them yeah, you uh, can inside them wherever you want. <laughs> or have them float in the air. That's pretty scary. Yeah, I <laughs> wasn't trying to float, but they wanted to. Yeah, like technology. <laughs> so then you're going to plunder only a single row, uh, specifically the topmost row. So okay. Take up to two. So okay. You get two plunder. Boom, boom. Uh, the prosperity marker goes down by two, along with my victory marker. Oh, there's a button. I forgot about the button. I don't want to. 
Oh, sweet. Can That's I... so cool. Such a good button. Good job. <laughs> Why did they all... Yeah, there you go. Hold on. They... There, there's really no harm. Oh, in just this like... is the problem with no, the hold on. point. I, I can fix that super easy. I just... I thought I had fixed it. Oh. I don't know why they're doing that. All right. Easy peasy. ETS master. Love it. Okay. Yeah, nice. Look at you. Uh, okay, so that's Kantiaki. You can now choose to give battle, or you can just choose to sit there. Um, we, obviously, you should Yeah, to sit there. I, I'm going to choose to sit there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, no, hang on. I take the back. Hang on. Uh, there is a little bit of game theory here, because if you, if you choose to fight, then we have to withdraw. And actually, is this enough to kill a town, even if both of us withdraw into the fort? Or actually, if we split up. So let's say we split up. Uh, so with one cavalry in the fort, the fort's going to kill four raiders on the way in, in Escalade, two during Storm, and one left. So yeah, we both have to go into the fort to keep the fort. Which means but there we're probably not. will we're gonna be an empty the town. <laughs> we should go into the fort. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hang on. You crossed uh, a patrol. I was about to say... lost three. On yeah, I was about to ask uh, about that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I forgot about that. So yeah. never mind. You you should sit tight. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, four raiders. I was going to train our relationship right there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I was like, why are we going into a fort? <laughs> because the fort kills the raiders on the way in. Look at that. that look at me. I'm already doing All right. Now. We're moving on. <laughs> um, I guess may as well just work yep. our way up and do I Kenny next. Okay. Yep. yep. Let's roll again. Four, four, three, uh, three weather. Four, so that ends up with eight. <laughs> I'm gonna let you. Oh know. boy. Yeah. So, Akani falls. Very unfortunate. Fixing the snaps. Doing this. There we go. Uh, better. Uh, okay. So we already subtracted for the patrols. You get two prosperity, which moves these down by two. Um, oops. Thank you. Uh, and then you may choose to assault if you'd like. Um, you, technically, you do battle first, and then if he withdraws, then you can decide to assault. So let's see. It would do. It would kill six, if I'm mathing right. Correct. Yep. Three right. during Escalade and three during Storm. So you'll have two left. Yeah. Which means I would not remove this because I would just, what, at most kill the two militia? Oh, no. Do the militia have half no, health? No, if you, if, you, if you kill the garrison unit and you have pieces left over, then the stronghold is destroyed. So you have enough to destroy the strongholds. And, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, yep. control, I don't think I ever covered this. Um, in this game, control is dictated by a having a stronghold in the space and b having more pieces than any other faction not including raiders raiders do not contribute to control at all okay yeah um but so if there's no stronghold in a space then you cannot have control whatsoever so yeah i got gotcha. you basically if you destroy this stronghold it becomes uncontrolled which means i cannot intercept into it even if i wanted to um, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a toehold because you can just raid here for free and it's hard for us to kill you. Yeah, that seems like a strong argument to go ahead with the attack even if it's going to leave me with only yes. a couple of pieces. Yes. Well, and you don't lose any plunder because it's only going to kill six argument. pieces. Yeah. Those guys are oh, not doing okay. anything. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you, you should go for it. Yeah, then let's go ahead and, and battle then. I withdraw. <laughs> <laughs> So Escalade kills three, Storm kills three, Raiders, along with all the pieces in the strongholds. Yep. You'll pay for this, Garrick. And then you wouldn't get plunder for that, except there. Yeah, no so you, yeah, yeah. you destroyed a stronghold, so two plunder would get generated, but you'd have none left to carry them, so nothing happens. Um, it's a hill fort, not a town, so I don't lose any prestige. Also, I'm at zero anyway. <laughs> and Joel's uh, gone. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, I don't think you went over... Either that there are hill fort, there are fort bases, and then there are. Yeah, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't really it talk about that because yeah. it doesn't matter to him. It doesn't matter. To him. I'm, I'm aware of it like, anyway. This is a town space. Yeah. 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 It, it's pretty self-explanatory. I know it's like a Venn diagram. I don't have it memorized, but I know it's a thing. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, and then finally Parisi. Uh, let's roll the three dice. Yep. It's not gonna hold. Come on, baby. Three ones. Three ones. Three ones. Oh shit. Four, two, one. Oh yes. Uh, I don't think he has enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, Oop. yep, so you get four raiders. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're in such, that's so good. Back in, get in there. Very cool. How are you on top of the bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, take your gold. Yeah, I'll take my gold and we'll leave it at that, I guess, because that battle... Look, guys, I'm losing. Oh. Oh. I'm no you have one thing in there. Oh. Yeah, you you can't remove the stronghold. Yeah, you could assault it. Um, he would kill all of your stuff. He'd kill everything you yep. have. And I yeah, needed one more. There. You Is that right? One more. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay. I think that's my turn. Well, wouldn't we just like mutual destruction? We would just both kill each other? No, because uh, the garrison, even if you kill the garrison unit, you have to have one piece left over to actually remove the stronghold. Gotcha. So he does have enough to like, quote unquote, kill the garrison unit. Yeah. Uh, but, but he needs one extra piece in order to actually okay. remove it. I think that was well done. You got a lot of plunder out of that. Uh, that's good, Garrick. I would have for a limited you. action. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Uh, um, Hector, can I convince you to muster here and put three militia down so that I can actually defend the realm with all my cavalry up here? What What does my militia like matter to you to defend? Uh, well, I'm just expecting them to play Barbarian Conspiracy next, which means uh -huh. Garrick is going to get another crack at Parisi, and it's going to be a really big one because it's 4d4 for the Yeah, no, it's still 3d4. Uh, but they get a free feat, so they're they're probably going to kill Barisi uh, if we don't defend it. Yeah, I mean, I would do it. I could right. pass, and you could uh, intercept. Uh, oh, that is a good point. I could do that actually. That's good that, prestige for you. That might actually be better. Although, basically, <laughs> that <laughs> basically we're arguing over who gets. Now that I think about it. Yeah, <laughs> who gets you stab the, him? No, I who gets the him. command plus the feat? <laughs> um, okay, okay. Here's my argument. Um, okay. they're gonna do the barbarian conspiracy, and then there's gonna be a boatload of raiders on the island, and uh -huh. you're gonna want me to be able to intercept all of them with a full command plus feat, rather than just being able to do a single one. Like you're gonna want me to clear all this crap out. So it might be better for you to take the limited than me to take the full next turn. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, when they do a pivotal, everyone doesn't go to. Um, we don't readjust eligibility. No, so the eligibility is going to stay the same. Gotcha. Um, uh, it's just this this specific pivotal yeah. event has a weird stipulation where Saxons can do a free raid even if they're ineligible, and it's all the pivotals work a little bit differently in between the games. It seems. Yeah. Yep. There's, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. That sounds. That sounds like I'm trapped anyways. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and muster uh, the life of the Kibitates. <laughs> yeah. Let me just pretend I made a choice. And <laughs> I will, uh, let me just follow this. I place one militia per town um, plus one per population. So that is three here. Correct? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Reinforcements have arrived. Um, yeah. or pay and pay one more wealth. Oh, but I don't have any comitatis. Yeah, you don't so, have any wealth. Uh, and that you is, have no comitatis. That's right. Yeah, that is me. That is it. Okay, so that is the first card. We're on to the next. All right, let's do it. Yep. Okay, so you're gonna pivotal. So that means this card pops back up to here. Oh, great timing because Kelthon Coid came out. That sucks. Sorry, I made these card really big just to. Remember yep. to remind people, but all right. Okay, so this becomes the current card, and Scoti trigger the event. They get five raid targets, and they roll three d four. This is uh, for cool. reference. For reference, Garrick, uh, the Scoti normally spend one, 
uh, renown to roll 2d4, or they spend zero renown to roll 1d4. So they have a slightly different economy than you. Interesting. So for them, rolling 3d4 is insanely good. Yeah. Especially because there's no patrol along the sea that they're raiding on, or on both of them. Yeah, this is... The downside yeah. is that as soon as they play this, they can no longer raid across this sea ever again. Yeah. Although they don't yeah. really care about that as much. Um, this is kind of their stomping ground over here in the West. All right, Scotty, do your worst. All right. Where are the, where's the bag of goodies here? Uh, uh, here's your dice, here's dice, and here's your raider. raider. Yeah, I, I just spent the uh, gotta... Garrick, do you want to work your magic with your... I don't know how you did the thing. Oh, what do you Let want me, me to do? Pull all these out. Uh, whatever tags you used to make them stackable or... Oh, do they get, do these, these also get, um, thunder on them? Prosperity on they them? Do. Yes. Yeah, yeah let me... Exactly the same way. Let, you know what, here's, let me, let me do it like this. Do, 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 do. Ah, no, snap points work for me. Here's an, an idea. One second. Oh, you have to put them in each individual one, so maybe just... Can, no, that's not... I was hoping I could recolor mine. Uh, do, do, do. Let me see if I can make it work. I'm getting the weird TTS glitch where the snap point like exclusively shows up in the middle of my screen. <laughs> Did you just place it on like the middle? Yeah, yeah, I may have gotten it. Do, do, do. Okay, it's working. Just go ahead and clone that one however many times uh, and get rid of the other ones. It'll be way easier. It's not going to stack on itself. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times five. Yeah, it's good. Should have thirty. All right, you're all good to go. Thanks. Cool. And I Oops. get feet also, right? You always yeah, have feet. You do get a free feat with this event. Let me think here. One, two. So I could do a deep raid, which is what? Yes. The new trick. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Barbarian terrible. sucks. It, it's really a great Britain game when the Britons have the first card and the Scoti decide to hold off on the conspiracy and then we can like do a big muster and get a bunch of pieces down. Yeah. Everything's so weakly defended otherwise. It's going to be a lot of loss here. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's your job. So, Badger. I, I would have done it if I had uh, the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so, Badger, is, is there an argument for you to go after Paracy and then, like, maybe I follow uh, I was, up? I was, think, I was thinking about that. Yeah. But. Well. Kind of. Kind so there's of, actually yeah. there's a little it's, bit of tension because Badger actually wants Parisi's road to be open so that all of my cavalry can go down here. <laughs> <laughs> he, well, he doesn't. And... He doesn't really like this, this status quo exactly because he wants to raid here and like here, basically. Well, hey Badger, like these will be a lot better. <laughs> no horses uh, down here. And you've Resources seen Pendragon's are, like, horses. Tradable, right? Sorry? Uh, resources are tradable, like wealth and stuff. Can I? Uh, yes, but there are some restrictions. Okay. I believe, uh, I, I forget it because it doesn't come up very often, but I'm pretty sure the Britons can never give resources to the barbarians, but the barbarians can bribe each other, if I'm remembering correctly. Is that true? Okay. I thought I read there was no like, exchange of stuff. Um, let me find it. There's like some there's so like I, one thing that's allowed, and I forget what it is. Uh, in general, right. assets such as, such as re resources, renown, or plunder may not be transferred between factions. However, and then I lost the page. However. A oh, that's weird. That just stops. 
There's it, like a however in it. Yeah, it yeah. it segues into like three separate bullet points, oh, which is a weird way to true. format that's that. Right, that's right. Um I Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So farming. so Britain factions can transfer any of its resources to a barbarian faction uh during either's execution by the sequence of play of a command, feat, or event. Uh such resources are connect converted to renowned one for one. Um Kiwi Tates may so transfer wealth to another faction, uh, converting to Duke's resources or barbarian renown. Okay, so the Britain factions can pay anyone else. Uh, yeah. But the barbarians cannot bribe each other. That's that's what it boils down to. Looks like it. Yep. And then the, the inter-Britain money is determined by the Imperium track. Like the, <laughs> We have that whole thing going on, so it's it doesn't really make sense to pay each other because we share yeah. resources. Um, it's not pay, really pay a negotiation; it's just you taking. <laughs> <laughs> it can become a negotiation if we get stuck at civilian dominance. Oh, that's true. With autonomy, <laughs> that's true. It's kind of a oh, game, boy. but I'm going to do a deep raid here with my feet. So. Oh man! Okay, interesting. All right, let's just work our way south to north. So. Down here. Oh boy. Ten. Ooh. Ten. ten. Good number. Minus. Oh, ten. Good lordy. Yep. Ten That's minus two. Uh, no. The the oh, Hibernicus not, is not oh. controlled at all. Come on, Badger. Where's the chill? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know honey badgers don't play? Ah, <laughs> uh, so then, thank you, Derek. I don't think yep. those. So that's yeah. Those, the snaps aren't turned on for those yet. Give me a second. Then you can thank me. Oh, they sort of they sort of work. There we go. Okay, so then we'll hit that. Wait, yep. why are they not? Why are they not snapping? What happened to my snap points? Sort of, it's good enough, good enough for me. So. Have snap point something? Why are they not working? <laughs> All right, I have no clue. So these should be working, and they're not. Badger assaults. There's yep. two garrison units and a militia. So they're hitting. Three. There we go. They're killing three during escalate and three during storm. Now they're working. So, I dare you to attack me, Badger. Dare you? <laughs> get off of there. So this is six to die. Yeah, let him. Let him get those out of there first. Get this is why we turned off snap points throughout the whole map. That it's is so understandable. Annoying. Hey, they went in there. Yeah. How about that? Actually, the, uh, the solution would be to put the snap points on the map back, because then you could at least it could it could force snap back to those points instead of exclusively being pulled to the raiders. Anyway, uh, so my important. town is dead. Yep. That's rude. Yep. So yeah. town is destroyed. I lose two prestige, but I'm already at zero, so whatever. Yep. Uh, and then you gain three plunder from off map. Uh, from yep. All I towns, can get is but you only have all two, I can so. get is two. Yeah. So just copy some cubes because they don't come from the board. Yep. Uh, there's no there's no bag anywhere. Okay. Um, there is a bag. Uh, oh, it's up here, up at the top. Ah, look at that. But probably easier just to copy. Copy pasta. Uh, so burning control goes away as well. Yep. We could adjust that. Yeah, uh, that is now it down goes down 36. by the population. Yeah, down by the population. Okay. Correct. Well, let's okay. Thank that you. That thing. So that one's that one. Now we'll do our braid. Nine is a good number. It is a good number. Uh, Ah, oh, gross. Dear Lord. <laughs> and I th think then you can force battle if you want to first, but that's not going to happen. So, yeah. I Do you want to? Uh, yes. What's the, when what's you. The map? Yeah, here. I'm just going to put these guys over here. Yeah. We'll yeah. Put the head and we'll, put the... well, there is kind of a reason for them to be in Cornovi, but they just, as long as they end up there eventually, it's fine. Yeah, they'll, they'll end up there eventually. I just want to. 
we'll do the math over here. Mm -hmm. Um, so Garrick, uh, he just said you have the opportunity to attack me. Um, if someone does a deep raid, uh, then the Britons have the opportunity to attack and strike first before the plunder step. Gotcha. Um, so if somebody deep raids and they roll really low, then potentially there is the there's the possibility that the Britons can kill all of the raiders before they get to plunder or anything. Um, so be careful about that if you're deep raiding. Gotcha. Yeah. So I choose not to. Yes, this no. is a terrible opening for Team Britain. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. So I'm gonna lose six again, basically. You're gonna lose. And, uh, yep. Yeah. And then, um, these two are done. So. Uh, Ducks loses two prestige. Uh, we... Yeah, the, the only upside here is that I'm at zero prestige to begin with, so <laughs> uh, all of this death and destruction is basically not yeah. affecting me. <laughs> Burden control is gone, but another two. Um, and then you gain... Oh, yeah, and prosperity uh, drops down the bank. There you go. 70. That actually does hurt. I'm, I'm going to have so few intercept targets, it's terrible. Yep. Yeah, it, that, that's why I did it. Okay, let's go over here. So seven. seven. This isn't in an infinity bag, is it? No. Raiders, okay. No, infinity yeah, bags are blue. A max of thirty pieces. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, so I uh, speaking of that, Garrick, if you ever run out of raiders and uh, you, if if all your raiders are on the board and you want to continue raiding, you just remove raiders from the board from where elsewhere works. makes sense. Yeah, to fill, refill your pool and then go on a raid, or you, you can. You don't have to. Uh, same situation. Uh, uh, like they don't report, so it's a little. This bit time different. he loses four. Uh, uh, but it's yeah, not a town. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's real bad. The Scotty are way, way too rich already. It's falling sky all over again. Oh, yep, that's right. I'll bring it down one. Thank you. Two. All right, here. Help if I got a lot of guys. I've got a lot of the guys already, so I can't complain too much. Six. There will not be any fighting here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hilarious. And then way up north. Up north. Nice. Badger with the rolls. Uh, does that. Oh, it's not patrolled. Yeah, not patrolled. Oh, boy. This one you'll keep. But at what cost, Badger? <laughs> Sorry. You're not Badger. <laughs> but at what cost? Um, yeah, so, uh, Badger, are you going to attack? Uh, here, or are you going to take the fields? He's got four militia, and both those hill forts have a capacity of two. Oh, two. So basically, they're both, they're, they're going to be fully stocked so it's gonna be he's gonna kill four right away and then four again uh no because they only have one garrison so it's three on escalate oh, and three on yeah. storm so it, it takes six to kill a fully stocked hill fort um so you can destroy one but not both yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I'll or you kill. can just you know not bother <laughs> no I'll, I'll take this one okay I think it so takes. Yeah, well, let's just do the math. So I'll have one spot open for 
for plunder. Yep. Oh yeah. All right. Any any preference? Trap rain law or I'll kill the northern one. Gotcha. <laughs> And now Garrett gets to do his. Yep. Okay. 60, that's right, 65. Uh, yep. And just FI, this button over here will clear the pawns if you just want to oh, oh, yeah, yeah. do that. It's a fancy mod. <laughs> 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 Oh boy. Um we we're just we we're just poor illiterate Scotty. We don't they can't even read. Yes. Everything's fancy yes. for them. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh Garrick, yes. this event says Saxons may free raid four targets with a feat. Uh free in this case means you don't have to spend any resources. I figured for now. Yeah. yeah. Uh so I was thinking I would go after Kantiaki again. Uh, and then I don't know. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier. Uh, I don't know if it goes into your calculations at all, but this raider group from last time is it doesn't participate at all. It's just off to the side. So you gotta you can't stack two raiders and then attack yeah. with all of them. That is disappointing, but I think uh, I still want to go for it because at least now yes, you, I have. You surprise. definitely still want to do that. Yeah, and yeah. You can at least try for the surprise roll. Um, he got, he got four. Oof. Yeah, he does get four targets. Um, actually, Garrick. So now is a decent time to explain how settle works. Um, okay. So if you just kind of look at it, um, you're gonna pick a space to settle in, uh, and then you're gonna count raiders that are in that space and raiders that are adjacent to that space. Uh, you're going to then roll that many d6s, uh, and every four through six that you roll is going to replace a raider with a warband, uh, and then you can replace two warbands with a settlement. So generally speaking, if you're trying to set up, if you're not just trying to like whittle away at the forts, if you're trying to set up like an actual toehold with a settlement, uh, you want to kind of bunch your raiders into one area where they all are adjacent to each other. Um, so you kind of already have four down in Kantiaki. So like one probably good option would be to target all three of these regions. Uh, now that does rely on you destroying one of these six strongholds so that you have a vacant spot to put a settlement in. Yeah. Uh, but that is that is like an option. Um, the, the sort of obvious space to do it is up in Ikeni uh, and then just target around it and then try and settle in Ikeni. And that's that's like the most common Saxon foothold area. Um, but you do already have some extra raiders float around over here. So it's not a bad option. Hmm. Actually, you could also hinge off of Parisi. There's four up there. So you could like go for Coriel Tawi, uh, Ikeni, and Parisi, and then try and settle here, assuming you can kill one of the strongholds, as always. Uh, but just in general, try and bunch your raids uh, in order to set up for a potential settle later. OK, that makes sense. So I guess I'm basically deciding between the south coast or the east coast. Correct. Um, well, uh, you also could just use this as an opportunity not to try and settle yet, but to just try and smash forts. And that's kind of like a different strategy. It's a little bit more consistent, but, you know, like slow, long game. And you could just have everybody die and it go, go for nothing. Uh, or you could be a little aggressive and try and bunch them, but then you're then you're a little bit suboptimal on the patrol thing, potentially, because you're maybe ignoring Kantiaki. Uh, but if you do get a settlement, then there's a... Yeah. That's the other oh, thing. actually... Garrick. Once you get a settlement, yeah. you can Thank raid you. from the settlement location gotcha. without having to worry about patrols. Yeah, it, it, you can skip a patrol. So if you have a settlement in Ikeni, you can raid into any adjacent space without having to worry about the fort patrol system. Because I'm patrolling the ocean, but you're already here, and you're just going next door. Okay. So that's the big benefit to getting a settlement down early, is it allows you to raid way easier. Yeah. Without having to worry about the ocean patrols. I think I like the sound of working my way up the east coast. 
Um, so basically, I would want to do Ikeni again to maybe get more raiders in there for a potential future yep, settle. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So, uh, um, yeah. So if you, yeah, if you really want to maximize it, you could deep raid into here. But I think it's probably better to save your surprise to try and knock out one of the forts. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, so this is probably a decent spot. Um. You got to declare where you're doing your feet. Oh, right. I got to decide my surprise now. Um, yeah, you have to decide everything before. It's not like the other coins yeah. where you can mix and match your feet and commands. I have an equal chance for any of the three, it looks like. Right? Yes. So I should just throw the surprise down here because it's the best spot yes. to target. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and try and roll, resolve this one first. Uh, am I still rolling three as Saxons? Yeah. Okay. Great let's... Power. No whammies. Yep. Here we go. Wish me luck. We need to hold this. I wish you bad luck. Uh, I got nine. Uh, nine. Nine is... Enough. Nine is good. Uh, well, well, no, you got... Uh, it's minus three. Nine yeah. minus three, minus so you three get six. six. Yeah. yeah, but it's a good starting point. Nine is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, Garrick, now you have to decide if you want to try and do the coup de main. Um. If you fail the coup de main, they will all to be wiped out. Um. But if you succeed, you'll kill the fort. <laughs> Am I guys snapping on each other again? I'm about to, I gotta fix that. They snapping. Wait, don't we get to choose to attack him or not? No, because it's not a deep, a deep It's only, it's it's only, only if he uh, goes gotcha. deep inland. Right, yep. That's fixed. Not deep enough. You got it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a strange journey, not a deep, strange journey. <laughs> it's a reference for the SMT fans that are not here. Uh... <laughs> All right, dude, let's defend this town. Let's do it. <laughs> well, he's got to decide if he wants to give battle at all first, because that's true. All right, I'm rereading Surprise, trying to work my way through the logic of the combat. I would have... Would it be a one in six chance to Kudaman? Well, it depends on where we withdraw. I. Oh, uh, right, the, the, the fort yeah. versus the town. It's either... Well, if there's one piece in the fort, then you need to roll a one or a two. If there's two pieces in the fort, you need to roll a one. Right. Uh, the town is going to be a lot easier. It'll be you'll need like somewhere between a four and a uh, four and a five, roughly. Kiwitates and I got to decide where who's going in, who's withdrawing where. <laughs> if yeah. you decide to give battle, and that that will change. I choices. Yeah, I think he won't have enough. I think he needs if we split. Um, oh, you're right. You're right. Seven. He's got six. If we split up, then he can't kill either of us without attempting yeah. the coup de main. Oh, we able to kill our cube, but. Uh, and you got prost. You you get your money right. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, so that's right. Let me adjust the prosperity counter. I kind of want to go for broke and try for the, the coup de main. Oh, nice. Oh, we have to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, OK, so that means that he is giving battle. Uh, we're going to withdraw. So now we got to decide what we're going to do. So if yeah. we split up, uh -huh. then he could attack the fort. And if he rolls a one or a two, then the fort's gone. And yeah. then we're much we're kind of defenseless all the way up here. Uh, if we put both of them in there, then he's got to roll a one to kill the fort. But then the town only has two defenders, and he will probably kill the town. Um, so I think it would be better if you retreat into the fort with me, but uh, <laughs> it is your town. Uh, that is part how of about, How about income, this? So I get it. <laughs> how about you ride into battle in open fields? <laughs> and I promise I will retreat my militia into the fort. <laughs> because... But then it's the same result. He he successfully coups against on a one or a two and the Yeah, because guys. your your cavalry the will cavalry kill... will only kill two pieces and then right. they'll kill the cavalry. And then the coup, the fort is still 
uh, if he rolls he roll a one, no, he needs no to roll way. a two because it's one plus the holding capacity. Oh, you're right, two, you're right. So that's three, and then it subtracts the withdrawn pieces, so it's down to one or two. I still so I ideally, we both need to withdraw. <laughs> No, but then if we if we both withdraw here, then he's just going to hit the town. Yeah, but that's okay because then we keep the fort and we prevent him from we we have a better patrol for this and for this. I, for this, I guess. feel like you're. <laughs> no, I don't, I think I'm going to prioritize my own piece. Okay, that's theory. totally fair. I I don't blame you. Okay. Um, so yeah, I will retreat into the fort. Uh, Kibutate's militia is in the town. Oops. Now you gotta decide where you want to go, Garrick. Open battle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I have a, I have a, a so one in three. Coup de main. Coup de main. Uh, right now, right? Uh, if you target the town Ag against oh, the, yes, that's right. One yeah. or a two will kill the fort. Yeah. Um, two. Against the town, a one through four. Yeah. Will successfully coup de main and. Um, if you do not successfully coup de main, if you fail the roll, then all six of these pieces are getting wiped out, no matter who you attack. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're we're uh, we're, we're here to we're here to be stupid. We're gonna <laughs> we're go after to the blow fort. Shit up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Roll your d six, baby. All right. That's that's why you went there, right? Yeah. I mean. Yep. All right. Come uh, on, baby. Big money. Come hey. on. Daddy needs a new settlement. <laughs> Hey! Oh, yes! 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 Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Well, technically not, because you rolled a one, so it wouldn't have been that anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. So I lose a cavalry into. Ca well, so we skip. We skip the Escalade phase. Uh, so you lose two raiders. Uh, because of my garrison and my cavalry, and I lose the cavalry in the fort. Um, you destroyed a building, a stronghold, so you get two plunder additional on top of the two that are empty. Nice. I got that for you. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, I would be minus prestige, but I have not actually had a turn yet, so <laughs> I am still at zero prestige. Yeah. <laughs> um, this game's fun. We've been on the bright side. Yep. <laughs> what was that? Uh, that's then the Garrick can go on to okay. who's next. Yeah, sorry. I was just uh, reading. Just reading Jack oh, Porkins' brutal. comment. Uh, well, Jack Porkins, I like Pendragon right now because I just got a good roll. <laughs> 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 I don't know that we're far enough for me to have a real opinion, but it seems interesting. Uh, I also enjoyed Falling Sky, which you didn't. So maybe I just don't have taste uh this yeah. is i will, my I will note Derek, when game of all that, time. that the rating thing all goes downhill from here to a certain extent. i i figured that is, that yeah this yeah. feels like the big swing and then things are yes get grindier and slower from here yeah uh let's just go ahead and work up the coast for now we'll go to trinovantes um yes. so let's roll our 3d4 <laughs> Let's create more tension between. Yeah, this blue is and minus red. two, minus two only. Oh. Being able to oh, say that "Daddy needs nine. a new settlement" does add to the enjoyment. Nine. <laughs> nine. 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 Yeah. Nine. 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 Yes, I, I get like nine. It. Get it's a pun on the German nine. That is we really are. Uh, okay, so we're, we're gonna lose. Place. We're going to lose another fort if we don't both withdraw into the fort. Because if there's two pieces in a withdraw, he can't coup to main here because he already used a surprise. Right, right. You need 10 to kill a fully stocked fort. So I think this is definitely one of those times where you no, should but, go to the fort. But then we'll lose the town. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, in this case, we're guaranteed to lose one building either one way. One thing, yeah. Uh, like if we split up, he can kill the fort, no problem. I'm, I'm not then convinced. That means his mean. role. But that means his role is going to be even better up in Coral Tawi, which is not. He could, he could roll a bunch of, of ones. Well, that's true. <laughs> but but we want to keep this patrol as good as possible. Otherwise, we're going to get real screwed real fast. <laughs> we already lost the most important fort. Yeah. That protects both oceans. So yeah. Ideally, we keep all of the remaining forts. 
You've got Roman engineers. Yeah, I, I feel that's a... It's not a problem I have to... Like, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think why, why would I prioritize your fort over my town? Because towns are pretty important for me as well. Yeah, they, they are technically... Well, they're important for both of us because they are the income. For yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need you to be able to make money too, obviously. Like, mm -hmm. if you're broke, I'm broke. <laughs> Uh, but also, both of us need to reduce the amount of raiders that hit the shore wherever possible. Yeah, that that's, comes down to forts. But really, both of us, thing. both of us care about both the towns and the forts, like yep. to slightly different degrees. Um, I just think in this case, if we let a fort go down, another fort go down, we're gonna have a lot more raiders. Uh, okay, I I will concede to that. Yeah, you're really gonna let him control you like that, Hector? There's a very good chance that Garrick is going to have to start picking raiders off the board to use for his other raids. I was going to say, he's got a lot of raiders. There's a it's he's down, actually. Yes. He's it's a guarantee, yes. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Garrick. It feels bad, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in a corner, man. Sometimes you got to simp a little bit, you know? <laughs> Look, I did my duty. I killed. We killed. Uh, we lost a fort over here, and Drew, you got to get that town. That so sounds to me like you failed your duty, Drew. Put me in the middle. <laughs> Pretty sure your duty was defending that, and you failed. That's hilarious. Uh, well, you know, technically, I needed some help there. <laughs> okay, Drew, I, I will. I will save your fort. <laughs> save save my ass. Thank the same you. Situation <laughs> up here, that we you might be in the town. same situation. Yeah. So can we make an agreement that we save the town if we're in the same situation here? Oh, but but again, then he's we only have one to fort on. Right, I'm going back to my town. <laughs> save your stupid town. <laughs> it comes to that. All right, great. All right, yeah. So we withdraw into the forts, Garrick. So your only option is to kill the town or don't do anything. Uh, I guess I'll go after the town. You do get to prosperity. Yes. So we're going to remove this tracker down. Did I not turn it's on? having a bad day. Okay. Uh, so there are two garrison units in the town divided by half or multiplied by half. Divided by two, whatever. Uh, so two raiders are killed during Escalade and then two more during Storm. Sounds good. Uh, and then you gain Wait, two plunder from oh. the ether. Wait, shouldn't he have lost more? Because isn't uh, an Escalade defense is one? And if we have a garrison unit? Uh, the town Escalade defense is half. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. there's, there's two in the garrison, uh, which does one hit, which kills two mm -hmm. raiders. Yep, got it. Cool. Okay, and that's Trinovante is done. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, hey, Crew Meister. Hey, Razad. Uh, let's go ahead and resolve, uh, Coriel Tauvi. want to do this. First. Yep. Yes. That's, yep. I know what's so up. You want to kill off raiders attacking things. Exactly. Pile a bunch into there. Yep. Uh, I changed it today, Crew Meister. Four, two, one. Now we're talking. All right, so it's five, five raiders. Yep. Five. five. Disappointed. <laughs> uh. Okay, Drew. Uh, nothing this, else. I mean, this time we're good. We can just sit where we're at. He no. can't. No, he can't no, kill no. anything I, with. I know, uh, but I would like you to garrison my town <laughs> you're so, gonna garrison the oh, fort and i'll go into town <laughs> that works for me <laughs> it's just kind of like a symbol kind of thing. <laughs> yeah it's symbolic look at us we're in this together <laughs> um, uh, i don't have to fight right no you oh, yeah yeah nope. yeah i'm just sitting there Still Steal yep. the stuff and run for the boats. Yep, exactly. Uh, all right, and then finally we'll resolve uh, Ikeni. Yep. Ooh, this is a really tough. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, six. Yeah. Arrive. Yep. 
Uh, I got um, one in my bag. So we have one. Okay. So you can take pieces off the board from anywhere to get up to six. So yes. You have two up here, three up here, one here, and two here. You can also remove the plunder ones, but that's obviously right. That's okay. Cool. So don't do that. <laughs> um. Am I significantly weakening my position by pulling all these empty ones out into Ikeni? Like, am I making the plunder ones way more vulnerable or anything? Yes, because it makes it easier for me to kill them. Yeah, uh, a little also, bit more vulnerable. Ideally, you right. want all of them in Ikeni because I can't intercept into there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it <laughs> actually... This one, this one doesn't you rated help. too much. <laughs> this one doesn't help. This one really doesn't help you much, so you could move that one because... That's game. true. That would yeah, be that. an easy move, and you want to do that just yeah. for the plunder. Uh, and then beyond that, like... Uh, honestly, the two in... Con I would move the two in Contiagi and the two in Parisi. Just yeah. so you have They're, four extra rolls that are yeah. guaranteed to be able to settle, yeah. potentially. Yeah, I mean, like, I, if I'm going for that settle, I really feel like I want to pull the things out. And I feel like I have a lot of plunder, so I can maybe afford to risk losing. You have, you have uh, and this is a technical term, a shit ton of plunder. <laughs> yeah. uh, and most of it is in fence, which means you have a 50-50 chance to evade me when I inevitably intercept. Yeah. So you're you're in a good position. You're doing fine. Um, you can safely remove them, I think. What's your logic for down here as opposed to pulling out of here? Uh, because if I somehow manage to fail to kill these guys, then when you settle in Ikeni, you're also going to roll for all the raiders in Koryal Taui because they're adjacent. Yeah. So you want to leave them here because they could theoretically contribute to your settle roll, whereas Kandiaki fair doing anything. Well, I guess it depends on where you want to settle. Like, I guess you could try and target yeah. a Kandiaki settle, but, but Ikeni is the best spot because I can't intercept into it. So it's guaranteed to have your raiders in it by the time it comes back around to your next turn. Unless we set up like a weird like march. One of us marches in and then the other one battles. But that's like a lot of work for not as much payoff. Well, I think I'm definitely taking these two. Yeah, um, yeah that makes sense because you're definitely not going to bother trying to settle all the way up there. Yeah, most likely. Uh, so I've got two more I can grab, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Six. So you could split the difference and leave these two, or I don't know. I don't know. I just feel nervous leaving just six uh, raiders with prosperity or uh, thunder up here, down here. Well, put it put it this way: I have enough cavalry on the board to be able to kill literally every single one of your raiders. It's just you know I have to actually commit those cavalry there. So like I would have to park quite a few cavalry down here to do it. But I can kill all of your raiders. So really, what you're relying on is those evade rolls. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Grab these then. I think I... The argument for leaving them, I guess, is that it forces me to put yet, like one extra cavalry down here to try and kill all yeah. of your stuff. But that I have a full stock of raider uh, cavalry right now, so it's not like that really slows me down that much. I think this is fine. Cool. All right. Ouch. Oh God. That was, okay. That was terrible. I I had it's a question. Is this, like, is this like an actual? card that we go through like does that mean yeah. that badger played an event yes he took uh, the yeah. event yep. okay uh which means i have a commands plus feats which is exactly what true event. all right so time to finally have some fun uh so i'm going to do an intercept plus an invite uh we are going to invite uh oh gosh out, I really liked Falling Sky, and I think it's a fine intro to coin. I don't think there's any reason you need to, just need to dissuade them from playing. Yeah, Falling Sky is excellent. Uh, okay, what's happening next? Saxons are going to be ineligible through the next card because of the Barbarian Conspiracy, so uh, the... Kibutates will have a full command and feat. Do you want to coordinate a little bit, Hector? What are you thinking? Your, your next turn is you're going to be the only one to act on the next card. And you're going to have a full. Uh, I think the Saxons going to go. No, because the Saxons are going to be ineligible because of part of this event says if they do the raid, then they're ineligible through the next card. 
So they got to uh, wait for gotcha. cards. Okay. Yeah. I'll just put them on there. Good. Yeah, that's usually how we do it. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm gonna do a bunch of, a bunch of intercepts, but uh, like a muster or something to defend, then that kind of changes where I want to put my invites because I mean mm -hmm. I want to make sure we protect everything as best we can. But I don't know what you're planning on doing. Uh, yeah, I mean, intercepting you're probably gonna do one, two, three. I can't, I can't into, I can't intercept into Ikeni, but I am gonna hit Trinuantes, Kantiaki, Coriol uh Parisi, Botadini, Declianguli, oh, and right. that's really all I can target because everything else is not controlled anymore. That's a lot. Yeah, no, there's gonna be, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of money spent. So actually. This is going to be just... expensive. So actually, you might just end up wanting to trade. Yep. So that's what I'm, I'm probably going to trade okay. and maybe invite. Yeah, that seems fair. So in that case, I'll try and invite somewhere that is the weakest, just to make sure we keep trying to defend ourselves. So let's oh, let's let's do Trina Wantes and set up to maybe go kick oh, him out. Two of resources game. per space. Yeah. Who's funding this? <laughs> <laughs> this campaign. Uh, okay, so I'm going to invite in Trina Wantes, uh, and I'm going to invite a Scoti settlement because the Scoti hate the Fens. And that sounded very much like a guy who's interested in building wealth and nothing else. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have to declare the spaces first? I don't know if it really matters. Uh, that that mostly only applies to the raiders because they're rolling dice. I, I do have to declare all of my intercept targets before I actually do any of the intercepts, but I can do my gotcha. in invite first because then the invited pieces can be a part of the intercept. Uh, so let's get some Fodrati markers. These are my Scoti. My people are not comfortable in the fens. Oh, that's why we sent them there. They're much more comfortable <laughs> in the hills. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, okay, so now, how much money do we have? 23 resources. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go. We're going to go everywhere we can go. Uh, um, I think that is it. Oh, no, here too. Okay. The so, nice part here is that you can't get too many guys there, but you don't. Well, I can. Yeah, I can you can. You can march. Yeah, you can march down. From there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that not going anywhere else either. So exactly. Yes, they are kind of stuck there, which is very unfortunate. Um. Okay. So let's see. Um. So I only pay. Uh, if I move and I pay per origin space, not per destination. Um, so I gotta math this out real quick. It's um, not money. it's his money. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? It's not your. It's not your money. It's his money. Oh, you... <laughs> it's our money. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't. Yes. I don't need to move anything into Trinuantes because there's already. Now there's two Fodorati cavalry and a militia that would all participate. So that's enough to kill all of his cavalry or his raiders if I catch them. Here, I need to move one in there. Here, I do need to move one because I don't have any pieces there already. Uh, there, I only need to move. OK, good. I only need to, I need to strand one guy up there. I need to move one here. Unfortunate. Uh, okay, so we're going to pay to move from Carweti. So we'll send one down here. It's enough to kill all of them, and one up here. So that's two resources. Mm -hmm. um, next origin space will be Iboricum. Uh, we're going to march, or we're going to intercept one from there into Parisi. Uh, yep, that's good enough. We're going to send one down to here, which is enough to kill them if they don't evade. Uh, and then Kantiaki, I need three cavalry. 
Did I pay for Reborgum? I did not. So one, two, and send one more all the way down to Kantiaki. Uh, I'm going to pay to march or to intercept out of text where D, which is another two. I need to bring one more from somewhere. Probably bring another from Aboricum. Ooh, or Silurays. That's kind of a wasted cavalry out there. Uh, yeah, and we're going to pay two more to intercept out of Silurays into Trinuantes. And I think that covers all of my possible intercept targets. Uh, there's six there. Those are all dead. Those are all dead. Cool. OK, so where's my red die? Uh, Garrick, starting with Kantiaki, would you like to evade or ambush? Uh, Probably evade. Spoiler, you want to evade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll roll die, and I need a one, two, or three. That's a one. Yes. That is a one. Okay. So all six of these are killed. Um, delete those five prosperity. Uh, I will put one back into the space. Uh, that's just a part of intercepts. Uh, alternatively, I could take half of the plunder that was removed and split split it among the cubes in there. But cavalry can never carry plunder with one exception, uh, my retaliate feet. So I don't want to give this Kibitates plunder for no reason, because we want this island to be prosperous. <laughs> so prosperity is back up to 58, and I gain one press, uh, prestige for winning a battle. Nice. Uh, next is Trinuantes. So we'll roll this die again. I assume you're going to evade Trinuantes? Yes. Cool. Makes sense. A four! Dang it. Uh, Coriel Tawi, evade? Yes. Ah! Oh, nice. Excellent. Uh, so I will put a prosperity back which increases prosperity by one and prestige by one for winning the battle. And delete the other one? Yep. yep. All of them. Well, OK, so just I mean, it, just to reiterate, I have two cavalry and one militia. So mm -hmm. the two cavalry do two hits, and the militia does half a hit. And then that's two and a half hits, which is enough to kill five raiders, which is exactly what we had. No, I meant the other so prosperity. The, the, Oh yeah, yeah. I only if I put one back into the space, it gets rid of the other ones, right? Yeah, I, I was just split it, then it's half. I was verbally confirming. That's all. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Parisi. I assume you're going to evade, but you need a six this time. Eight, six. Uh, yeah. May as well evade just to try for it. Yep. Ah. Okay. That is a fail. One prosperity back into the space. And I get another prestige. What is up? Uh, right? OK, this, now. This is madness. I don't know why the bags are doing this. <laughs> I know the bags mine worked, mine right worked really well. I don't know why. Uh, OK, Badger, <laughs> up in Wotadini. Uh, run, I assume you're also run away. Yep. Run away. Yep, cool. So you need a four, five, or six here. And oh, it's a sad day. Okay, and then yep. uh, Decliangli, I assume you're going to as well. need a six. Yep. yep, need a six. Oh, come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, that is so it's bad. This movie, you're going to be so rich on turn one. This is terrible. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is it. Uh, I believe I. Was it all the intercepts? That was all the intercepts. So I am done. We're going to clear the pawns. Uh, and advance the card. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, this. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, so it was this, right? Uh, yes, next was Anona, followed by Kelethon Coid. Uh, and then this hat, wait, that should sit. It's got a permanent effect, so we should leave it at the bottom of the. Board. Oh, yeah. Yep. Permanent effects. Yeah. And we'll I was going to put it in my stuff, but yeah. 
Yeah, oh yeah, if you if you want to do that too, that's fine. Just it yeah. needs to be out so we can see it. Just yeah, somewhere. I was just gonna put it over. Cool. Robotics. Works for me. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Kyutates are last on this card, but they're the only one eligible, so they get the Dude. run of the game. Man and feet. Not really too interested about the event. Um, but let me yeah. go ahead and I mean, mustering might be really good, but I think I want to trade. Mustering would be really good. We need some defense. <laughs> but I, I understand if you trade. You money grubbing. We need mu- yeah, money. <laughs> uh, I don't okay, like that. So why? What? I like that next card. I just don't like it now. Yeah. Yeah, it, that is a great, great card for this goatee. Adding prosperity. I need wealth. Yeah, so so like the greedy Kiwitate's move is definitely to trade plus rule and just make money and then convert uh, six of it into three wealth. Mm-hmm. Um, and you honestly, you probably could get away with it right now. Maybe? I guess we'll see. Uh, but if you want to defend the island, then mustering would be good. But the problem is, if you muster, then I, I will probably then intercept again because there's a bunch of stuff that's not dead yet. Uh, yeah, I just feel like so getting, we oh we God, might end up getting out of it. broke. Yeah, yeah. I, I could I could see it going either way. I, I won't blame you if you do either thing. So OK, I will then do that. I will trade and enroll. So trading, I need to do um, any spaces with a town. It costs me zero resources. Um, yeah, and with with trade, you really can just look at this chart. You have ten towns on the board, so you get okay. ten resources. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do that. You don't so, have to mark all the pawns. Great. Ten resources for twenty five, um, and then and up to two selected spaces. I get to pay one resource to add prosperity equal to population. Um, I don't know if there's any spots that would. Oh, this one. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So I oh, really. Pay... Well, thank you. <laughs> I'll take okay, it. one resource to add prosperity equal to population. All right. So uh, that's prosperity up to 62. Yeah. And I guess like this one would be good too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it does it does create some but, nice little honey pots where Saxons can raid there again, but <laughs> they're very well defended. It's fine. So. They're gonna raid anyways. <laughs> Well, but but I need it incentivizes them to raid in spaces where we are well defended, so that is right. great for us because that means you lose less, uh, or you're less likely to lose stuff if they go there. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any plunder, um, but I could convert. Oh wait. Uh, so three spaces with Britain control. I don't know if I have to mark that. Is that yeah, you don't need to mark them as long as you have okay. three spaces. Um, Very good. Um, unless you're yeah. intending to use rule to. Uh, do the, the plunder refugees below. option or right. the plunder option, but since neither of those are relevant, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so can I just spend two Britain resources to one wealth? And yep, and so you can do that three, three times, so six okay. and three. Yep. So that's six, and that's three. Look at all this waste. Three re- six resources that could have been going towards defending the it's, islands. It's investing. <laughs> it's investing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how investing works, right? Yeah, exactly. You spend six and you get three back. <laughs> <laughs> you got to spend money to make money. Exactly. <laughs> um, I love this. Yeah, story. I think that's it for me. Yeah, that is. All right. Good. Cool. Good. Why? Right. Why are my friends like half as long as yours? That's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> that that is that is the Kiwitates thing. Uh, to be fair, the Kiwitates are probably my favorite faction in this game. Uh, yeah. So because they they have a lot of interesting stuff going on, but you definitely do spend a lot of turns just doing trade plus rule. <laughs> yep. Um, and sometimes when you can afford it, muster plus rule. Uh, you you want to be hoarding money as fast as possible. Right. This um, card is not good right now. I mean, well, so uh, yeah, this little I, symbol I, means it's yeah. a permanent ability for the rest permanent of the game ability, that unlocks yes. trap. Yeah, so yeah, but and this is the only time you're going to get it. Get and it. the way that Scotty usually lose the long game is it, it's pretty easy for Scotty to accumulate a pile of money. The hard thing is keeping four settlements, settlements on the board. 
So usually the way that people deny SCOTI victories is by going and killing their settlements in the hills, and that card makes it really dang hard to pull that off. Um, but I get it. At the same time, you also have some plunder out that you probably want. Right, to and I so can't, kind of and, I can't I, and I can't do I, what I cannot do is is return and settle because then you're going to take this event and I'll exactly. be totally screwed. I would love to take that. Uh, <laughs> so the question meant. is, do I run away with my money and be happy and not get a settle? Which would have been beautiful because I could have settled. Yep. Two, three, four. Yeah, we're far away from the epoch, which has a free um, return. So, yeah. See if That's I can a lot of prosperity. Trap. So I'm just going to take. I'm just going to take the command, and I'm going to return. Oh, okay. Cool. And I'll live with that and be happy. So four, seven, ten. Twelve, fifteen. Wow, five, five. Yep. yep, fifteen. That is insane. So yeah, just uh, delete all those prosperity cubes. Oh no, the snap points. <laughs> you just, you just got to pull them further away. Put some muscle into it. <laughs> <laughs> And then, we'll oh, man. and then make That's bags work. <laughs> so That's literally a third of the way towards Scotty. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I had so much that I. Oh boy, that was terrible. I had. Uh, I, okay. I had to do it that way. I, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I, I kind of get it. I'm, I, I probably might have taken the event just because so many of that money was in uncontrolled regions that I couldn't touch. Yeah. But uh, I, I do uh, get it because you you taking it would have given me another full yep. uh, command. So, yep. you know, I, I see the logic. Um, okay. Uh, well, I am going to use my limited commands to attempt an intercept. Oh, uh, so I... I'm going to attempt to intercept in Trino Wantes. How did um, I know? <laughs> surprise. <laughs> so I'm, I have to move my renown, right? Up. Oh, so, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You made 15, 15, so you're up 20, to... Was it 15? Nice. Good lord. Uh, okay. And I don't have to spend any money because I already have enough there. Do I want to relocate anybody there? No, I definitely don't. So, yeah, we're going to spend zero because I'm not marching anywhere. Intercept Triamantes, and I'm going to roll the evade die again. Right, Garrick? Yep. And you're going to roll oh, well evade. for me. Ah! Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I needed that. <laughs> oh, I needed that. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Feeding the Ravens. Pay double to march into one region battle there. Ew. Now that's what I call an event. Oh, wish I was first. Oh, I was looking at Romanitas. Uh, uh, but before you worry about that, Garrick, because there's nothing you can do about it, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Red Federati. I mean, the you thing have, you have some, right? You have three. The thing I want to do is to return and settle, right? Correct. I would think so. Yep. Then I get nervous because that lets Hector play the event. <laughs> exactly. <isn't> really, <laughs> yeah, it's not impactful if you return and settle. Well, no, it is, because if he returns and settles in Ikeni, uh, oh. he 
will then open himself up to doing the winter march into You're Akimi, right. which is yeah. march, You're then right. battle during trap. We could wipe out his yeah. stuff really pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. Garrick's Depends got the same. He he's got the same problem that I had. But. Yep. Yep. Uh, that is that is one of the things about this game. It has got some incredibly well designed events. Um, yeah. The, the tension in the events is like really, really uh, held in. Which is not always true. Some coin games have like, you know, events that you never want to take, and other coin games are like, why would I ever take commands when I can just play events all day? Yeah. <laughs> this one has hard choices the whole time. Or often. <sighs> Raid again. Raid again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just two more raids, Garrick. You'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but that doesn't seem like the right move. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think a return and settle is going to help. Um, it would. It's going to give you eight. Well, no, he would he would roll eight for these raiders plus four for these raiders because it's you settle in a location and you roll for all raiders in that location and all raiders adjacent to that location. So he'd roll twelve dice. So he'll get four. On average, he'll get six warbands. Two of them will get converted into a settlement, and he'll have a settlement with four warbands, which um, we could easily kill if we're striking during trap with that event. I mean, will we like if he gets four raiders and a settlement? That is not going to be tough to. That's not well, going to be easy to kill, right? So, but the event specifically says you pay double to march to a region. Yep. Uh, you battle there with any marching units that arrive, and then uh -huh. in the field battle, you strike during trap, and the enemy can't evade. And trap happens before withdrawal. So as long as we bring four cubes, we kill all of his uh, warbands. Yeah. And then, and then he has nothing to withdraw, and then we just get a free assault against a very weakly defended settlement. Well, uh, barbarian no. settlements have no garrison, so it yeah. would just die instantly. Militia only do half. That's true. That's a good point. You, so, it, we'd probably march from like here, here, uh, here. And yeah, it's, okay. we'd bring some yeah, cubes this... from different places, okay. basically. And I would let you march my pieces. Generously. <laughs> I think this makes a pretty strong case for just returning. Yeah, I think that, unfortunately, I think that's what you have to do. Or, or you could try and just kind of push your luck and just raid again, and then aim for a much bigger return and settle next time, and just hope there is a next time. Um, mm. I, I'm, I'm down to four resources. I feel like I need to you cash also... out. There is the option of passing and hoping to get a return and settle on this card, which means the threat of this event is passed, I guess. I mean, that seems but that silly because you like go ahead of a tempo loss. It, you go yes, ahead of me. I would go ahead of you. Yeah, so I would have the option to, you know, strike it. Yeah. But all, none of your options are good. I'm just trying to point out the options that you do have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel better about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> If you have five bad options instead of just two bad options, at least yeah. you can take solace in that. I feel like my position right now. Life. I feel like my position right now is I can either take the safe thing, cash out, and use that to you know continue into gameplay in the future, or I can gamble, potentially come out ahead, or potentially yep. come out way way, way behind. behind. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly correct. Uh, and this feels like the time for safety. So we're gonna just take the command, mm -hmm. and we will return in both of those locations. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four, four. Is that eight prosperity I'm counting like total? Eight. Yep. Yeah, I see eight as well. OK. So I'll move you up. Uh, you go from four renown to 12. Good job. Gosh, I am just going to be the limited action this whole time. All right, and these all are gonzo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just delete the prosperity cubes. Okay. And then these all are going to go into the bag. <laughs> or no, they're not. They're or not. My, my turn's going to be super easy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and muster Damn you. a particular point. Um, I think yeah. 
question is, I think this is all short up. I think we got to help our West Western front here. That Um, does make sense to me. Or even the interior. Like, yeah, yeah. I I was actually, maybe, maybe this might be a candidate. Yep. Yeah, that's a good option. Although actually this one, like you, you really need to protect your control because that is your victory condition. And this has three population versus two, but either of these are probably good muster spots. I'm also oh, bad. Debating. Yeah, you. Yeah, as the Kiwi Tates, you really want to control as much of the hill regions as you can. Because yeah. Because eventually, you want to play Kumbrogi to put a bunch of free hill forts down and like kind of take over that coast. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'll do. So yeah, as much as that is Nani. less helpful for me, that's probably a good spot for. Um, so I have uh shoot, what's this muster? One per plus population, so that's only two. Correct. Yep. Uh, but that'll keep that safe from the Scoti for sure, and the Saxons probably will never bother going there. Yeah. There's only one okay. prosperity I... to capture. Great. Sounds good. Um, that's me. Did you spend resources? Or I did not. No, I was trying to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I admit it. Uh, okay. Oh, good. Um, yeah, I I can't I can't ignore the option of that event. So I'm going to take Romanitas the event. Ooh. I am converting this Scotty settlement uh, and one of the warbands to uh, a fort and a cavalry. I can pull anywhere off map. So this guy in casualties gets to come back, which is excellent for me. And now the Eastern Sea is dutifully patrolled once again. Uh, Scotty are up for a full ride. Uh, well, I don't have any shortage of. <laughs> yeah, Scotty's got all the money in the world now. <laughs> there, this is going to be a problem long term. <laughs> it's fine. Cool. Four, five, six. So Vitani is my place to town where one where Britain peace. Ooh, going to raid. town. Ah, you don't have a lot of militia to defend any free towns though, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. That is a bummer. Uh, replace two. No, I think I need a town. That's so good. Oh, That's shoot. Like you know what? I should... Whatever. Yeah, no, never mind. And two sports. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to raid. The stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. One, two. <laughs> do I do a deep raid again just to get money? I don't think so. Yeah. I'm glad I made that sick joke two and a half hours into the stream where nobody's ever going to watch it. <laughs> I openly admitted to being a cheater, so I'm glad it was also deep into this. Game. 
And I'm going to do a Uh, I'll do a surprise. No. <laughs> do it over here. I'll give you a resource if you do it. <laughs> In Carbetti. You know, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. Free resource and my respect, which is worth at least half a resource. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, wait, Badger, is this is this you? No, no. I think that's okay. over. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, Scotty cannot get that far. No, nice guy. Not even on a deep raid. <laughs> Not even on a deep um, raid. Yeah, that's too uh, deep. I'm just gonna stay up north. Damn it! <laughs> no, this doesn't. This doesn't have to be from Caledonia, right? It it can. It's just from the ocean, so I don't lose for the forts. Uh, right. You yeah, coming from the sea. So, <sighs> all right. So let's do, and then I will pay. I will pay for each of those so that I get the extra. That I get the extra die. So that's four. So we'll start up in the north, and that's two dice. Oh, I'm hoping for a low number here. Four. Four. That is the low number you needed. Well, well I guess he still rating. gets a prize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. But if he fails, he's wiped out. Oh, that's true. Yep. Well, that's why we came. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, I'll go for it. <laughs> and go for the Kuda Man. So that's what do I need. Uh, so the capacity of the Hillfort is two, two. Uh, which means one plus the capacity is three. And then he withdrew one unit inside. So minus one. So you need a one or a two. One or two. Oh, come on. Don't take this. Oh, Ooh. it was almost two. That was almost two. Yeah, uh, Peter. Okay, so during Escalade, he kills two pieces. Two pieces. Uh, and then during Storm, you both do two hits two. to each other. So he will yep. lose the militia, but all of your stuff yep. gets killed. Uh, and this prosperity just gets deleted this, because yep. uh, attackers that die with prosperity on them don't. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, in the empty. empty I mean, zone. you can just take Corinium to muster and do a full muster plus whatever and defend your stuff. You'll be fine. We're we're actually in a decent spot. I've seen yeah. much worse outcomes of the barbarian conspiracy uh -huh. than this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I mean, curious. This is rough, but we're doing okay. What would have been the number of resources to, to get you to attack that other place? Just curious. Uh, I don't you know. I don't know if I would have done it. Probably not. Yeah, okay. the problem is the forts are so much stronger than the forts. Yeah. Because uh, their escalate defense is so much higher. So, like, it takes a lot to kill a fort, especially as the Scotty, because they roll so low. Yeah. Curious. He's like, he's never going to roll 3d4 again <laughs> for the rest of the game. <laughs> that barbarian conspiracy is the one time <laughs> that, yeah. that happens. All right, we'll go here next. All right. Oh, Ooh, shit. seven. That's seven. That's as good as it gets for the Scotty right better. there. Strunk. Strunk Scoats. Oh my gosh. So I can I can win that, right? You can win that. Yep. yep. Yeah, you lose cost four four raiders to yep. kill it, and then you get two plunder Ooh, on the boy. remaining.
Uh, burning control goes down by one. And one oh, uh, <laughs> this also. You guys, you um, barbarians get... need to be careful, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, as uh, long we're... as I have military dominance, we're not yeah. at too much of a risk yeah. of bad things happening, but um, you do this still control gone. that. No, no, you oh. control it, because you have a stronghold and more pieces than anybody else. Three. There will be one piece, one piece and there are zero gotcha. for anyone else. Oh, hold on. I, I, uh, let, me take, let, me, let me take care of that. This is a tragedy in, in motion. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's it for the pawns okay all righty next card shore up this place only for him to attack here uphill battle all right uh i don't think garrick's going to really benefit from the command he actually can't. He has no pieces on the board, so yeah. his battle would do exactly nothing. Maybe that's okay, what I wanted. I <laughs> no, I'm not going to get greedy. Um, so I'm going to muster here. I'm mustering here. Going to muster here. One, two, three. Uh, oh, I have to have, yeah, Civitati's pieces. That's good. I guess I will muster. Yeah, let's go crazy. I'm not going to pay for this. The taxpayers are. Uh, <laughs> here. Seems good. Uh, I do just want to warn <laughs> that three, four. I have a full command plus feet coming up because this event is uh, not particularly relevant. I don't care about the other event. Uh huh. Which means I will be able to, if I want uh, requisition, to steal six resources. I, I basically convert six resources, Britain resources, into red Duke's resources. Uh -huh. So if you spend too much on your muster, then I can requisition. And if, if Britain resources are ever zero when I requisition, I start requisitioning wealth instead. And Get out of here. One way for me to get wealth, yeah. So Are you don't, serious? Don't spend too much on this muster because if you do, I will happily requisition all of your wealth. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> you telling me that. I did yeah, not. You're you're welcome. That that is that is where our relationship uh, sours because we have to we have to we're we're fighting together to keep this island nice and prosperous. But this track, yep. we're uh, we're in a vicious. Okay. Yeah. That that super sucks. So I think I'm just going to do six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's nine. Yep. Um, and then I, starting with this one, I got to read this here. Place one militia. I want to make a town here. Or helpful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't make. Oh, God, the snap points. Oh, no. That's wrong. Yeah, that's a Hillfort space, so it can't be turned into a town, unfortunately. Can I not with the one militia? Uh, you can only make towns um, on town spaces, and that's a Hillfort. So town yeah, spaces yeah. can hold Hillforts or towns, but Hillforts can only hold Hillforts, unfortunately. So Parisi cannot be turned into towns ever. They're both Hillforts only. Or or Duke's forts. Uh, got it. Okay, then I'm just going to move this then a little bit. And yeah, I was going to say this. Here. Okay, uh, so sense. one, two, three, which is um, my town plus the population. Yep. Nice. Um, that's all I'm going to do. And then I'll go over here and do the same thing. And then I'll put two on this side. So that was my command. Um, I have a, I could rule, which is probably what I'm going to do. No, you, you warned me about that. That's so six. How much do you actually need to do that? Six spaces? Uh, yeah, so requisition. So I can, it can be up to six spaces, and I have yeah. to have a Duke's piece where there is a Kiwi Tate stronghold, which at this state of the game, I have way more than six. It's everywhere. Spots. Yeah, it's everywhere. Um, so basically, I have the max. I can... Uh, draw 
one I can transfer one Britain resource to a uh, Duke's resource. And if yeah. there are no Britain resources, then I can do that with wealth instead. Yeah. But like you could use you could spend you could use your command to spend. Exactly. Um, Yes. So I could oh. like do a gigantic train plus a requisition and yeah. drain the wealth. I don't see how I could stop it either way. Uh, the only way to stop it would be to trade and not rule, which is always one of those like I hate my life moments yeah. for the Kiwitates. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Uh, do you guys yeah. mind if I do that? No, no. Take it back. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, two, three. I'll be really quick. This is one, two, I three. Would, I would definitely be exploiting this for a requisition, and you definitely want to stop me from doing that. That would suck. Um, yeah. OK, so, so. Uh, 10. So I'm going to do trade instead, which is 10. Um, yeah, and I, I think you moved this down already. It wasn't at 9, right? It was at fifth, four, something, 15? I think you right, right. I paid for, um, right. I paid 6. OK, yeah. So it was this. at 15. Now I'm doing uh, uh, the trade, which is plus ten. Yep. So now I twenty-five. Yeah. So so actually, you could maybe rule. Yeah. Maybe because uh, uh, that only it puts resources down to nineteen, and it would be like actually kind of difficult for me to spend. I would have to spend. Sure, you're gonna try your 16. hardest. Nineteen. Yeah, I'd have to spend a lot, but. <laughs> okay. Well, that that is <laughs> it's me. It's not Thank always that advantageous. Me. Because I need to leave some money to pay for intercepts later. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, it is uh, Garrick. Okay. Yeah, Garrick is up. Um, we're going to take a limited command. And I think the command is going to be a raid. Uh, the question is just where. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, is not, not with surprise. Not with surprise. You don't have a feat. <laughs> this is gross. Whoopsie. <laughs> this is also gross. Maybe now's the time. This isn't a bad spot. Which one? Duro. If you just if you just want some money, and he can't intercept you there because there's no control. It's true. I, I was they're, they're yeah. Still, I was starting to look at the South Sea, it, but yeah. I don't know. The downside is it's not setting me up for. It's yeah. It's not. I'd still like that settle if possible. But he's done a good job of defending his eastern seaboard. Now realizing I probably would have been safe. Um, I, I think you're probably going to take the event now. Who is Drew? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. We'll have to find out. <laughs> um yeah you know what? i think i'm gonna go with this one uh yeah oh all right i think i don't know part one, of me two. i mean if you can successfully combo on it for a settle later then like that's not a terrible spot to have settlement yeah and it gets you some money. Right. I just don't like how well defended the eastern yeah, coast yeah. is. And like I could go yep. for like Regni or Atribites or whatever. Um, yep. Yeah. Get a lot of plunder. Three, right? Yep. But then that's subject to intercept. And yeah. yeah. But so is the other place. Oh, no, it's not because it's not no, burning. It's not. Yeah, it's under yeah. control, uh, so I can't uh, intercept there. So that's why. Yeah. I mean, you could just pile guys into. A decent option. You could just pile guys into there, too, for 
Yeah. You know, that, is, that is something you could do speculatively, just like drop a bunch of raiders there. You get no money for it. Uh, but if you can manage to do that a couple times and then find a return and settle before the epoch hits. I don't know if I explained yeah, this, I but know. during during the epoch, all raiders return automatically. How many cards without, per epoch? Without a settle. Uh, there are 13. 12 cards plus the epoch card, and the epoch card is guaranteed to be guaranteed to be in the final five. Okay. Um, so there there are uh, we got time. cards. Yeah, there's time, exactly. Well, there's five in the discard. This one, this one. So the epoch card and... is not the next card, but it could be the card after that. Oh, it's a pivotal. Yeah. Potentially. And that's the soonest it could possibly be. That so, is the soonest it could possibly be, is the card after the one that's on top of the deck. Yeah. But, you, you know, odds are you have a little bit more time than that. Yeah. Yeah, I think this this is a semi-good choice for a limited command. Yeah, I think I like this, because I think it gets me plunder at the worst, and maybe it pivots into a settle if things pan out that yeah. way. That's true. Uh, all right, so we spend the two because it feels foolish not to. Uh, yeah. Roll the three dice. We very much did commit a lot to the, the east, um, but I think that's going to pivot. <laughs> I think Sc <laughs> we need to beat down to Scotty for a little bit. I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, it's patrolled, and I see two forts, so I lose two, which means I'm getting seven total by my count. Yep. Yep. One, two, got it. three, four, five, six, seven. Two. It's not terrible. And then I get these two ah. prosperity by my reckoning. And then that's that. It's not terrible. Nope. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh did we just do it roll twice? Yep, roll that back. Okay, there we go. No, 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 we're... Uh... Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, I, either I pressed it when I shouldn't have, or no, no, I didn't. It, yeah, Aniron, Aniron, <laughs> no, you're right. Aniron is next, and Will Kirk is after. Uh, I, was, I, I was very excited, because we are going to get two. Holy smoke. Uh, and this event is really, really timely. <laughs> Speaking of punching the Scotty. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Not, nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do about it, yep. Uh, okay, so for a Nyren, I am going to do a command plus a feat. It is going to be a march and a build. Uh, I will be building here and also here. Uh, and I will be marching. Hmm. We're going to march out of Iboricum, Textawerdi, Parisi. Uh, um, Man, Declan is just not. Just reminders that, that cost two dollars for each pawn. Yes, that is correct. Uh, one <laughs> one thing I'll just point out about playing Dukes is it is in my best interest to be as wasteful as possible with my spending. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm doing I'm doing good important things. I'm going to build two towns, and it's going to be great. Uh, but, you know, as I build two towns, I want to drain our resource pool. <laughs> but not too much. It's a delicate balance. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, and there's that guy in Vozini. I don't need him up there. And that actually solves my numbers problem. OK, so that is going to be eight resources for the marches. So we're down to 11. Ease. Um So this cavalry will come back to Textawerdy. These two cavalry in Textawerity are going to go to Ketuvalani. Uh One from Iboricum and one from Parisi are going to Dobuni. And I believe that is all the marches I want to do. Kantiaki is actually a little over defended, but um, I really should defend probably one of these two, as painful as that is. Yeah, I will do one more march for another two resources, and we will... Oh, gosh, no, there's not points. It's fine, know. it's fine. Just chill for a moment. Fixed. Okay. 
Uh, one is going to Regni, one is going to Atribates to properly defend those forts now that he's likely to be focusing on the southern coast. And then I will build. So builds are three resources each, so I'm spending another six. We're down mm -hmm. to three. Uh, and Flush with I cash. Will... Arcanum, that's, that's how things are doing in Roman Britannia right there. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> uh, so build is uh, either place a fort at a vacant site or replace two militia with a town and gain two prestige. Uh, so I am replacing these two militia and these two militia with towns. Am I losing three wealth? No. Oh, you already paid for it? I already paid for everything. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Thank I God. cannot. I can never spend wealth. Wealth. I can only requisition it. So even if we're at zero, I can't actually spend your wealth unless I use the requisition. Feed. Gotcha. And okay. I, I didn't use the requisition feed this time. I used. So you build. Two. All right. Yes. Uh, so I built two towns, which gets me four prestige. So I'm now up to seven. Bummer. Uh, which puts this up to. Um, wow. King. Okay. Are we? Are we clear on? Prosperity? No, prosperity is down to 58. I've not been doing a good job. Tisk tisk. <laughs> uh, so 58 plus 7 is 65. Control plus prestige. Okie dokie. That's it for me. Um, and Scotty is up. Also, we lost Hector in voice. Oh. Well, I'm going to get screwed by the event, but. I might as well... Arcanum, I am, I am indeed Saxons. So I will pass and take my one room up. Cool, cool. And then we need Hector back. Hector! I'm assuming Hector is going to nail, nail me with the event, but you know what they say about assuming. Uh, that was weird. I'm back. Perfect. Huh. Cool. Uh, it looks like you were pointing to the Imperium track, Hector. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to clarify. We're in basically autonomy territory. Are we um, not? Um, no, we're not quite there because the uh. Britain population control is not at 30 yet. <clears throat> so we mm. might still be a Roman rule. We'll see. Depends on how the Saxons play things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Saxons, Thanet uh, is an excellent event, Garrick. Uh, that little Triskelly symbol uh, is a capability, so it's a permanent. I figured. Ability, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is this is such a bummer. I I don't think I'm gonna do the lower of the renown. Yeah, I really wanted you to take that event, but I also really wanted prestige. <laughs> At the same time, so I kind of have to. Yeah. Do this. So I get it. I, I'm sorry. So I'm doing that. Um, the pawns yeah, could go I away. I did kind of force you to probably try and trade to get your wealth protected. So. Yep. Oh yeah. Sorry, I didn't push the pawn button. My bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do the trade, uh, which is now twelve. Yeah. So see, see, I helped you out. Good. We're we're uh, <laughs> we're kind of friends. That only brings us to fifteen. Yes, um, sure feels good to make those decisions and take, you know, dynamic different turns from turn to turn, right? Yeah, not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could step away and just let <laughs> <laughs> let Drew take over here. Um, okay, uh, I think I will possibly invite Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite, um, which means I have to do it at a Place with Civitatis pieces and Britain control. I place up to three Scat Saxons or Scotty and a matching settlement. 
Um, what do you think of here? That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to no. So that is that's full. It has to. You have to have a vacant settlement because you're doing it. It's not an event. Events the only time you can replace stuff. Oh, I so see. You need a vacant spot. So I need a vacant spot. Um, Parisi is potentially a good idea. Oops, that's not Parisi. Uh, Parisi is a decent option. Um, yeah. Tiaki is a pretty good option for you. Um, what are your other options, actually? Yeah, I feel like it might, maybe this one. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure you can place there because you don't have any pieces. It's only me. Oh, I don't have any pieces. Okay, uh, so it has to be. This. Yeah, you need to. Your invite requires a Kibutate's piece piece in the space. So. Mm. Mm. Okay, I, I'll do. I'll do this, and I think I will bring. Yeah, actually, that, that is a good spot. For, you want to. You want to hang on to that central hill location, lock long term if you can. Thank you. Oh, um. oh. Yeah, there you go. You oh, got yeah. it. Copy way better. Nice. Why does everything have you snaps know. turned on? Everywhere. Everything oh, has there. snaps turned on when it yeah. shouldn't bother to. These things don't need to snap. <laughs> <laughs> or if you, you're going to snap them, then you should put snaps on all the objects. It's so silly. It's so silly. <laughs> I could make a better mod. <laughs> well, you should. <laughs> we like to thank the author of this mod for putting up the assets <laughs> so we could play this game. So we play. <laughs> <laughs> Your mod sucks. Job. Thanks for making it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's me. Um. I don't think I paid. Oh, it's zero resources. Yeah, invite is free. So I'm good. Okay, Badger? Uh, Scotty? Um, Garrick, you, you made fun of Kiwitates for not having any decisions, but it it's there's actually a lot of yes. decision space in the Kiwitates. Oh, the, I, I was just joking because he, yeah. he took the whatever yeah. income action was two turns in a row. That's all. Oh, no, I know, I know. It, I really, it does feel like that for sure. Um, I there's, really, really turn and settle and you guys wouldn't take my room hey, we won't we won't <laughs> give it to you <laughs> so uh, hector's also been pretty unlucky that i've gotten quite a few cards in a row uh that start with uh that where i'm first eligible yeah so i've been able to really take advantage of that to do a lot of work that normally would be a little more spread out i'm gonna pay my one renown and do a two die raid up there oh no from the oceans Oh shoot, that's a bummer. Oh no, I maybe should have. There's nothing I could do about that, but yeah. five guys. Oh, five I could have. There's a spot up here. Oh yeah, shoot! I should have pointed that out. That would have been no, the it's, obvious it's fine. invite spot. Oh well. This a hundred percent should have just been moved inland a little bit for clarity. Yeah, that's that's hard to see. Yeah. But, uh, Historical accuracy. Yeah, I was going to say, that settlement is... Uh, you know, I've read articles that put the historical accuracy of this game in dubious light anyway. Well, the location of that settlement is... <laughs> Geographically <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then I'll kill this. Oops. Yeah, so that just takes out two raiders to destroy. Yeah, rip. One on Escalade, one on Storm for the one garrison piece. Yep, and then I get two. Oh, that's two fancy gold bars. For that. And that's it for me. Yep. All right, advancing mm -hmm. cards. What do we got? Uh, more of me going first. Sweet. This is this is a distant plane all over again. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. <laughs> Not only do you have an awful choice, but I am gonna go first on one of these cards. <laughs> <sighs> Why does this happen to me, Drew? <laughs> I think he, I think he, 
that's a pretty strong capability. I so I will say the reason I didn't even remotely consider the Aniran event that I when I did my March build last turn is because it's a momentum card, which is also what Rising Seas is, and that means it gets discarded. When yeah, as soon as the up. Yeah. So yeah, it, no. it only lasts for the next like you know a few couple cards. cards. Yeah, yeah, I would be gambling on on the epoch. So we're 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 just yeah. gonna. This is an amazing card when it comes out in the first like three ish. Yeah. 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 But, uh, but yeah, we'll take the capability. Uh, mess me up, Daddy. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, that name? Is that why those articles are written? Damn it. <laughs> uh, wow, this is weird. I don't actually know. I don't have a good thing to do anymore. I did my March builds. There's not much to intercept. The island is quite well defended. Um, I don't have anything to train. I have no cavalry or. Uh, this it's is going really so good well for you. He doesn't sucks. have any choice. Ex yes, exactly. It's it's going too well. <laughs> Uh oh boy. All right. Um Oh, I can use train to place militia and I actually do want to do that. Um or I could intercept once and try and kill those Scotty in the hills, but that's I think that I only have one intercept target, so that's not ideal. Uh well, I'm no longer in danger of losing dominance, so I can safely stop worrying as much about the economic fight and worry a little bit more about the Saxons. So where do we need more defense? Third. Hector, where, do you, where would you like me to muster? I'm just going to muster some militia, because I can do that with my trains. Um, it's it's more expensive for me to muster than it is for you to muster, but uh, I can do some mustering. I mean, can you not intercept? I could intercept, uh, but but I I want to re uh, requisition, and you can't intercept plus requisition. Okay, uh, we lost spread and control here. Just FI. I'm at thirty. Uh, Badger. Uh, I already, already counted that. No, oh, already okay. Counted okay. That. You're okay. At 32 <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. We're around. Yeah. yeah. No. And, yeah. I Yep. And again, uh, so to be fair, that only matters if the if this, Kitates are yes. at civilian dominance. Because if they're at civilian dominance, dominance. and we go to autonomy, then they're just going to auto win if they're between 20 yep. and 30. But I have one more prestige than they have wealth, and they need five more wealth than I have prestige. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. I don't know how I'm going to get to that number. <laughs> you get prestige so easily. Well, I do, but I also lose prestige really easily, and I've just been very lucky that Garrick has gotten hamstrung on a couple of his raids. Yeah, but I mean, uh, also the Scotty had been going for hill forts instead of forts. And that also is true. A lot of the yeah. stuff that's been destroyed has been hill forts and not towns. <laughs> um, Everything's coming up Millhouse, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had I've had exactly the right cards in exactly the right order <laughs> on all sides. So it's not it's not like it's. So glad to be part uh, of a like great so. night for you, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is me playing my character, by the way. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'm just playing the sad, <laughs> sad bookkeeping. That's, hey, that's Hector. what you gotta do. Sad, sad, sad Kiwi Tatos is is uh, oh, exactly the right role to play. <laughs> Hector, you are not allowed to break character like that. You gotta stay in character. Make us all feel guilty. <laughs> um, I could battle in Solar Race. No, I'd rather train. I gotta, I gotta protect these towns. Otherwise, I'm gonna get wrecked on prestige if he deep raids. So, I will do two trains, which is three resources uh, Jesus. each. So that's six. What do we add up there? Fourteen. Three so resources eight. for a cube. Or fifteen. Come no, it, it places two cubes. It oh, it places two. two. Um, you know, I really appreciate. The relationship between the dukes and the siritates from a distance <laughs> <laughs> i felt the it's same way so fun. My i first love game. it 
Um, it is it is so mean on both sides. Uh, the, so I will say the Kivitates can do some really mean stuff to the Dukes uh, if like circumstances line up right. Um, it's just they're like kind of less obvious than the mean things that the yeah. Dukes can do to the Kivitates. So uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna requisition six. So nine goes down to three, and I get six Dukes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and that's it for me. Okay, I've advanced the cards. Oh, that is so juicy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so bad for you, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Good man. <gasps> Holy smokes. Mons Badonicus is by far one of your best events. Uh, but you really, really need to tra uh, trade. <laughs> Field battles where Hillfort are, are not halved. Basically, my yeah, boys it's get really good. Hard. Yeah, yeah, your, your militia are real strong. Uh, let's see, what are we at? We have we're at eight, nine, ten. Nine. Yeah, we're definitely there. Uh, out next. of thirteen, so like one out of three. Yeah, pretty much. So you could take a trade on here and just hope that the epoch comes out and then makes this the first card of next epoch. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Because uh, Garrick, I don't know if I mentioned this either. But, no, I know it's sudden. Okay, it's always sudden. It's not an option. It's yep. the core rule. Okay, yeah. It's one of those things I beelined for in the rule book when I was giving it a skim earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> I do think that's one thing I really like about Falling Sky is it's it's in between sudden and and delayed. It's got like that winter yes. phase to shut things yeah. down. I really really like that. Yeah, no, it, it really works for that game. Um, the, like, is Falling limited, Sky is the, the um, is the Epoch card like on the bottom of each stack, or is it like a distant yeah, plane? Yeah, it's similar. Stack? It's similar to this, where it's seeded into the bottom five of gotcha. the three, uh, like fifteen-ish cards or something like that. Yeah, I like it when it's sudden, but there's like some. It's in the bottom of each stack. Yeah, that's a yeah, good. This, this that's a good compromise for sudden. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, I'm conf no, I think I really I really want the second card and I think but how good would that gamble be if the epoch comes out and you get to do it? Mm -hmm. Dude, it <laughs> well, actually, I take that back. You don't even really need to make too much of a gamble because you could just pass right now, get three resources, and if the epoch comes up, you're happy because we're going to get a ton of epoch revenue anyway, and then your resource base is you know, relatively safe. Um, but you could have even more money if you trade yeah. right now and then try and gamble on your part. So it, it's a hard choice. It sucks when the Garrick, good cards yeah. come out like that. Yeah. Garrick, if you take the event, how sweet would it be if the Epoch card's the last card and you get <laughs> three? three <laughs> I can't take this. I'm not eligible. Yeah, he's not even. Oh, eligible. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just you and the scope. Oh, it's just me. You guys are waiting on me. I'm yeah, so you're scared. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're no, first yeah, eligible on Rising Sea. No, no, so no, you no can I'm either trade or, yeah. I'm out. I'm sorry, guys. I no really worries. Apologize. No worries. Me being silly. I mean, you should see our 18 right, so... games. <laughs> All right. So I saw I'm... your, uh, what was that? What was that long one that you guys were doing? Maria? <laughs> oh, Maria. Oh, oh God. Maria. <laughs> that was great. I loved Maria. Oh, we got an angry YouTube comment about how long our turns were. No, I <laughs> did we really? Yeah, we did. I'm sure we did. We had long turns. I, I mean, it's just. I'm going to do a return and settle. Yep. I'm going to return everything. I'm going to settle. Yep. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dice for the Demite space, uh, and you Two, convert on three, five or six. Four, five, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and I, I think there's eight prosperity then. Yeah, that also eight. tracks for me. So how He's many only settling twelve. Six, twelve, yep. Should I just clone a bunch? Yeah. Yeah, I would just get a big pile of dice. 
Sí. Get them all. Only once. Only once. Only once. Only once. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five One. successes. Six successes. Oh, God, that is Seven? ridiculous. Oh, five, six. Yeah, yeah so I see six. three sixes and three fives. Yeah, oh, wow, yeah, that is a only lot. only on five or six, but that's bad. That is so bad. At least, he didn't, at least he didn't get Kelethon, but the strike during trap in the hills capability. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you get six badger, so presumably four and a settlement would be. Yeah, good. yep. No epoch. Don't give it. Nice. So that gets me up to 25. Wow. And I'm done. All right. The moment of truth. Here we go. Not an epoch. Oh my gosh, and you have two blue cards in a row. <laughs> that sucks. Yes. That's just going to be a free Scotty raid. And population. I want population to go down because I want to drop down to autonomy. That's true, but actually. that's not going to be enough. You could pass again. No. <laughs> okay, it is now my turn. I am now thinking of my turn. I'm not totally ignoring. Um, yeah, I'm taking the event. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, so it's three comitates are now available to yeah mustard if you so wish. Uh, Garrick, his comitates function in exactly the same my way as your warbands. Um, except that they he has to pay wealth to maintain them. They that'd cost be, wealth to place and wealth to upkeep. That'd be super helpful if I remembered how my warbands work. <laughs> I just meant in terms of... They're not like <laughs> uber pieces like cavalry. They're gotcha. Just like, they, they do one hit, they do a full hit, and they have a full HP. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're like a stronger military mm-hmm. unit, whereas his militia are really just... All right, Garrett, do your magic. Scratch. Do my magic? Yeah. All right, stop touching it for a second. Yep. yep. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you. Who uh, said raiders can't work together? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Garrick, now it's time to do your other magic where you take your turn. Uh, let's see. I got a command with feet. Oh, we need to clear bonds. I didn't do that a long time ago. Sorry, everyone. I figured we were just trying to get a pawn into every space on the map across multiple turns. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> um, it feels like I should maybe try for a settle since the epoch hasn't come up. And uh, you said I have to pull out yeah, when the epoch comes up, great. right? They're not great? Well, so... Uh, just like, I mean, you saw it with the Scotty just now. You roll a die for every raider. Uh, the Saxons have slightly better odds. You get to convert into warbands on a 4, 5, or 6. So you're going to roll 7 dice. On average, you're going to get... Well, you you might end up with 3 or 4, and 3 or 4 warbands is enough to convert 2 of them into a settlement and leave you know, something there to defend it. Yeah. But it I would think... be a pretty weak settlement. Yeah. So. I think you should just raid, because you'll get a free return. It's fair. 
Well, so the calculus, yeah, you're going to get a free return. And also the calculus is you currently have uh, 10 renown. And if you end the epoch below 10 renown, there is what's called a leadership change, and you just get put back at 10 renown. So you, you can never have less than 10 renown going out of the epoch. So it's you a strong well spend all your money to like make more money potentially and yeah okay. or i mean also a gambling on a return is not the worst thing like actually you have enough there where on average you should get enough to get a settlement down um but i don't know it's a little riskier i suppose i kind of like the sound of just uh raiding and maybe coming into the next round with a stronger uh resource supply yeah yeah um have a good night arcanum and yeah minkalore this is really this is really interesting what do i raid can i raid dumnoni over here. Okay. Yeah, I said, can I? Uh, it's a question. So that is an interesting choice. Um, just because you're going to spend two renown to get one. You uh, can, yeah, but you can. Now, if you blow up the town, you'll come away with a lot of renown. But you do actually need to get enough to kill the town, and he does have a lot of militia there. Yeah. So the juicy targets are like Atrabates and, you know, Regni, basically. Yeah, like I wasn't precluding going to places like that. It's just this is a full command and feat. So like... Oh, duh, that's all right. You can target... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> um, can you deep raid into a city? Like, is this... It's a good open? question. Uh, the city is actually just adjacent to Oceanus Germanicus. Um, so you could regular raid into it. Now, the <laughs> the downside to raiding Londinium is it has four garrison units. <laughs> uh, so just that one militia is five pieces in there, which does five damage on Escalade and requires five. So you need Yikes. to roll 11 to plunder Londinium. But yeah, if you but plunder if you get Londinium, supplies? you get all four of the prosperity that are inside it. Wow. Although, again, actually, that isn't really relevant because you would need you need ten to kill it. So even if you rolled max possible twelve, you'd only have two left to plunder. So it's it's not a great target. <laughs> you go plunder Londinium when you have a bunch of warbands that so you can march in there and like siege it down. Why does why does it have why do, why would I need ten exactly? Doesn't it? Have, it says two garrison units when I hover over it. Oh, is, uh, oh, is it because the city? It's just marked, right? It's because so it's in the city. Londinium yeah. Got it. and Aboricum, yep. the two cities are special. Cool, cool. They have an exception for their garrison unit size. And their holding capacity. You can put eight units in Londinium. <laughs> put an asterisk on holding capacity. <laughs> <laughs> hmm... I'm just nervous about all these um horses. How many can I target with a raid? Up to three. That's uh Hector, where do you want this card? Because it's permanent, so we just stick it somewhere where you remember. Uh yeah. Like yours, maybe, or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go for Regni and Atrebates. Um, and then I'm just kind of deciding between... Kantiachi and Domnoni.
guess Contiachi has the better return. All right, uh, spending six. Yeah, or six. Wait, that's not spending six. That was what, 10? Six, there we go. Cool. Uh, let us go ahead and resolve. Um, I don't know, Trebatis first. Oof. Uh, <laughs> four raiders. <Okay>. Oof. <laughs> Maximum Fine. oof. You got you three prosperity. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving. Oh, I shit. Yeah. I've got a I've got a deed of feet. Whatever. I forgot about that. Uh, shit. Deed of feet. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm reading. It's fine. Just you can you can declare it and. Yeah, I mean, I would, oh, I would be surprising. I don't know what it would have been a Trebitis or or Regni. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can't, obviously can't. You wouldn't want to anyway, but you can't pick Atrebates or Atrebates. Uh, so yeah, just pick Regni. That's fine. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's Good. it's an easy thing to forget. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, we'll go ahead well, and. If you want to do a command only? You know, that's okay too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go for Regni now. Uh, okay, it's going to be six pieces. Six. Yep. Okay, what's the combat math, math look like? You've got two cavalry. It's not a good sign. You can't kill yeah. them. Yeah. How many prosperity am I getting then? Oop. Just uh, the top row. The yeah. full. You always take the topmost row. Or the entirety of the topmost row. All right, uh, that's money. All right, um, and then let's do Contiachi. Yep. Uh, crossing the Oceanus Germanicus, right? Yep. <laughs> no, that was a joke. I know, I'm crossing kidding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's uh, five. Eight. What? Oh, it's a four. Five. That's a four. I was gonna say unless you roll base two dice minus for some weird two, reason. No, I just miss saw. Uh, so there's six, and then I can pull two. Um, wait, wait, what? Hmm? Uh, isn't it only minus two? It's yeah, minus two. You just rolled a four, a four, and a two. So isn't that ten? <laughs> minus two is eight. Yeah, yeah eight. I just said I pulled out six oh, from my bag. Six. So I'm saying I gotta. Go. Oh, because you're em you're empty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to decide. Yes. If you want to? You don't have to max that. You can just leave it at six if you're not planning on killing anything anyway. Uh, or you can take from elsewhere. Oh, this town's not looking good. Town is not looking uh, good. No, that that town will survive. Oh, will it survive? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. You can't kill the town. I think he, he's one away from it. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. Fine. We're, we're, we're holding off these Saxon raids pretty well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, right the, the Scotty is another story. He's decimating. Uh, the yeah, western. the West Coast is just yeah, dead. But. Let's pull two over here from there, and then we'll take... Although that is going to become a problem for Scotty at some point, because Prosperity does not replenish if yes. it controls the region. Yes, it's... it's like, <laughs> I've created <laughs> a wasteland. All these dead regions are yes. just gonna, yeah. He's created a wasteland for you himself. Reap what you sow, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, reap what you sow. Exactly. That's what I was talking about earlier. Like the barbarians have to kind of be careful about how much reading they do. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I think that's it because uh, it yeah. sounds like I'm not going to win that fight, so I'm not going to bother. You. I mean, if you want, I guess you could suicide and nah. kill some cubes, nah. but uh, and you do take two. Um, you you always take the number equal to the population. Well, a second ago it was the full top row. Yeah, you you take the whole top row and you still <laughs> left you spill over. <laughs> I said the spillover part. <laughs> you just were busy, and I also probably didn't explain it very well. All right, onward. Hey, hey. E
That is very good for the Kibitates, because they yeah. get to use that. OK, so yeah, these switch places. Oh god, cutting the ties is so bad. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get over it now. Yay! So, uh, first part of the epoch is Anona. The only Futurati on the board are these three. So, um, they're Kibitates Futurati, so you can choose to pay them or let them revolt. Uh, if you oh, let them revolt, revolt, then their settlement goes with them. <laughs> So yeah. that would be a bad idea. We do have enough money, so yeah, I'll pay. That's a shame that you got enough money. Yeah. So they, you pay one, two, three, and they are Saxon Fodorati, So that three goes to Saxon Renown. So he's up to seven. Um, that is it for Anona. Uh, Imperium is next. So first we do hoarding. Uh, the Kiwitates may transfer Britain resources up to half their towns to wealth, one for one. So you have 12 towns, so you can convert six resources directly into wealth. Uh, you only have only three. three, unfortunately, but okay. you take the max. If I drain this, is there any any bullshit? No, regarding... there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. Because um, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of income pretty soon. So yeah, gotcha. Uh, so then we check for Imperium shifts. So if Britain control is 21 or 30, we are just over that. Uh, or Prosperity plus prestige is 55 or lower, mm -hmm. and we're over that. We would shift down to autonomy. Uh, note that when we shift down to autonomy, uh, both wealth and prestige are cut in half. Oh. And that's just a part of the Imperium uh, collapsing, is we, we lose prestige and wealth. Yeah. Um, I, so there's no shift, we, so we can skip that. Yeah. Can we count? Is that just really quickly? Oh uh, yeah, we we should two, make sure three, actually because you are right. Five, order. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, uh, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one. Oh, okay. We're so good. We're a little higher than I thought. Damn. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Thirty-one is where we're at. Cool. So yeah, we do not go to autonomy, which is excellent for me. Um, the Dukes always wants to be a Roman rule, if possible, uh, mm -hmm. for reasons that we will discover in just a minute. Uh, so if wealth minus prestige is equal to or greater than 10, we would shift to civilian. Uh, but it is not it. in this case. You are three off from being there. So we stay at military dominance. Uh, that's Imperium. So then we move on to Victory, check. Yeah. Nobody has met their Victory thresholds. I'm way off. Yeah. Kiwitates don't have dominance, and the Barbarians never win on round one anyway. Uh, so then we go to the Epoch event, uh, which are uniformly terrible for the Dukes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, OK, so the Kiwitates may shift to civilian dominance, or if already there, to autonomy, in order to place 10 militia total in Britain control regions. So go ahead and do that, because obviously you want to do that. Uh, yeah, OK, so shift to civilian dominance. Yep, free for free. Mm, love it's it. Sad day for me. Uh, and then you get to place 10 militia anywhere. So that is actually really great for you. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? I have two. Oh wow. Okay, well so you can, during you upkeep, can you yeah. can move. Yeah, yeah. So God, during yeah. uh during the Kiwitates upkeep, you're gonna have to remove one in three militia from every space. So like yeah. you're gonna remove that one, one of those. So you might as well transfer okay. those guys around. Uh this is four. Um is there anywhere else I'm over limit? One over here. Uh, um I think that might be it. I think I wanna do this. Well, if you, you put said, one there, oh, then one is just going to get removed during upkeep anyway. Gotcha. I'll go uh, ahead. Another one in Kantiaki would be good for you. Really, anywhere where you only have one next to a town. So, like, these three southern regions would be smart. You're not going to leave me, right? Uh, I, will, I will actually leave <laughs> that spot, probably. Because if I have to intercept, like, he's going to go do it if I have to. So I would... Come on. God dang it. All right. <laughs> Well, and also, I mean, I appreciate you putting two guys here, but um, yeah. that really only helps me, and you really should be protecting your towns if possible. 
I'm I'm trying to move people uh, to retake some of these hill territories. Oh, I think it's okay, be... that is that's a good point. That's a good yeah. idea. So that's a reasonable. That's a good reason to do that. So fair enough. Um, let's see, what else is like? Key if there's me? one thing I strive to be, it's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess if you're gonna leave the Foderati here, you probably could remove move that militia somewhere. But other than that, I think yeah, they're they're marching too. Yeah, that makes sense. You want the Foderati to show up over here, or if yeah, yeah. rebuilds. So, I think I think I'm good. That's... Okay, cool. Uh, so the second half of the event is then Dukes pays zero or more resources. Kibutates may add from wealth. Roll one d six per seven cavalry on the map. Uh, Dukes removes cavalry equal to rolled total less the amount paid. So I may add from I up. get boned. Yeah. Um, so I this is why I requisition because having Duke's resources guarantees that these horrible epoch events aren't the worst thing in the world. Uh, gotcha. So spending six. Okay, so put it this way. Uh, we are about to roll uh 3d6 because I have all 20 of my cavalry out on the board. Um so if we roll the maximum 18, I just spent six resources. If we roll three sixes, then I'm going to remove 12 cavalry from the map. <laughs> uh, and you will be utterly <laughs> defenseless. defenseless. So you might want to throw some wealth in, but it's up to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I considered the options and... Don't let him browbeat you. Hard no. It's going to be the hardest <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. Um, where are where I have my, my red uh, comitatis or whatever they're called? Yeah, yeah, those comitatis. I don't know. Wealth is a or, wealth uh, is a hard thing to come by. <laughs> where's my red die? That's true. Weird. Very sad about that. I guess I'm. What type of die do you need? I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling green dice. <laughs> uh, there's the little red die <laughs> down here. <laughs> I think you're fine. You know what? We're gonna make it. Rich. Yeah, I was gonna. I was yeah. just gonna clone you one. I just needed to know what type of die you needed. Oh, it's a d6. Sorry. All so right, so I'm rolling three, three d6 oh. and losing that many cavalry minus six resources because that's what I spent from my bank. Oh baby! Oh, oh, oh baby! <laughs> wow! You would have to throw my oh, money to the oh, wind. Yeah. True. <laughs> of course he would. Well, okay, to be fair, that was an insanely good roll. Average rolls on 3D, 3d6 is like 10.5. So, yep. something like that. Yep. Uh, you you could have you could have pitched it a little bit. But you didn't, and I will remember that. Wait, what the heck are these? Uh, so that is the that is the epoch event. So we're on to revenue. What the heck are these uh, random so the raiders part, over here? Does anyone know? Uh, you have 0 in your baggie and 8 uh, 14, 18, um, 23. They're, they're all coming back they, right now. They should be. They should be in the bag because you only have 23 out. You should have 25 pieces. Got to make sure that I didn't fall into the war band. Unless I counted weird. Nope. Okay. Uh, so anyway, revenue phase. Um, if we were still under military dominance, I would have gotten five prestige for being at Roman rule. Oh, uh, that's two so for being great. Autonomy. So I'm very wow. cutting the ties is the worst freaking epoch event. I hate it so much. That's and it like... always comes out the first time. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, we skip this because we're not at fragmentation. Uh, the Kiwitates add Britain resources equal to prosperity under Britain control plus total towns. Okay, so it's 50 um, minus. Yeah, exactly. So just count the prosperity that's not under Britain control. So there's one for the Scoti, two here for three. And I think that's it. So everything else is rated out pretty much. So yeah, it's it's whatever the number Here is. is 50. No. So 47. Up so we get 47 in, uh, Britain resources. Wait, uh, what was that, Patrick? Up way up north. Bounds. Oh, but there's no there's, there's no, no prosperity. prosperity. Oh, there's this no prosperity. Just the cubes, yeah. yep. Okay. Yep. Um yeah, so 47 plus 12 towns is uh, 59 resources. So we are all the way up here. 
That's disgusting. Yeah. Um, well, don't don't worry, because the very next step is imperial taxation. Under Roman rule, we reduce Britain resources by yes. thirty if military dominance, or twenty if civilian dominance. So we go yes. from fifty nine. This is where the company fails. <laughs> these bastards, these Roman <laughs> bastards, asking for taxes. Um, okay, it's not gonna the fly. Saxons now uh, gain renown equal to prosperity under their control, which is zero. The Scoti gain renown equal to Scoti settlements that are not Fodorati settlements. They have one. So badge you're going to grab one. one. Um, and then that is the revenue phase. Now we're on to upkeep. So Duke's upkeep. Uh, convert all plunder carried by Duke's to Duke's resources. I have none. Each fort pays one resource or removes it to available. Uh, we are not removing any forts. That would be a terrible idea. So we're spending <laughs> 10 resources. And we're back down to 19. I feel a lot better. Oh my god. Uh, and then, well, okay, to be fair, those taxes that we just paid pay to maintain the roads. And if we were at autonomy, we would have to pay to maintain those roads ourselves. So it could be worse. Wait, like, uh, why would you even need this fort here? It's not even patrolled. Um, because if we remove this fort, then you lose Britain control. So that would be bad. Noted. For <laughs> Move my argument over here then. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, actually, that, that I I accept that argument. I don't want that fort there. I want to have the flexibility to build forts elsewhere. So I will actually remove that fort. All right. Um, which I'm penny pinching. That's my you job. Got, you got you got one dollar <laughs> back. <laughs> Um, okay, if under autonomy, pay 10 resources to maintain the roads or set permanently to not maintained. And if they are not maintained, then they just turn off. They don't, they are no longer a thing. You can't move across the map except by one adjacent step at a time. So be thankful for those taxes. They did some, some infrastructure spending. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to relocate all of my cavalry to forts and Fodorati must return to red Fodorati settlements. If there are no red Fodorati settlements, then any red Fodorati cubes revolts. Uh, but I don't have any, so we're good. Yep. Uh, this one is going to go back to Iboricum. This one has to oh. go back, and we'll go to Iboricum. Uh, these two will go... They have to go back to a fort? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I have, to, I have to post everyone at forts. So gotcha. we'll just do Harvetti, Textawerdi. I have to relocate my militia anyways. You actually won't have to relocate. Uh, Without a town or hill fort. Yeah, so all of your stuff has towns. I think this oh, guy... Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, that's right. You're going to have to relocate that. Okay. That's... It's the nearest? Is that what it said? Yeah, it is the nearest, and that's probably where you want them anyway. Bloody. Okay. Well, actually, wait. You're going you're gonna to have to upkeep down to two anyway, so one of those should go somewhere else. Like From earlier when you we were replacing them, I should have yeah. got that. Um, no, so I, I think what happens is, uh, isn't the upkeep whatever. first? Yeah, we're about to do Komitate upkeep next, and every three militia, you remove one in every three. So if you have three in any one space, you're going to lose one. So when you put these out with the Epoch event, you shouldn't have put them there because they were just going to get moved anyway. Oh, I see what you're saying. Do you yeah. relook uh, each space? Yeah, you're right. You I, I kind of skipped down, ahead, sorry. And then, you, and then you relocate. So actually, yeah. you're safe. Sorry. None of these really apply to me. Um, so I'm in here. Now I'm relocating. Yep. Yeah, you can't get away with that. Nice. Yeah. That's why I, I skipped ahead. And, yeah. So Scotty. Saxons and Scotty. Um, yes. So the Saxons. Each Saxons first. Each space with that faction's plunder uh, return. So you return, you return and gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Renown, Carrick. Cool, cool. So that sends you. Uh, Sixteen is hard. The sixteen. Uh, and then Scody. Well, okay. And then you don't have any relocation to do, and no leadership. Uh, and then Scody also returned, but I don't think they have any out right now. Yeah. Nope. Coolio. Okay, so now we are on to recovery and reset. Uh, so each region with any control add prosperity equal to population first to the bottom row and then only under Roman rule to the top row. Uh, so Kantiaki is going to gain two. 
Regni is going to gain two. Yep. So that's plus four. Atrabate. And we're still limited three. by the columns equal to the population, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I could uh, kind of help with that. It's just filling up everything. Uh, the Scotty get one back. Control. There. Get there. And get there. that is it, I think. Cool. So Prosperity is now at 65. Do I? Do, does this one get added, or is that only when it's Roman? It does. It gets added. It's any control. So Yeah, Scotty any backs control. In. So I, I filled that cube back in. Oh, it's only the uncontrolled only... regions that don't refresh. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So that is uh, it. And then we go on to reset, which is just discard momentum events. Everyone goes back to eligible or on to the next epoch. So uh, this the Kibitates are up first. And this is so. This is where the Kibitatis can start really pulling ahead when they can do a trade. Like he's, we're really set up pretty well to defend the island at this point. So uh, that's a good time to do trade and rule and start pushing that forward again. What is what is the italicized only under Roman rule clause here referring to? Uh, only the top row. So you you always add prosperity to the bottom roll. Is that not what was in contention row? over here in this region? Uh, he was asking if we even add a prosperity. Um, and then yeah, yeah, and yes, yes, because it's so still under because Roman. Because the rule. Imperium is at Roman rule. Yes. Uh, ah, got it. Roman rule, not Roman control. control. Not Roman control. Yes. Mm. Yep. yep. Roman rule is specifically the yep. top Imperium state. Makes sense. Uh, okay, I think I want to. Oof, I'm in the same um, situation. Garrick, is there any chance uh, you can put Thanet somewhere close to the board before I forget about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> How's that? Many thank yous. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, just copy it so that it's. Yeah, I mean we can we can have as many as we want. I can put a billion next to the board if you want. <laughs> uh, I think my this town's pretty good. Okay. I have to pay wealth to place Comitatis. Are you kidding me? What is this? Uh... <laughs> is there a reason, Garrick, why I shouldn't help you? <laughs> uh, I don't see why you shouldn't help me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Um, I'm just gonna trade and then rule. Uh, so that's 12. Yep. For be 32. You're going to be first eligible on that anyway, right? So, and then I'm going Am to I? rule. Yeah. Which is six to three. So, dropping this six and then moving my wealth up three, two, three. Okay. Yeah, I, that is I mean, me. you could pass Badger. And then you'd be first eligible. It, yeah. Oh, you... shoot. Wait. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. Um, <laughs> you might want to look at that event actor. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, you're gonna okay. Yeah, because that that I, will turn this whole region into Saxons. I'm sure you will find a way to. <laughs> <deal with> that. <laughs> I don't. That's that's the Podunk Hills. There ain't nothing up there. <laughs> that's a lot Podunk of warbands. <laughs> I was conceived here. <laughs> oh, that's oh man. I mean, that is the last place that Garrick wants to be. Yeah, but he will have two strongholds and six warbands. Up there. Yeah, I'm not. That's pretty tough. I if he gets that event. I just don't want to pass. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> well, yeah, that is pretty big. I, it's pretty big for Garrick, but I mean, I the other thing is really actually that's a really that. good event. For you, because you can take all of those Fodorati and drop three Comitates down for free, 
and then you no longer have to worry about paying these guys. Yeah, you're right. Because like you do have three Komatates available. It's actually they. It's have actually perfect. To replace them with yeah. one. It's kind of perfect. Yeah, you're right. But no, I'm not. Uh, I'll just stick. Cool. You're. Jedi magic don't do our <laughs> oh, yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to take back a turn. So let's create <laughs> more wasteland. Pieces. I've got a limited command, and I'll use it. <laughs> You're going for the wasteland. I love You're it. You're damn right, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just. I'm not. I'm just going to roll one die. Yeah, I'm it's free. You might as well roll one. There's no point in spending money to do this. Oh, uh, of course. And then you only roll one. Right? Yeah, only the life of the Scotty. <laughs> what a brave dude. <laughs> and that's that. Yep, it is. Oh, still a co. Uh, oh, you didn't need a deep raid because you were adjacent. Oh, buddy. Yes, I'm adjacent. Yep. Let go. Man, I really didn't need still a co right now. Oh, well. Okay. Well, um. Oof. Oh, that's not good. I guess it's strong enough. I really do need to take it. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'm replacing all this junk with mine. A, right. It opens up a world of. Uh, yes. You free all the Fodorati. So just pull the markers off. Uh, and then you replace all Kibutate's pieces with um, yours. Yep. So you'll have. Yeah. Oh, my God. What have we done? <laughs> what did you do? I told you this would happen. No, no, no. What have we done? No, no, no. This is not me. The people will make... <laughs> we will pay for these crimes. <laughs> uh, okay, now we are at 30. So good job, Garrick. I hope the epoch doesn't happen because he's going to win. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're one card in. <laughs> <laughs> for now. <laughs> But what happens when we're 10 cards in? We won't be in this situation. <laughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> um, okay, well, I have a full what command and feat. What have we done? What have you done? We're, we're both going to burn for this. <laughs> it's, it's over. I have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, gosh, damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Mam Tor, that sounds like a Star Wars planet anyway. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so now this entire circle of regions <laughs> can raid. <laughs> For yeah. free without <laughs> worrying about patrols at all. I'm I'm not regretting my decision because I think it does put a lot of pressure on you. Um, it is scary though. All right, Garrick, you're back in the game. <laughs> I'm back in the game. <laughs> <Congratulations>. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Nothing better than pity to get you back in the game. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a train uh, and an invite. Um, 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 um. Wow, that's... That's a bummer. I can't actually place any of your pieces anywhere adjacent on those two regions. Uh, all right. Well, might as well waste some money. Oh, uh, this guy needed to be relocated to somewhere, so he can either go to Londonium or oh, do a line. Yeah, you're right. Where do you want him? 
Uh, here's fine. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Uh, yeah, let's also train down here. And let's train in Regni. If, uh, if Garrick is going to raid up there, that's the only place he's going to raid, damn it. <laughs> oh, Parisi is so empty. That's terrible. What are you going to do? Okay, so uh, that's four train. Oh, wait, do you, do you, even have, you don't even have that much militia. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I can't command. I can't train down here, so the south is just going to be a little less defended. Okay. Oof. Oof, indeed. All right. Uh, so I will spend six. We're down to 20 on those two trains. We're going to place uh, these militia two up here and one over here. Nice. And then we're going to invite some Saxons over here. OK, that's it for me. You all can advance the thing real quick while I deal with this. Uh, There we go. What have we got? Um, okay. I could place anywheres to Regni, Conticia, or Trevis. No, I... No, I think we're good there. Um, okay. I gotta figure something out. I think I have to muster. There's nothing really to muster. There's no... There's no militia. <laughs> You're right. You're so, right. Well, well, I really want to come out. God damn it. Uh, that stupid event. Um, you can muster an invite, and that gets you three comitates plus whatever you invite. So that's not bad. If if you're looking to get troops on the board to like reestablish control here. Yeah. But I did just put all of the militia out. Um, Although, to be fair, you also can muster and take militia off the board and then re-muster them somewhere else. I mean, it burns the resources for moving stuff around, but if you if you want, you can. It's just everything is like kind of perfectly defended right now. So if you want yeah, to go you're... on a campaign, you probably want comitates that's, and that's right. Loads. Are we are we coming in here? Yeah, that, I mean that's at least what I'm gearing up for the possibility for because I I can't have him raiding from the middle with no patrols. So that's uh -huh. why I invited here. Uh-huh. Uh, and in fact, if you're going to invite Parisa, we'd be not a bad spot because he can pretty easily raid this and kill it, and then that's sad news for all of us. Okay. I think I am going to muster. I will... Uh, so I'll command here for two. I'll command here. I need two. Um, Uh, and I think that's that's it. So uh, that's pain four. That's sixteen. Uh, Muster in here. That is I'll play Comatadis. Uh, it's only two though, because one pop plus one town. So you gotcha. would place you would place two militia and then you can spend two wealth to do the comitates instead. Gotcha. So that's solid. Yep. Yeah, okay. that's that's legit. Um, I actually I think it was one here. I think I placed. No, you you had two militia. I had there, two. Originally. Okay. Yeah. Um. So that's good over here. Um. I will pay comitates. Put them here. Drop my wealth again. Um, and is there anything else I can do on that muster? Uh, I mean, you can I put would like posterity to... back, but that only really helps me. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. no. What am I talking about? Uh, what, what does that? I forget. Okay, That's and then I'll invite. Yeah. 
So invite is free? Yep. Three, two Scotties or three Saxons? I guess Saxons are the way to go. That is the longest distance snap point ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they're from like miles away. I don't know why they're doing that, but whatever. It, they shouldn't. Have, those Fodorati markers shouldn't have snap points on them anyway. I'm, yes, yeah. that's also true. There we go. Uh, okay, and I think that's my turn. Cool. Goody are up for a limited command. Unless they want to give me that free event. Military dominance, military dominance. Come on, Badger. <laughs> nope, I passed. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course he passed. Good. <laughs> Mervin yes. is up next. So yep. fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, next card. Oh, wow. Ooh, what is this? You're getting all of your good Kiwitatis cards early. Dominance. I love it. Oh, whoa. Four Kamatatis and then two available with mm -hmm. running control for free. Yep. And if you weren't already at civilian dominance, you would be. <laughs> yeah. Really honest is a great card for you, for sure. Especially early. Well, I'm taking the event. So I never saw it coming. Surprise. Um. It sets you up nicely because if Kiwitate takes this event, yes, then I'm likely to be ineligible because I'm probably going to go on Mervin, so you'll be up for another full ride. Uh, mm. It's a solid. This is a solid setup for Mervin. Sometimes he comes out and it doesn't actually do anything, but this is like the the dream scenario for. Oh, how cool! The old Druid of Britain. <laughs> the art on these cards are like. Awesome and in bad at the same time. Right? I <laughs> unfortunate. haven't really formed an opinion. I will return. And... What's, what's weird is Falling Sky has such good art. Like, it's they found good public domain art you know. of, like, you know, the Gallic period. And somehow they couldn't do it for this. And so they went with this, like, I will return. thing instead. It's the one thing I hate about this. Settle. Game. Is nice. Hard. I, I so kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, I played a lot of uh, Total War. Total War growing up, and in the oh, cutscenes had the dude. Exact it totally thing. looks like Total yeah. War. That's a great point. <laughs> okay, now I don't hate it as much. <laughs> I, mean, I, I played a lot. Of Total settle War. <laughs> here. I will spend three to get two more war bands. Hey, David Stat, getting raided with a party of two. Hey. Hey, Season's here too. Hey, Season. Hey, you know it only takes two to grab two prosperity, so that's a that's a fine raid. Damn fine raid. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Dukes are up. That is correct. Um, hmm. This is a bit of a problem. Would I okay? Would I rather I could pass to deny Scotty two full commands in a row, but then that just gives Saxons. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, that so I'm gonna good. act now. We're low on money. No, we're low on money. <laughs> <laughs> we could really. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> well, excuse me for paying myself a livable wage. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to march for sure. Um, do I also want to interest uh, invite or requisition while I'm at it? Uh, wow, Garrick, don't get so excited. <laughs> Caps lock strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? I think I want. Oh man, now, now is a good time to requisition. I need money. But 
I also would like more Foderati. Oh, wait, no, you have a bunch of Foderati. We're good. Yeah. Um, you okay, can always use so more. We're rolling out, right? We are rolling out. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to requisition, probably. Just FYI. No. Uh, but no. so I can, I can march out of Iboricum. Yeah. Stop in Parisi and pick up as many troops as you're willing to let me bring. So probably okay. most of the Foderati and then come into Brigantes with them. But I have to pay to march you out of Parisi. So you, you basically have to agree to let me march your pieces. Um, Oof. So I'm planning on bringing these three Saxon Foderati in, uh -huh. some cavalry and your Foderati as well, and that should be enough to wipe them out. Uh, you know, like how much are you? Uh, wait, how much is this going to cost? Let's so run the numbers. Cost two, two, four, six, six for the march, and then I'm going to be requisitioning you for six. Gosh, so six for the march. It'll be you're requisitioning. Total. I don't know why you would consent to that, Hector. I, so I, I, <laughs> I don't, think, I think that's the problem because I have to pick, I'm not going to be able to trade next turn. I need this event. I mean, I need you it. could trade is, I, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> in, in fact, you don't even need to trade because really the ideal thing would be for you to use this event to strike during trap as a battle and then we could wipe out all of their warbands <laughs> and that would be pretty sick oh man my kamatadis they're needed dude i thought they're gonna they're actually gonna cost me a lot i don't know if i want that many they're wealth each yes they are no 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 um uh this this event places them for free so normally they cost one wealth to place yeah, uh, I'm, I'm... the upkeep is only one wealth per three komatates oh okay per... Okay. So it's I'm it's solid. a lot cheaper to keep them out once they're already out. Dude, that's costing too much. I think the Fer Federati are just gonna chill. <laughs> if you promise not to requisition, I have to requisition. Look at what happens with <laughs> the last epoch event. But I spent all of my money and you didn't pitch in any. <laughs> that cannot happen again. Um all right. So that's okay. I guess I will just march by myself. Yeah, you don't need me. Um Let's see what. I mean, that's only are... saving us two resources. <laughs> two, three, three. Okay, that. Fine, I suppose. Well, it's more that the island is. I'm gonna. All my stuff's gonna be stuck in here, which means you're gonna get raided elsewhere and not be in a good spot. Huh. Yeah, if if you promise not to wreck, you'll I have, have plenty of opportunity. Oh wait, do I even have max requisition right now? One, yeah. two. I, I'm only three, scared it's because I'm four. afraid that you're gonna double requisition and just drop my prestige to zero. <laughs> Cause I, I'm definitely taking that event. Um wow, I can actually currently I can only requisition four. I only have I only have Duke's pieces uh next to four Kibutate strongholds. Oh, that's right. Everything else is Surprisingly homogenous, that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> um, okay, well, so I'm definitely requisitioning then, but I'm not requisitioning as much. <laughs> so does that change your calculus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would only cost 10 total resources to kick them out of Brigantes. You know it's the thought that counts, Hector. He was going to bleed you dry. No, it, it's, uh, it's the thought, that, look, I'm saving you two bucks. I know, I know Garrick is worm tonguing me, but it's making a lot of sense. <laughs> it's making a lot of sense. <laughs> um, um, all right, well, that's okay. I guess I'll yeah. do it by myself you and leave me, your town. Honestly, not, not to requisition the next turn you get. Uh, you oh, that's fair. That, that's fair. That's fair. I, will, I will not requisition okay. next yeah, definitely. time right. I get the full fee. It's only binding if it's immediate. No Just a warning. It is not binding. <laughs> that is true. It's not binding, yeah. Um, but yeah, next time I get a full command, I will do... Uh, uh, next time I get a feed, I will not requisition with it. Uh, so this costs six. 
reasonable uh, requisition when I want to be known for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you realize Hector, out. he was reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you want, let's see, what makes sense to leave? I think you probably want to leave one of those, I would imagine. Right? Can I take two? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, that flipped over. That's okay. And this guy is Baloo. Oh, oh look at us. We got the same, same wavelength. All right, we're good. Oh, oh wrong color. All right. Uh, I will bring... I should probably leave some for defense, too. Y'all are just so in sync. It's a perfect marriage. <laughs> it's like we get each other. <laughs> I make money. He spends my money. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should definitely leave three there. Uh, one more can come from Boricum. So that's one, two, three, seven. Is that enough? Enough. This seems excessive. Where did, where did those two come from? What are these guys? I have nothing to uh, do with those. How many Federati did you have? You I, had three? I grabbed three, and yeah, two of them are here, out. and one's here. And then I, I think you three. Maybe you might have been a, a think, mistake copy. Yeah, I think so. Because we were like highlighting stuff. How many warbands are out? So there's 13 in his bag. Six here for, uh, wow, 19, 22, 1, 22, 10, 3, 24, 25. Yeah, these are a mistaken copy. You should only have 25 warbands, so delete them. Okay, delete them. Yep. Boom. Uh, okay. My so God, they had families. Seven, seven <laughs> pieces. Is that enough? Uh, I think that's probably fine. Because uh, those all, yeah, those pretty much all die, and then they have two, which is halved to one, which then goes back to two. Okay, yeah, we're good. That's enough. So I am done, and uh, did we already? Adjust yeah, I already adjusted the eligibility, so we just oh, need to okay, advance cool. the card. We just didn't do the card. Yep. Great. Ah, beautiful. Okay, uh, so you are up, Kibutates. And you're you're actually pretty safe to take that event because then the Scotty will go, and then I have another turn. So we don't need you to actually execute the battle. Like I can handle it if you want me to. Or you can do it and save me the action. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. No, you should you should take the event. <laughs> or or trade, I guess. But yeah, oh gosh. Yep. Uh <laughs> event. Uh four two available. And then four two wherever you want. Nice. One, two, three, four. Two and then place two wherever you want. And Britain control. Um, I think I need to really build up a force to deal yeah. with these Scotties over yeah, here. Yeah, we should so. also work on kicking the Scotty out at some point. So that's good. Okay, that is me. All right, Scotty are up. But you're right, that uh, trap sprung would have been a really cool event. Yeah. Down there. All right, Scotty. Scotty. Bueller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these events are killed me, man. <laughs> mm. 
Hurts. Hurts got nothing for me. <laughs> Non federal civit. Holy hell, though. Next card's pretty gnarly. Non federal civit. I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some raids. Solid. Not a lot of prosperity on those. No, there isn't, but I want some raiders out. Gotcha. And then I'm going to do a ransom. Because why not? Ooh. Uh, worth noting, you can ransom in every space that you raid. It's not just one. Oh, um, I think there needs to be a... I don't have... These aren't... These aren't um, yeah, there's no, so exactly. There's, so there's nothing of value gonna, to ransom. If you're going <laughs> to ransom, it's you generally want to just hit spaces where there are... Uh, Strongholds because you can steal a bunch more resources potentially, but it's up to you. I, yeah, I also get the logic. Yeah, no, yeah, I want, I want raiders there for, for reasons. reasons. So, um, right. wait a minute. Oh my God. What the fuck are these? Oh, uh oh. The heck are those? Those got you set those there for some reason. I can't remember. Uh, one two. I thought that there should have been a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> one two. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, Do we need to rewind or? 18, no, no, no. 20, go, 20, okay. 22, go yeah. Plus 8. Uh, yeah, you should. Map. We should definitely have 30 militia. Okay. So that is correct. All those were not copies. Uh, so okay. <laughs> so that means. And we'll get knocked out like so that. Much stuff. I was just. Oh, well. That sucks. I, I'm going to put one here because I mustered here and only had one to place. And I should have been able to place two. Okay. In each of these three, I'm just going to take the one die, and then down here, I'm going to pay for two dice. Yeah, cool. So we'll do our Cornish one first. We need to patrol these seas. Five. Five. I'm not going to fight you. I just want to. And then one here. Perfect. One. <laughs> one in Wales. And one in Scotland. And then down here, we've got our ransom. Yep. So it's just a D6. Yep. And four through six steals money from the Kiwis. E. Yep. Okay, so one, my next turn. one Britain resource down, and did you gain your... Yeah, cool. Nice. All right. What we got? So next card. What we got? Uh... Caesars. 
this is the worst event. Ooh. Hmm. That'd be good. Womp, womp. Okay, uh, that's all right. What you gonna do? So I am going to commands and feats. I will not be requisitioning. Can I play my pivotal event? Uh, oh. You may. Um, may you? Oh, yep. shit. You have enough renown to play yes. pivotal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, Garrick, if you were going to spin that <laughs> before. I think it's, then, I think it's time. I was, yeah. I, it's, yeah, it's, the, yeah. There is, you it's can get not way maxed better out, value. but it's, yes. You can get way better value out of it, but that is pretty True. good value. So yeah. I look what you yep. did, dude. Played directly. Yeah, I, I forgot hand. that he had more than 50. I know, it's fine. <laughs> All right, let's I go ahead. I wondering if you were going to do it yeah, earlier. So you, but, play, yeah. you play Pivotal. I, bounces back there. Uh, yeah, I probably should have done it earlier. I I was sort of waiting for yep. a turn to come up, and then like priority yeah, was it, awful it's a hard, me. It's a hard call, yeah. I And I didn't. I thought about it, and then I didn't want to spill the beans <laughs> either by saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we'll remove photorati markers in these three regions. <laughs> no. Yep. Oh my gosh. And then he's going to fr uh, free battle. Yep. With shield wall. With shield yeah. wall. Scotty, you could trump him. Remove one prosperity, one prosperity. from the top row, I'm no, assuming. The Scotty already used yep. theirs, so no, no one, gosh. No one can trump. Him. And why would he help us? <laughs> Drew, what did we do? All right, there's the three prosperity gone. Okay. Yeah, in my head, he was still slightly below 15, but I forgot he, he did a big return last epoch. Yeah. So yeah. he's like not really worrying about it yet. But it All is time. really good to draw Aventus yeah. out early and not have to worry about it until... Yeah, I don't love using it so early. And I kind of wish I'd used it when these were not all here, but it is yeah, what it is. Exactly. I think he saved so much from that move. Like, you stop um, our big attack and you're okay, going to kill so, yeah. yeah. First, do you want to shield wall battle in these two regions is the real question. Um... The answer is probably no. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it was. You'll just get killed, so don't do it. Because <laughs> you only have one. They take two hits. They don't deal two hits, right? Double losses They're are needed. Correct. Yeah. Is it optional? Is it optional? That's another question. Uh oh, that is a good point. It is not optional. Okay. So that's the bummer. So yeah, you you fight here and here. Um, his militia are doubled where there are hill forts, so he has more than enough to kill your one piece. Um, oh wait, hang on. Actually, ooh, see, this is interesting. This is one of those little nuances. Um, I can't remember if then the Britons have the opportunity to assault your strongholds. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the answer is no. I think I'm thinking of deep raid. Yeah, yeah. I'll check it. But anyway, the this guy definitely dies before anything else happens. Yep. And same deal here. Uh, this battle you're doing. Well, okay. So cavalry strike first. So they do three hits, which is uh, not enough to. It's. Uh, it takes two to kill one. So I kill one with the cavalry. And then you strike back, and the cavalry are dead a rooney. Um, Gosh. Um, battle defender assaults. That was so good. Um, I can't find it. Yeah, oh well. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that we don't get to battle your strongholds right now. Yeah. And then is that a prestige loss? For the... Um, yeah, well, uh, yes, but it washes out because there was a prestige gain over here. Prestige gain. Um, so it's just even. I lost one and gained one. Okay, so that's the event. Um, let's see. Garrick did give up his ability to take this shaded event, because I was definitely going to give it to him. So that is at least some consolation prize. Yeah, that, that would have rocked me pretty hard. Yeah, and I would have been pretty fine with it, because... Uh, Still might happen. It's the one. It's the one way for towns to get removed without me worrying about losing prestige in the process. Uh. uh okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna battle and retaliate. I think. Where? In Deckly Ungly. Oh, nice. Deckly Ungly. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We will battle and retaliate. So, Garrick, what retaliate does is during the battle, um, ooh, I can intercept and retaliate? I don't know why I never knew that before or noticed that before. Is there anywhere I can intercept into as well while I'm here? No, no, no. That'd be pretty good. Help me uh, over here, too. Ah, oh, the roads. Stupid Scotty. Yeah. Uh, you, these you can you can only intercept can only target spaces that have uh raiders so oh. unfortunately i can't go kill that saxon settlement because that would be awesome that would be but sick that yep. would that'd be too flexible for the dukes to be able to do something like that um okay so there's no other raiders so whatever i'll just do battle and retaliate uh so retaliate is cavalry can take plunder from any destroyed strongholds uh and if the battle removes all of that enemy's strongholds i get three prestige and that's Factions renown gets reduced by five. Oof. So that's that's also why partly in my head I was like he's he doesn't have enough renown to place Adventus, but obviously yeah. I got the order of operations incorrect. <laughs> anyway, I battle here. Uh Saxon settlements have no garrison, so this is just destroyed for free. Uh and also when cavalry uh, assaults during Escalade, they can take two hits rather than just one before they die. Um so they're very hardy on the Assaults part of uh, assaults, or the Escalade part of assaults. So anyway, uh, that generates two plunder, which can, in this instance, be carried by cavalry. Uh, I get three prestige, and Garrick loses five renown. And then I will be done. And actually, we're going to stick this over here oh what the heck oh shoot you're right sorry there we go okay so uh kibitates are up on pelagius um okay i'm not gonna do anything that does the event so I'm gonna go up here um I know, I guess I'll battle. Yeah. Checks so, out. Uh, you're not going to trade? What? You're not going to trade? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll happily... I'm happy if you're that low on resources. <laughs> I, I will spend it all and drain the wealth and be very excited Wait. about it. Did, no, didn't you make a... <laughs> Was that past already? What? Oh yeah, okay. Command only, no feet. I will trade. Yeah, you you really. I mean, our deal, but I think that was that I has expired. It. Yeah, yeah, it expired. I just uh, got how much is that? Twelve. <laughs> yeah, you gain. You're gaining a lot from towns right now. Um. Okay. That's me. I don't understand why you didn't want me to have that event. 
<laughs> you can possibly wipe find out one. so much. I mean, you could invite some Fodorati Saxon ones, and then we could t- we could take a second crack at this. <laughs> the Scotty are going to take that event. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I, I know. will, I will pass. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, that that tracks. Up, up. Shift Roman rules. Gosh. And I will. So, uh. Badger. Yeah. Yes. This is a great event for you to take. And when I say event, I specifically mean the unshaded one. <laughs> because the Saxons are going to be a big threat to winning early because of how much stuff they have there. Because uh, they can easily just spread out now and settle a bunch of regions pretty quickly by just doing march, settle, march, settle, march, settle. Um, wow, Drew is speaking much truth. So if you if you could uh, do us a solid and kill half of these guys, we would be forever grateful. And by forever grateful, I mean uh, we would give you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and by we, I mean I would give you a lot of money. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. But the next event could allow Hector to shift to autonomy and be in winning range. Um, we're not dealing with that. We're that we're on this point. card. Let's oh, let's that focus is a great on. Point. Oh, I'm just God. saying I'm probably not the threat yeah, at this exact I'm, moment. I'm, I'm not. I'm <laughs> not that I'm not worried about Derek, but I'm not worried about Derek that way for oh, right gosh. now. And I've got. I've got other. I've got my own fish to fry. Oh, you're so right. Dang it. <laughs> oh. No Thanks change for dominance with the class, is so Eric. terrible. <laughs> oh man. I got a stupid grin on my face. <laughs> because it goes to autonomy with civilian dominance. The worst. Yeah, I thought you were surprisingly unperturbed by this, Drew. <laughs> um, I didn't even look at the next card. I mean, I know what Groans of the Britons does. So as soon as you met, pointed out, I was like, "Oh shit, that's Groans of the Britons." But uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the next card. I was focused on this giant pile of nine Saxon warbands. Yeah, it's not really going to help me because Drew could just pivotal. And it's all pandemonium. That's true. That's true. That would be really, really freaking funny. You know? I was just like, <laughs> fuck this. We're going straight to fragmentation. <laughs> actually, it would actually be kind of good because then Garrick would see the whole <laughs> arc of the Imperium in only two epochs. Yeah. <laughs> I, am going to, I am going to march and settle. I yeah, you are. Do that. No, that's a great, great move for you right now. You got plenty of money. Oh, wait, no, you, oh. Where'd, where'd all your money go? That's right. You haven't been able to raid very successfully. No, recently. no, I, I, one, I wasteland kind of everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, question is, where do I want to go? I've wasted so many turns on stupid trade action, and now I'm realizing how of a detriment that is. I'm going to do the settle down here. I'm going to march from here. I'm going to march by C, which cost me a couple. That's okay. Uh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so they, two, they can sail around wherever they want. That's two to march by C, and then that's three. Gosh. Three to build. Builds myself a town. Um... Well, wait, uh, if you're settling here, you also get to roll for the... Oh, no, wait, never mind. That's only if you return. Yep. My bad. Ignore me. That's it. 
Um, that is that is somewhat good news for uh, you, Hector, because you can pretty easily march over here and kill two Scotty Warbands. Although you're mm. about to win, so now we're now we now we have bigger problems than the Scotty. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I, 15, 16, 17, 18, so 19. So you're up on rival C Caesars, Garrick. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to take that event, man. You could just pivotal. Um, would I pivotal right now? Like, I don't. I wonder. Mm. You know, if you pivotal, that's fine. You that's you stop leeching off <laughs> my money. I think it's a win-win <laughs> situation, no matter what I do. So I think I will take it. Oh. Well, it's it's not. It's not really terrible yet because I have more prestige than you have wealth. So we will move back to military dominance during the Imperium phase before victory is checked. Ah. So you, you do get to shift it, but you have to hang on to it. Yeah. Um, however, yeah. it does immediately turn off my ability to spend any Britain resources without your permission, uh, which really sucks. Ugh. And now Garrick has to decide how much he thinks you're going to take that event because he could get a full command and feed off of it. Like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. A sad day. <laughs> Stop talking then. <laughs> I'm I don't... actually going to pour myself a drink, so we got about an hour before I start being incoherent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping we hit the second epoch by then and we can call it for the night. <sighs> it's only 11. That's crazy. Yeah, talk. come on. Uh, yeah, my, my clock says 217. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. But you're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you're on a roll. We don't want to stop now. Yeah. Both, both. Clawing my way back from, from getting wiped off the map repeatedly. In, in control. <laughs> To be fair, that is kind of the Saxon experience, is you kind of hammer your head into the wall for the first two epochs, and then you start to, you get a little toe hold like this, and then you kind of are off to the races. Yeah. But getting that toe hold is tough. That's quite a toe hold. That is, that is quite a toe hold. <laughs> That's true. That's a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> mm. He's planted his whole ass in the hills. Is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I pass, Drew gets that event, probably. I feel like I have to take the action just to block the event at minimum. All right, we'll do that. And I think we're taking the limb command. Uh, I think I'd like to try raiding Parisi to throw a bunch of people into it. Boop, boop. Uh, paying two. Yep. Oh, that's, that's not me. That's not me. Get out of here. I fixed it. I fixed that's, it. That's at least for another 30 seconds. That's still my money. <laughs> I am blue, black, <laughs> colorblind, money. obviously. That's the problem. That's why we're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what I roll. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> oh my god. It's almost like there were patrols. <sighs> there weren't. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, thank you. Nice. I gotcha. All right, on to the next one. I'm happy about this. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh the Gratia. That would have been. Badger, okay, how did I'm we? Gonna... Badger, how did we end up in the same eligibility? This is not good. Uh, instantly, <laughs> events. 
Yep. Okay, shift to Roman rule and place. Wait, no, I'm doing the bottom one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Roman rule, shift to autonomy, no change. Shift to autonomy. Office. Roman yeah. administration crumbles. I'm a strong, independent Briton that doesn't need a Roman. Um. All right. That's well, it, huh? uh, what what can I spend money on, man? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna take a, a command plus a feat, and I'm gonna be requisitioning, I guess. <laughs> Unless you want to let me spend money. <laughs> what would I Wait, do? what? I'd probably. You could still spend well, money, right? No, when 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 we're at civilian dominance and autonomy, it says no preemption, and what that means, army preemption means that's the rule that allows me to spend oh. Britain resources. So, yeah. because we're here, I cannot yeah. spend Britain resources unless you agree to every part of the expenditure. All and right, so, can, requisition means still, that you will, uh, but wow. I can't actually spend this blue cylinder normally unless you allow it. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, do what you got to do. Um, not really any intercepts to do except for greasy. <laughs> um, so I think you could only do it in one. Yeah, I don't have one intercept, so that's not really a great action. Two, uh, three. Um, what I would like to do. Oh uh, man, there's like no raiders anywhere. I'm quite worried about this town down here. I lose Britain control, actually. Oh, that's true. This is now uncontrolled, so we are at 29. Oh, I just got to hold 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, you need more wealth one. than me by a good chunk. You need six more wealth. Now, do remember that you get to do hoarding, which, uh, how many times do you have? 12. So you can, as long as you have six resources, you can hoard six wealth, six resources into wealth, which would put you right at 15, which is enough yep. to hang on to dominance and win. Okay. Uh, Oof. <laughs> so what that means is the barbarians need to actually do some raiding and destroy some uh, Britain control so that it's below 28. <laughs> Uh, and I, in the meantime, need to uh, make that easier for the barbarians, I guess. Yep. Uh, Votadini is fine. I'll let the Scoti take that. Saxons can go there. It's not really I can change. So I think I'm just going to... Does Britain still raiders rule... Can into strongholds? Uh, sorry, what? Can raiders go into strongholds? Like if I attack here... Uh, Will he be able to? Yes, yes they can. Oh shit! <laughs> yes, it's really. Is this it's space very rare? But in this case, is Parisi still under Britain control? Yes, because yes. he has. Oh, these don't count. count. That's right. That's right. Calculus. Yeah. Yep. That's what I forgot. Right so back. you have one piece to yeah. the Cubitates is four. I knew I was missing something. I just couldn't remember what it was, and it was that raiders don't count. Yep. You could easily just march over here, though. I could. All you need is four war bands, and then. We're fine. So I'm going to let you handle the Kibitate's problem. And I am just going to siphon their money. So I'm going to march. Uh, well, how many requisitions do I have set up? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I need to march to two spots somehow, somewhere. Um... Ooh, that's mighty expensive. Very unfortunate. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, all right. So I'm going to march, spending two for um. Trapates up to uh, where do we want to go? It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go to Kadubalani. And then uh, I will requisition five. 
So first part of requisition is any prosperity on Dukes goes into Dukes resources. So that gets me two back. And then I requisition five from the Kivitates. They're down to 12, and I go up to nine. OK, that's it. <laughs> One other thing you could do, Garrick, is uh, <laughs> minus 20 Britain resources. I did notice that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys in the back. <clears throat> Where are we at? Uh, we uh, moved on to the next. This really juicy Gratia events. Yeah, we moved to the next round, and we're looking at this. Eric's gonna, Eric's gonna do it. Am I? Gosh, Come these on, blue Eric. cards. I know. They keep coming up all in a row. This is a little yeah. unfortunate for the noble Celts. Noble, not so noble. They're nobles, but they're the opposite of noble. Grubby little hoarders. <laughs> um, um, Don't you love this game, Garrick? Isn't it the best? I mean, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> best is a strong word. Are you enjoying word. this I've, suffering I've, that you're in? I'm enjoying it, yes. <laughs> it's no liberty or death on a 4th of July weekend, but... Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> How far into the epoch are we exactly? Um, every every thirteen cards is it? The, technically, the easiest way is to look at the upcoming stack and just multiply it by sets of thirteen. Um, so let's see: thirteen, twenty-six, thirty-nine, uh, fifty-two. So. Yeah, there's 52 cards in the remaining four epochs. So, so by card, until once there's 52 left, then we're guaranteed to have the epoch show up. I think, is, if my math is correct. So it's in the next four cards. Mm, does that seem right, though? That, is that right? There's 13 cards in an epoch. Uh, yeah, actually, we're in that territory. So fifty, yeah. So there, yeah, and we're in epoch two, and there's six total epochs in the long scenario. So uh, are... the next card set starts at card fifty-two, and we we have fifty-six left in this deck. So one of one these in four. four cards is the epoch. Yeah. One in four chance. I love it. Yeah, so Garrick, you probably should just march over here. Yeah. Unless we can rely on the Scotty coming out. Like, if you take the, the event to kill all of his resources, then... Uh, oh, wait. Actually, Doesn't... hang on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold the phone. <laughs> what? The the kiwi. Oh wait. Oh wait. No. 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 They can hoard. That's right. 
Yeah. Oh, you're in. Actually, you're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, now that I think about it, because I am actually well above my victory thresholds. So yeah. if this switches back to military dominance, then I win. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> so well, actually, prosperity is seven. Uh, yep. And then I have. Oh, actually, I'm even way higher. I've ten. And I didn't move this up. Oh so my we're gosh. 67. We are here. And yeah, this is the victory margin marker now. Um, so so okay, so here's the thing. If uh currently the Imperium is moving to military dominance, because in order to keep it where it's at, the Kibutates need five wealth more than I have prestige. Because the calculus is wealth minus prestige. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. They need six more. Because uh, if it's but if wealth minus prestige is equal to five or less, you know. then it goes to military dominance. But Imperium, I get to transfer at least six. So during Imperium, they're going to be able to hoard six, which will then put them at fifteen. Which isn't quite enough. So yeah, it, uh, it's definitely going to military dominance. So actually, I'm the one. You're oh gonna be about not no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to stop you, Drew. You oh, kill it. That's real easy. Remember, I I told you uh, about ravage. You should just ravage. That's true. And hope I, I can't uh, replace the damage in time. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, I think I mentioned this. This is you briefly mentioned to, it to kill the dukes if they're becoming a problem because you can. The main thing is you can plunder above population. So basically, as long as you have a raider, you can take a cube. You can empty every cube in a region that you raid. Uh, that stops you because prosperity just drops by. Yeah, a lot. and it drops prosperity enough to put me below. Yeah. Now okay. it does. The downside is it actually also hits the kibitates because then you roll a d6 and population can get uh, dispersed and turned into refugees. So that hurts the kibitates as well. The downside is uh, the Britons can force a battle with you without you being able to evade. Uh, but it it does just hammer prosperity off the island. So that's probably really what you're kind of required. Oh to man, that's know. tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I lose two more population, if I lose two control, I can't win. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So I'll. Uh, yeah. So I, I think probably your best bet is to raid and ravage and hope to destroy enough to get Britain control down and also <laughs> remove enough prosperity to get me down. I think that's your only hope. And then just bank on this coming out immediately after you do your thing. So I can't follow up on it. Question is where do I raid? Because I I am going to be able to force battles and generate prestige with you as you ravage. So actually, that also means you probably should just avoid spaces where I have pieces, if at all possible. Which is kind of unfortunate because those are the juiciest ones. <laughs> but anyway. How am I going to? I guess it's out of my hands at this point, but let's say the next card is not a Nepa card. Um, You want to be using these Komitates to shepherd uh, militia into empty spaces. Basically, you want to march like into here and then yeah. muster a hill fort down so that you reestablish control. That's so Same many moves. Zero. It, yeah, the problem is it takes, you have to march, and then on a later card, you have to muster. So you need, you don't really have enough time left, I think, at yeah. this point. But if Garrick can't kill Kantiaki, uh, or I guess Parisi, maybe would be, who are, 
Mm, I think Garrett. Yeah, I think Kontiaki is really the only easy target. Everything yeah, I mean, I'd, I'm definitely going there. I just I can't decide what else I'm doing. <sighs> um, the Scotty actually can't really touch Wotadini. Um because they can't raid across this ocean, yeah. so they have to raid from Caledonia. And if you raid from Caledonia, then these two forts basically act as a patrol. So you'd lose two raiders on the way in. Mm. So it's all up to you, Garrick, in this <laughs> particular region. <laughs> Does anything else matter? Well, th this matters for the Kiwitates. Right. So you need to kill that to turn off the, the to guarantee that they can't win until they start reestablishing control. And also deleting this reduces, uh, I, I lose two prestige, so that also helps against me. And then the other ones just probably need to be ravages to kill prosperity as much as possible. The problem is you have you get I mean, to battle I'm only, me. I'm only six. I'm only six above. Yeah, that is the problem. He could battle in one place. Well, if he ravages, I can force a battle anywhere that he ravages, oh, as long as I have yeah. pieces. I see. Uh, and generally, and that's going to lead to me losing less pieces. Uh, like I, even if I suicide a cavalry, I lo if I lose less pieces than him and was in a battle, I get a prestige. So. It's a nail biter. Yep. <laughs> Can I deep raid into here? Not without surprise. That's what I thought. You have to switch your feet over yeah. to surprise. That's what I thought. And you don't want to deep raid into there anyway, because then I can force the battle with the cavalry. I mean, dude, every other location has two cavalry. That's why I was looking at that one. <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> These are points. Right. You could raid from adjacent to the here, right? No, I'm yeah, looking, and then like I could hit this one for one prosperity. Yeah, there's not much prosperity there. Or I can go after yeah, two cavalry. Where there's cavalry, right? Yeah. yeah, and so I'm like, I don't know how much this actually ends up making sense, but yeah. <sighs> Well, I mean, again, if you roll huge, if you roll enough raiders to take four prosperity, then I lose four points, and I'm probably going to fight you and get one point back. So it, it's still net gain. It's just ideally you target Kiwitates only locations rather than places where I am at. But but you're right, there are none left. Yeah. That are even yeah. remotely lucrative. So you kind of got to. I think Kantiagi is probably enough because you're going to take three prosperity if you can kill this town. That's to prestige and then that's already enough to drop me down pretty much to the edge so one more region does it and then you know hopefully i don't get enough intercepts or something <laughs> to make it back raid vondinium yeah that's not happening though yeah it's got too many what is it garrison well, units cities yeah cities you don't get any of the prosperity unless you destroy the city you have to actually sack Oh, to get anything okay. you don't get you don't get any of those cubes unless you gotcha fully wipe it i don't know it still sounds like it's worth it for me to hit like atrabatis or something and and try to grab as many as possible yeah. and then just most likely i think that makes sense yeah um i don't know if i'm doing it how many places can Ravage do? Is it all of them? One of them? Oh, shoot. I forgot you can't assault if you do Ravage. Oh, I can't assault? Yeah, so you... Oh, no assault. Not, you should probably not assault there. Or you should not Ravage here. Because it, it doesn't have, have to be... Okay, that's... See, that's what I was asking. Is is does how What does Ravage activate? Is it optional for all of the raids? Yes. Raider battle. Yes, just like yeah, just okay. like any other coin, you don't have to. You can. You're only limited by like the max okay. spaces, but you don't have to accompany every single space if you don't want to. Uh, 
I think we're going to go ahead and just do the trifecta down here. Okay. Right. I thought about that too, and I feel like if I'm bothering to hit these two, like in the long run, assuming this works well, it's good to have pieces in all three, maybe. Yeah, and the off chance that he knocks out Kantiaki and also gets a chance to return and settle, that's probably yeah. ideal. That was my thinking. And this space has a ton of pieces, and so he probably will land and then get completely wiped out. Yeah. So he'll kill the prosperity, but he's not going to get any value out of it. All right, Where let's less defense down here. Yeah, um, I guess that's okay. So where first? Where are you ravaging? Uh, these here. two, I think, Over just those two, and not there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So that, that's declared and get rolling. Yeah. Uh, I guess let's work our way left or right because I don't think it Great. truly matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hold on, I gotta pay. For six. Ooh. Oh dang, that is a yeah. great roll. Is it? <laughs> Ten minus, minus two, so that's eight. eight. Yep. Eight. Nice. Nice. Six, seven, eight. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that is all six prosperity. Beautiful. You, which is what you needed. Yep. Wow. Um so that actually single-handedly drops it down to 51 and 61. Um, so if I attack, if I force a battle, I kill four, five, and then you have three left, which is going to kill a cavalry and a militia, effectively. So do I want to suicide one of those cavalry for Steve? I'm not going to help. You you have to. Um, we still oh, cool. are. Okay. Uh, uh, cooperation just... is the rule. Whenever there's a battle with the two of us, we both fight. Gotcha. Um... Let's Okay, and then how many units am I getting back? It's pretty bad. Uh, half casualties to available. Yeah, I think I can afford to sacrifice one because half are going out of play anyway, so I'm losing two. Oh, no, it's rounded down. I think. Let's check. Casualties into available rounds down. Yeah, so two of those guys are going out of play anyway. Yeah, it's worth the shot. Or it's worth the sacrifice. Okay, uh, yeah, so I will force a battle. Okay. So during charge step, the cavalry do four hits. Or they kill four raiders. They do two hits. Yeah. Four raiders. So those are dead. Then during the melee step, the militia hits another raider. So that one's dead. Uh, and then during the harass, you do one and a half hits. Um, hits have to be taken uh, maximally. You can't, I can't like soak. You can't you absorb can't a hit on the cavalry. I gotcha. As long as there's a militia, they can take the other half hit. It's got to die. So the militia dies, I lose cavalry. Uh, and then I gain a prestige for oh. fighting a battle, losing less pieces. So there should be. Wait. Oh, three raiders. Oh, still they here. survived. They didn't die. Got it. Yeah, yeah. They, they struck. Yeah, so they survived. They they should have three yep, prosperity there. cubes on them. The other ones died. Okay, on to the next one. Yep. Let's uh. Now we're talking. Four. Uh, so four. that's yeah, four. Which so don't don't bother yeah. putting them out. You just uh, all I, four yeah. of those get deleted basically. Yeah. Uh, because we can. I force the battle, kill everything. Um. So I get one prestige. Oh my gosh. But we lose four prosperity. So one, two, three, four down to forty-seven. One, two, three, four. And I am no longer. I'm on the edge, <laughs> but I'm no longer winning. <laughs> 
Nice. <laughs> and it's going to, uh, there's no way I could keep civilian dominance now. Yeah, and that actually has put me over civilian dominance, but yeah. it's put me under the victory threshold. So Garrick kind of had to do it, but it's sort of helped me. We'll see if I can capitalize it on the third epoch that we will now inevitably get to have. All right. Rating uh, there. And then, yeah, Kantiaki is next. Yolo, please. Yolo, please. Oh, uh, that is not low. <laughs> oh, wow. That is not low. That is the opposite be, of low. That would be eight. Uh, yes, that eight. is, in fact, eight. Um, is that enough to kill? That is not enough to destroy that town. Oh, Dang. is it really not? Yeah, check the yeah. check the numbers. There's two garrison, two garrison units, units four two die. are going to withdraw. So that's four on Escalade and four on Storm. Oof, and four on... So you needed nine. Storm. But you do get two more two more plunders, so I'm even farther away from... Hate to see it. Okay, that's my turn. And all of it's something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scotty, you're up next. So I just have a limb up. Or the event. Don't forget what that event More is. More Britain resources to zero. <laughs> no, please don't. No. Um, I'm going uh, to battle down here. No, please don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Turkey Ospin, thank you so uh, much. I appreciate it. I roll for ambush on. Um. Well, hang on. I ambush. I am forgetting now if those raiders get to participate at all. I think they do. Yeah, it's they... just when you raid on top of other raiders that the raiders yeah. don't participate. They don't fire until last, unless. Yeah. But I can hit ambush with them, right? Uh, yes, you are in home terrain, so you can roll so, for ambush. So first I'll roll for the warbands, and then I'll roll for the raiders. Then the warbands, it's four through six. Uh, warbands are a part of this shit? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's <laughs> only when you raid that prior raiders don't take part. So yeah, you, you can attack with the raiders in this case. Yep. yep. Nice. So I'll roll for the war bands for ambush. Shit. For the raiders. Well, that pretty much does it. Well, not necessarily. So you successfully ambush, which means you're going to be striking with, you're going to be striking before the, the militia, but yep. he now still has the chance to withdraw before you get to step one oh, on the battle yeah. chart. So he's obviously, since you got ambushed, he's like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> I withdraw. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now you can attempt to assault, and I don't think you have enough. Um, although the math is a little different because warbands have a full health. So yeah. he does four hits. I'm sorry, he does, technically speaking, he does two hits during Escalade, which would either kill four raiders or two warbands. Uh, and then you have five... Uh, yeah, you could destroy this town and have one raider left. Uh... But you, yeah, everything yeah. else would get wiped out. I get the... Pros Does this prosperity come off too? As oops. Uh, no, that stays there. You have to actually raid to get that thing off. Oh, I, think I thought it was part of... Yeah. It's if it's it? not controlled by anything, the war ban actually takes uh, plunder. Oh, yeah, that's right. If Yeah, because yeah, it's uncontrolled. I forgot about the, the yeah. part. So yes, you do collect that uh, onto the war bands. So I can kill the town, but kill the whatever, and I'll just have one raider left, right? Yeah. We'll yes. lose two, two plunder. Yeah, you'll I'll give you a dollar. Well, no, he, he would get to keep the one plunder on that raider, but this oh, yeah, plunder right. would yes. get lost, and all your other pieces would get lost. I can move that. Okay, so then the assault happens. Oh. Down. <laughs> Is there a price okay. I could pay so you don't take my lunch money? I think the price <laughs> was two militia and a town. <laughs> Deal. Oh, 
Damn it. All right, so then that loses two prosperity for me, or two prestige, I should say, because uh, the town was destroyed. And then this is technically now Scotty Controls. Although it doesn't change Britain control at all, actually, because it already was uncontrolled. So, yep. That actually was. Oh no, Badger, that was bad. Now the Kivitates can maybe win again. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. It depends on what the next card is. <laughs> yep. And. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What are we doing here? Okay. Oh, Badger, no. Hey. Oh, man. Yeah, now, so now he can trade and rule, which gives him three more wealth. Which then, in combination with hoarding, is plenty to get him over, um, over the threshold to keep autonomy. Or civilian yeah. dominance, I should say. Badger's just sitting there with his mic muted. That's all I want. I want this fucking game to end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could do the good move or I could do the funny move. I would I just want to pillage. I have a pillage action. I haven't used it this whole time. Um <laughs> Can you pillage? I can. Yes. Oh, you can march and pillage. <laughs> march there, you and mean. pillage, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You, could, uh, you gotta check off every action. <laughs> Have you really played the game if you haven't used each action at least once? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> bingo is, is what I play. Pillage, pillage is one of those actions <laughs> that get used once every ten games. Okay. Uh, um, and this is that it, one. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just well, gonna be... I think I think he can just guarantee that he wins if he uh, does trade and rule. I don't even think I, I don't even think I need to do trade though. That's the thing. Oh, that's it. Well, you got to leave enough to hoard. You're gonna be able to hoard. Oh, oh you only have eleven towns now, so you, you're gonna be able to hoard five. Okay. So don't spend below five, and you know. Yeah. Leave. So I spend six here. Although for my mess with you. feet, let's just say. Right? So, I go up... Uh... 15? <laughs> Season, oh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Take a screenshot of the chat so there's proof. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> um, and then, I'll just, I'll just do the wealth thing. Just, just for buffer. That's me. Yeah, so you did trade and rule. Um, uh, shit. Wait, hang on. You had nine wealth before, right? Because I was the one ahead of you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> rule is spend six to get three. Oh, or it's shit. spend two for one, so you should be at twelve. Yeah. But still. Uh, that's that's really so gonna be close. Double double plus bad bad. One two three. Okay. Uh, you could wow. stop it. No, I can't actually. You can't get a a battle somewhere. Well, I would need to get two prestige somehow. Uh, because you're gonna be able to hoard five. Which means I need to equal your wealth in order to counteract you hoarding five. Because if you have six more than me, then it stays where it's at. If you only have five more than me, it goes back to military dominance. So oh I, I need to equal God. you before the epoch comes. Gotcha. Um, this event doesn't do anything for me. The next event doesn't do anything oh that's so terrible 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 uh, um, 
Okay, now we're back to denying Kiwitate's control and getting it to uh, 29. Yep. So basically, we have to hope that the epoch doesn't come out and Garrick fixes it for us by marching. <laughs> by marching, yep. Denying yep. this. That's uh, not enough on its own, is it? Just... Yeah, it is, because that denies, it takes away two Britain two. control, which puts him control. in 20. Oh, it's a population two, right? Is, yep. just, yeah, so he, he's going to keep dominance, which uh, is really very, very bad, but uh, at least he won't win manually. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to do some intercepts. It's a, well, I'm doing a intercept, it's limited. Um, and it's going to be right here. Because it's a free intercept. Is anywhere else where I have pieces that I don't have to move, that I can just hit you automatically? No. Nope. Yep. So we'll do there. Okay. I will roll for your presumable evade. <laughs> oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Here it is. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. god! Damn it! This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Fuck. Oh, I love it. Sorry if I'm cussing. Oh, you're fine. I I haven't been cussing much, but I typically yeah. don't hold back. <sighs> what are you talking about? You swear all the time. I said I typically oh, don't hold back. Oh, okay. <laughs> you mumbled that last part, so. Uh... Garrick, you have one option. <laughs> I think I have a second option. There's no choices. No, I think I could raid here, give it zero prosperity, and assuming I don't destroy the town in the raid, then Badger's forced to take the event to remove the town here. Remove one town from one region that is zero, zero prosperity. Oh, oh shoot, by the gosh, way, you ravage, so you need to roll 2d6s, by the way. Oh, actually, that might solve the problem. Oh, yeah, that, that might solve the problem. <laughs> uh, roll a d6 for both of these regions. Why am I doing this? Garrick. You uh, rabbit. So ravage. Minus, when you rabbit, minus ooh, pop. Yeah, after plunder, oh. roll 1d6 if a 4 through 6 population is minus 1. Minus 1. So start with Regni, I guess. I'm just, or, left know. eye is, is the left one, right eye is the right one. Yep. Easy peasy. Hey! No, it just drops it one. No, it drops it two because they both get minus ones. So this goes down to two. This goes down to one. So I need. Yeah, that that one. sucks. And two. come come plague Pendragon. They said it'll be fun. They said <laughs> yeah, exactly <for> five hours. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is now population one. This is now population. Do I get refugees? Is that what's happening? Yeah, and then you get two refugee chits that you can then resettle to add population elsewhere. Very okay. Ugh. Bummer. Okay. Six, eight. Well, eight, ten. What now? Twelve. Seventeen. Twenty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's like not really a way I could take that back to. Um Did you have pivotal pivotal Drew? To stop the last turn. Um that's right. I could play my pivotal. Would that change things? Oh, that would have changed things. Oh, that's dumb. Oops. I should have played my pivotal. <laughs> Do I trump yours or no? You trump mine. Mine sucks. I, I don't think I'm ever going to play it. I have not been invested in hill forts. Do you want to push it to fragmentation though? That's the. I absolutely want to push it to fragmentation. Is victory condition. Yeah. Where does it drop to? Zero. It drops to zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's... No, I'd, I'd be... I mean, I wouldn't 
auto win off of it, but it it would turn off the um, Kibitate's victory, and I would be you know, in striking distance, maybe. I only need 17 uh, control plus prestige. So it's, you know, decent-ish possibility. Because I would control here, 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 he, not here. Uh, here, 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 here. Yeah. I definitely should have done that last turn. That was stupid. I just forget about Cool Hand. Actually, no, I don't. But it's only Epoch 2. I have never, ever, ever even thought about playing Quillham this early because it's never made sense before. So this is very cool. <laughs> I th think since the crisis is over... Mm, the crisis is not quite over. <laughs> uh, because... So these two refugee chits... Uh, Garrick mm -hmm. can be resettled anywhere where he has control, so he could just put them. You could put that population right back on the board, uh, as long as he gets a rule feat. Yeah, I would need the next card not to be a pivotal, which it has a fifty percent chance of being. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. So don't slack too hard. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna slack. I'm gonna pass. You're gonna pass. Oh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> All right, Scotty, you're up. Okay. I don't like the syncopation of the eligibility right now, so I want to shift it. I think return and settle is the thing to do. What was that? I think I need to return and settle. Oh. Well, I could just settle and do some. What can I do with settle? Gosh, I, I just don't know. Put it on. Could raid and could raid and ransom. One, two, three. It's not gonna help me. I'm going to return and settle, uh, but I'm only going. Hmm. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm going to settle here. So okay. this one, this one just goes home. These three just go home. So that one, I get one four. And then here, I get to roll for each of those guys. And then you can just straight up pay. Oh, wow, you can too. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then you can pay to place extra warbands if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, one more. Or so get a second pay. settlement, actually. You rolled enough to potentially just swap these out for. Yeah. Well, I, he's got a lot of guys there. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to pay three. Yeah. 
and get more guys. All right, next card. The wow. moment of truth. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Alrighty, so chance. Okay. That's sad. That's the one early event that's sometimes good for the Dukes. Uh okay, so first there is Anona. Uh we have no Fodorati out right now, I believe. No. No. No, they liberated. Um, I thought <laughs> Scotty. No, 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 that's right. I got we picked up Saxons both times. That was that was the big mistake. Uh okay, Imperium hoarding. So you can hoard half of your towns rounded uh up. So rounded up. Six, okay. Actually. Uh so six. Uh sixteen and ten. Yeah. And that's one for one two. this time. So eighteen. Which is all kinds of bad. Uh, so you are firmly at autonomy. Um, no shift down occurs. Oh my, we're being uh, raided by a party of 26. Hello, hello. Oh, look at that, <laughs> raiders. How appropriate. How appropriate. Are you Saxons or Scoti? You're just in time for us There's to uh, to do the bookkeeping and and the stream <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we are not going to fragmentation. We're already at autonomy. Um, Britain control is not equal to or less than 20, and prosperity plus prestige is not equal to or less than 30. Uh, dominance stays where it's at, and then we do victory check. Um, the Kiwisates have dominance, but are one point under their victory <laughs> threshold. Person away. Um... So Danny no Saxons. <laughs> and oh. we are on to the Epoch events. So, if desired, I may spend three resources to remove each, to remove from three to five cavalry. Uh, most out of play, one to casualties. Uh, and then I roll a d6. If I succeed, it's 20 written resources set to Roman rule with military dominance. Uh, if not, prestige minus eight. Uh, yeah, I can't do that, unfortunately. I can't afford to lose that many cavalry right now. So we will skip this epoch event, and we're on to revenue. So the Kivitates, what's our Wait, you could skip rating? the bottom part? Uh, so it's... Um, Roll one d six. Yeah. So so the if not is fail. Uh huh. Um. And then if if you choose not to remove anything, then you get prestige minus eight if you're at military dominance. So if I was at military dominance, then I would be expected to try this, or I would lose prestige. But because it's civilian dominance, I can just ignore it completely. Oh, which I see. Is okay. Some kind of consolation prize. Um. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Kiwitate's revenue is uh, 11 for towns and then the prosperity under Britain control. So, there's 44 total prosperity, minus 2 here. Um, yep, so minus 3. 3. So, 41. It. Yeah, so 41 52. plus the 11 towns. Yep. Yep, so 52 is 52. 1, 2. And then 62. Whoa. Big jump. Um, imperial taxation is only under Roman rule, so we skip the taxes. Uh, Saxon renown is one because of the prosperity under their control. Um, Scoti renown is two because they have two settlements. Uh, and then we go to upkeep. So, Dukes, Dukes, uh, I have no plunder. Uh, okay, so we got to pay for the forts and for the roads. 
and the roads is a permanent thing, and the forts are, of course, the forts. Uh, you have total control over the treasury right now, so your choice. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. It's hard no on that the road. That just means we are firmly going to fragmentation, and we will be enemies forever. If you're willing to help, then I'm willing to stick it out and try to make this marriage work. Try to make this you want to kill it. <laughs> All right. So you're killing it. So the roads are gone. Uh, I will spend my stockpile of resources to keep my forts up, keep, up kept. No more roads. Uh, How interesting. I yeah, no more roads. The roads are gone permanently. Um, I have to relocate cavalry to forts. Um, yeah, I just haven't used them all game. So, well, you never use the roads. It's uh, definitely a Duke's thing. Oh, well, I think, what uh, he said holds true. Then I'm March <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's fine for now, I think. Actually, no, they're going to lose one there, so that doesn't matter as much. Uh, hmm. Oh, this ravaged actually really kind of sucks. Uh, Get in the dang bag. Maybe I just... No, I can't do that. That would be real dumb. There we go. Um, Actually, I'm going to save one resource and not upkeep this fort. So I don't need an extra there. Which then... Yeah, two's fine. Any pinching ways have rubbed off on you. Do I want to go all in on that? I think I do. I do. All right. That's my relocation. Uh, so now the Kivitates uh, need to convert all plunder to wealth. They have none. Uh, they remove one in three militia. So there are three here. I think that's it, actually. Uh, okay. Um, but it's yeah, happening. It says two or less. Uh, mm -hmm. every three comitates on the map rounded up needs to pay one wealth or remove them to available. Brutal. So you have four total, five total. Five total. So that's two wealth. Uh, one wealth gets you three comitates. So you can pay two or pay one and remove two or pay none and remove all five. Yeah, I think I'll just pay one. So I will remove one, two. Okay. This is um, two available. Yeah, they go back to available. They're always okay. in your pool at this point now that you have them. Um, discard half of your refugee markers. Oh, damn it. And then <laughs> I don't think you have any relocations to do. I think you're all safe and snug in your... <laughs> yeah, I really haven't moved a lot. Uh, yep. Okay, Okay. cool. Uh, Saxons and Scody both return. Garrick looks like you already did that. Uh, yep, I just did need to get, get myself... Your... I just need to get the money. It's this okay. much. Two, four, six, seven. Great. Um, are either of you under new leadership? Nope, you're both above your reset thresholds. Oh, wait, Scody has one. Oh, Get out yeah. of here. That's one more renown for them. Uh, okay, and then we do recovery. So, prosperity returns to the island, but only on the bottom row. Only so on the... What if one... they're in the top row? Do we remove them? No, they stay in the top row, but they don't get Refilled. Uh, refilled, yeah. Gotcha. And only on, under control? Yes, only under someone's control. Okay, and only up to population. Uh... That was not a lot. <laughs> Looks yep. like it's all of it, though. Yikes. Yikes. Yep. So we're 50. Look at how much resources I have. This is obscene. Sixty-two. That's disgusting. What Why didn't you pay you for your down? roads? <laughs> I I haven't used them He's... the whole game. Why no, I, I know, I know, I know. 
Well, yeah, I mean, the it has upsides. never use them, but the Dukes is around to use them to defend the Kiwi Tates. Yeah. And right now, we're not on t- talking terms. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't want to be defended, then that's that's fine. The Dukes is sleeping on the couch. <laughs> well, the Dukes is getting divorced is what's happening. <laughs> uh, because it is time for a reset. So we go back here, and I am going to play my pivotal right now. Whoa, 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 now, buddy! We can do this when we start up again in the future. No, no, no! <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna play it so that we can start up in the future. With, okay. Uh, the with the divorce proceedings. So here we go. I'm playing my pivotal. If you're not gonna maintain the roads, I can't, uh, in good conscience, leave yeah. you to. And meet my needs. Money bags. <laughs> uh, <give me> yours. <laughs> um, okay, so play if. At least five prestige and no Roman rule. If no fragmentation, divide prestige by four. Round up. So I'm left with three prestige. Uh, uh, Then Imperium to fragmentation. Dukes get ten red resources. Uh, Oops. And these were supposed to go half play and half casualties. Or half available. Uh, and that is it. So now we have to do <laughs> some upkeep here because uh, you got to start controlled. Yeah, this is not written controlled. This is uncontrolled. Uh, no, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, see what happens when you don't. <laughs> uh, You're gonna take half my stuff too. This is uncontrolled. Hey, that's what happens when that's you get divorced. About. I'll get the dog. <laughs> Do you see what happens, Larry? Do you see? Oh, um, Gary, can you do all the snap points? Right yeah, I, I I fixed that one. Where else do you need one? Um, here. Oh my lord! What this? That's and weird. here, and then this is uncontrolled. Yep, that's good. Okay. Okay, so we now we have to recalculate Britain control. I have uh, two, four. Oh, one more. Wow. Oh, I have that point already. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten control. Where's my control marker? Um, somewhere. Not going to lie, I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh, I have a control marker somewhere. Uh, uh, I believe you. It's the mod that doesn't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, where did it go? Just throw one. Oh, on that's the... right. Total prosperity. Total prosperity no longer matters. Ah. Anyone, so we don't have to, we don't have to track it anymore, <laughs> except for counting during epoch. Okay, so I have control at ten, and then I have prestige at three. So my new victory chit is at thirteen. Uh. And my new victory threshold is 18. Control plus prestige. Uh, Britain control is now just straight control, and they need 17. Um, I think they're so at 12. they are at 2, 4, 6, 9, uh, 11, oh. 13, yeah, I missed, 14. I missed, I missed I think London. is what yep. I get. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, Garrick, your renowned victory has turned off, although you, you weren't quite particularly close to it, but uh, yeah. you can no longer win by having 30 renown and four settlements. The only way for you now to win is to have, uh, Saxon control of 11. Ugh. Oh my gosh. And now we have entered the part of the game. I'm actually really glad this happened. Uh, <laughs> we've now entered the phase of the game where... It's every man for themselves, and there is no more intercepts. Interceptions are a thing of the past, mostly, because, you know, there's no roads to intercept along. No the roads, yeah. Uh, so raiding is quite fun for you guys now. Um, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be mayhem. Lots of mayhem. Stop, stop. This game is so fucking great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but we are officially now playing a completely different game yeah it's the same game and it has a story that got us here <laughs> oh boy yeah, this has not happened on my last game pretty interesting do you have any so regrets that's... hector 
Uh, <laughs> so many regrets. <laughs> yeah, in the Simitotties. I should have just been a <laughs> raiding faction again. <laughs> They're so fun. <laughs> I really, I really do love playing them the most. They're my favorite faction. No, I think I, I might I just think be a weird chance. masochist or something. Uh, but I find them very entertaining. Yeah. I mean, you definitely are. I do have a pivotal. That's what I got going for me. So hopefully if I utilize that correctly. <laughs> yeah, your your pivotal really got kind of wrecked because you've lost yep. so much presence in the hill regions that yep. uh, you, you really don't want to convert to having your economy be built off of your hill forts. Although you have enough money, uh... this next epoch would actually potentially be a good time to try like go invest in that. Just do a bunch of marching into the hills and try and muster hill forts down and then get a second hill fort with this. Yeah. But it's, you got to uphill climb before Kumbrogi makes a whole lot of sense for you. Yeah. This was an interesting play of it. This is my second game and it was, it's totally different feel from the first yep. time I played it. Um, I do love our relationship. That was quite fun to try to wheel and deal. Yep. Um, some of the stuff. Yeah. And it's it's always like that between the Dukes <laughs> and the Kibitates. They have such an interesting... It's so tense the entire time. It's so tense, but they yeah. also can't live without each other. Which is why I played that. Like That's really why this Pivotal exists, is because I am in a completely unsalvable position, salvageable mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. Like With no roads, there's no way for me to get prestige. With resources at 62, there's no way for me to drain you enough to get wealth uh, requisitions and under control again. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Time to push it to fragmentation, sacrifice my prestige build up, and uh, see if I can go to alone. Which is Hopefully interesting. I'll just try to buy my way out of this. Yeah, you, you do have a fat war chest, so you're yep. you're in a good position for sure. And now you get to have a lot of fun with the Kiwitates because uh, <laughs> now, now you're kind of out of the uh, trade and rule phase of the Kibitates game, and now you're mm. in the put Komitates on the board and go to war phase of the game. Uh, yeah, this, it's, it's like a whole different faction now, so you're you're gonna have fun when we. All this play. money is just gonna hire this army. <laughs> <laughs> ram into a. <laughs> <laughs> I think that army is gonna be coming after you. <laughs> Why me? You're the threat. <laughs> I mean, all all you need is. Two more regions, and I mean, all you need is three, right? Yes, but it's uh, much easier <laughs> for you to get there with sixty-two resources than it is for me to get there with ten or twelve. <laughs> okay, paint a target on my back, and then you turn around, and I'll paint one on yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, well, this is this is fun. Yeah, be. Yeah, this is. Uh... Yeah, it's a heck of a game. We'll uh, we'll try to finish it sometime. We will definitely finish it. This is crazy. I have yeah. never seen <laughs> fragmentation happen on. I guess technically we're on the third epoch, but basically fragmentation happened on epoch two. Like if I'd been smart, I would have played that card before. Now, yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy. That's a that's an interesting game state. <laughs> All right. I, I wastelanded everything too soon. I, yeah. <laughs> yes, you totally, you totally just demolished the Western Coast. And, and meanwhile, I somehow have a, an entrenched fortress. Yes, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, y'all, for playing. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, we will try to get back with it sometime in the future, probably uh, a similar day of the week, I'm assuming. Uh, we have Splatter Sunday tomorrow. We have our usual weekly schedule coming up. So if anything looks interesting, stick around. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. And maybe now let's see if we can raid a channel with all these viewers who were raided onto us. Let's check out... <laughs> <laughs> this guy is playing Arkham Horror the card game, which I don't play very often, but I do enjoy when I do. So let's give this a shot. I think I did it. I think it worked. Maybe. I still don't understand how raid works. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> You've been raiding for the last five hours. <laughs> <laughs>